Painkiller already, 626, with our guest tonight, Slush Puppy. Several uh, several sponsors to talk about tonight. Taylor, oh, who, yeah. who are wonderful sponsors tonight? Well, we've got Lock and Load, oh. Weeds, oh, my and God. we've got Minibus. One of them is going to mm. make you bust hard, and the other hard. two are going to get you fucked up. All and right. you can even get high and then bust and combine all the wonderful products we have available here. Slush Puppy, thank you so much for joining us on our maybe, maybe Woody-less episode. Oh, maybe. Yeah. We don't know what's yeah, going we've, on. We've had place. enough of his shit. So he's like stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the people that come in and talk to me about the podcast in my stream will be ecstatic. They'll be like, oh, no, Woody's not here to interrupt you. <laughs> yeah, you just go on for ages now. <laughs> yeah, now you can just talk shit for two hours. Yeah, yes. we're going to do four fucking hours of, of, of uh, Tarkov um 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 update uh, uh prognostication that's that's all this yeah is, yeah, going yeah. To be. i just need one hour really at the high. end to run through hockey stats yeah yes of course episode. hockey stats i was gonna wear my uh my blackfoot jersey um and it, i don't know why Not a good year for that yeah no they're, no they're shitty it is a really warm jersey though it uh it, it laid in my uh, bathroom for a long time and i used it for like the bath mat in front of your toilet it's 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 just just i wonderful. approve of that I it seems, it that. seems disrespectful yeah. to the, uh, it, 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 the Blackfoots. You, you have yeah, to know yeah, so they're not that, even like, the black. That's not even the real name. They're, they're the black, <laughs> uh, the Black Hawks, and it's the Chicago black hockey Hulk. team. And this was like uh, 2016 that my team, the Blues, was playing Chicago in the first round. And Kyle could not conceivably care any less about hockey. If you dared him, he couldn't. Uh, he they couldn't. Just to piss you off. And he did it just like he he's and it's like. It's like a hundred and eighteen dollar, very nice sweat. Oh, more than that, <laughs> yeah, a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, a couple hundred dollars yeah. sweat. It's very he, nice. It actually does look really nice because they have a good it's logo. So warm. Actually, it's don't so warm. I, I? I don't want to admit that. Zach, remove that in post. Yeah, it's, it's very warm. <laughs> it's got a really sick logo. Like, like I don't know, everything about it is pretty high quality. Yeah, uh, right off the old Amazon, where where all the good stuff comes from. Why does everybody hate rich people now? Because we didn't hate rich people when I was growing up. We aspired to maybe become yeah. one. You know, well, like, like and was. now that was the only whenever, girl. Mm-hmm. whenever I hear anything about like Jeff Bezos, it's like, oh yeah, that villain. And it's like, dude, I don't know. I kind of yeah. sick dude. If you ask me, <laughs> he was a nerd who like improved remember, himself uh, over and over and kept ranking up until he's the one of the richest people in the world and he provides us all with all these wonderful services we didn't have before what do you own a mom and pop business no then shut the fuck up this is great what's your problem (laughs) i remember bill gates being like the best when i was a kid because i've always been a bit of a nerd like i I was always like fuck bill gates man that guy's like fucking ruining supermodels and he's like this scrawny fucking nerd or i don't know if he was i assume he was no he's a billionaire he was always a nerd like the only thing that like woody could think of like about cool stuff he's done was like jumping over a chair once and then we and then we watched it and it's like he's sweeping legs like he's if if that were a hurdle competition it would have been called no good like his time wouldn't have counted it It was that these are weird and that's the coolest thing he's ever done but yeah, he was and, super loaded, and so everyone was like, "Man, that fucking weird nerd made it." And yeah. so, well, well when see, I was it's not up, even that like, now, though. Yeah. It's an it's aspirational not, story. It's not like yeah. people are like, "Yeah, rich people are nerds." It's like people are like, "We should eat the rich." Like, no, that's what I'm saying. Like rich. back back then, Bill Gates, it was like, "Man, that weird nerd made it." I want to be that weird nerd. Like that proves that anyone can be fucking awesome and rich and own a Lamborghini. But now no, it's I like, agree. if you own a Lamborghini, you're a piece of shit. I thought that about Bam Margera when I would watch Jackass as a kid. Like I, I mean, it kind of lines up. So I was like 11, 12 when those yeah. episodes were coming out. And if you watch those, like Bam's big thing was like number one, pranking his parents, which like you see that as a 12, 13 year old, you're like, what is what kind of power dynamic is at play here? Like, <laughs> and then you'd see him clearly with way more money than his parents, just like fucking up his own Lamborghinis, buying multiple Lamborghinis, like. I remember seeing that and just my mind not being able to comprehend the dynamic of his family and being like, yeah, okay, but he's got a Lamborghini, but his face, like he looks like he's, you know, 20. Like, yeah. how is this panning out? He's, he's a yeah. weird, like uh, like example, right? Because you've got a guy who became independently wealthy and famous, mm-hmm. at least in his little world. I'm talking pre jackass when he was just a famous skateboarder making enough money at that that he was independently wealthy, like, like, like yeah. way more money than his parents had. And then we saw the show there and I'm sure there's some like showmanship going on. It's a reality show, but yeah, the power dynamic was that bam was the boss 
And it seemed like at some point that his mom and dad, if April and, and ape and what, and uh, his dad ever had Bill. an inkling of control over Bam, then that clearly was dissolved at some point. I would like to, if I had one question for those people, that's when it would be, what it would be. It'd be like, Hey, at yeah. what point he loves buy them a house. Being, yeah. At, oh, of course. At what point did you stop yeah. being being Bam's like guardian, boss, parent, like overseer, and start being one of his lackeys who will allow him to beat them senseless on camera? Yeah. Like, while you're shitting. Yeah. When did now that? He's just when like this, uh, He's like one of Mr. Beast's friends. It's like, ah, oh, now you're getting your fiftieth <laughs> Tesla. Like it's like when he well. Yeah, he's like being one of Mr. Beast's enemies. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, like, 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 like right now he's currently on a ventilator. I don't know if you guys are aware. Uh, Bam, 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 yeah, Bam, Bam's yeah. probably not going to make it much longer. What, what the fuck yeah. happened? Yeah, um, you know, just the the years of drug and alcohol abuse. I would imagine, um, and I think he's ill. Like, like maybe he got. I think he, have, he has pneumonia. I, yeah, I, 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 yeah. Which I, he doesn't I, seem like the kind of guy who would get vaxxed to me. Like he seems like an anti-vax kind of guy. No, uh, uh, or just like oh, he's out of the ho- he's he's out of the hospital. Really? Yeah, I, yeah. They said he was on a ventilator like yesterday. So I was like, usually when people go on a ventilator, that's kind of it. Yeah, usually that's like yeah. not not good for you. It's like a last the, way to keep you alive. I think I, it's like hard on your lungs. I saw him. I think it's also partially because if you're going on the ventilator, your your lungs have stopped working, and that's indicative yeah. of like yeah, some major cascading failures. Shit's going down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. I saw him on Howard Stern, like in studio, probably ten, fifteen years ago. But he had this. He was maybe not at his height, but he was doing suit. He was, you know, he's he's on Howard Stern in the in the uh, there uh, in person, and he's got like a supermodel girlfriend with him. And he's got, I can't remember which one of those poor guys with him, but it was the one who had like driven away in Bam's car and wrecked it, his Lambo. One of his Lambos, I guess that's all he spent his money on is like multiple Lambos. He this guy have. drove off in his car, wrecked it, and Bam had lied and, and, and been like, oh, no, no, it was me. I wrecked the car, not because this other guy was going to get in so much trouble. And so insurance doesn't cover now. And so he's just out of fucking Lambo. And the guy's sitting there like he's like, yeah, I owe Bam a Lambo, so I do whatever he says now, forever. Bam. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> and, and Howard Stern's like, so uh, wait a minute. You, yeah, this is exactly th- th- that guy right there. That's, uh, that's the dude. Look and at like, his even, poor dead eyes. Look at his poor <laughs> dead eyes. Here's what I want you to look, look at his fingers. So that's what, that's what I was going to talk about. So those rings don't come off. Those rings are like swollen onto his fingers to the point where he couldn't get them off if he wanted to. Like if you said, <laughs> Bam thousand dollars per ring he'd be like fuck off bro you know you know they don't come off like, like yeah. you can't get them off to go to like a locksmith or a fire department you would get because yeah. like, the flesh the skin had like it was it's when you looked at him it looked dangerous it i, I don't know how he was keeping his fingers less is more man like that's that too like, many uh, rings that's a lot of Why fashion look, statement what's it with that fa- like, and, and, all right look i, I don't know is this in the, the naughty fuck? Yeah, oh, like uh, no, 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 no. This is 2000. 2005. My oh, best okay, guess that makes is sense. this is 2005 yeah. to 2008, Everyone somewhere in there. Dressing like those, like fucking Fallout Boy cunts. Just yeah, fucking... he's got kind of a grungy, yeah. like shithead that thing going. Multiple on. scarf scars. wearing fucking yeah. emo. <laughs> he looks shit. like a 2022. He looks like 2022 homeless. Yeah, he I does. think he's like he's already at a stage where he's like in his 30s, so he's too old to be like that. Was a like a. How many, your grandma's, fashion choice. how many of your grandma's like, bandanas do you have, dude? Like, yeah. Some, like some my dude dad just Memphis. rocked up wearing like a, a fanny pack with like the fucking Supreme drip or something like that. It's fucking is, uh, weird. Yeah, at least there, a fanny pack is practical, though. This girl there is super hot, and, uh, and, he, and he was always seemingly with a super hot lady doing really well, but I don't think so anymore. It seems like everybody's abandoned him basically for his own good. Um, so well, if I could put him on... Good. It seemingly, like, seeing like... Uh, well, for his own good, and also, like, I watched that interview, I think you directed me to, with Johnny Knoxville, where he kind of addressed it a bit. And he's he always he kind of, he's like, I think they're all the same age, but he always kind of came off as, like, the crazy one, but also the parent a bit. And mm-hmm. he's like, you know, we're not going to let you be a part of this, behaving and being as you are now. <clears throat> like, And, like, I watched the BAM response to it, and it's, like, fucking sad, because it's, like, a guy clearly in the muck and mire, like, delusional about what's going on in his oh, yeah. life. And it's like, if I were Johnny Knoxville, I would do the same thing. I'd be like, dude, we don't want some unreliable guy who's going to show up too fucked up to do the bits five hours late 
like you realize there are people with jobs who rely yeah. on this. Like there are a crew, there are things that need to be done. Like, no, we're not going to invite some, you know, and insurance as well. It's time yeah. bomb. Yeah. Insurance. It's insurance fucking, that's a great like, point. It's not yeah. keen anymore. They're like in their forties. And he's like, man, we're like, we just want to film this shit and go home. Like, yeah. <laughs> all of us have fucking shit. kids and we need to exactly. get them to school. Like this is a fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> insuring job, that shit you know? is ridiculous i don't know how they do it i know that like i was gonna do um like a self-produced episodic thing one time and I, we were like doing the make i was making up the budget for this like 15 episode thing i was gonna do and it was expensive it was hundreds of thousands of dollars but then it got down to the insurance and it was like whoa how much all right well then we can't fucking do it like it's full stop we're all mm -hmm. done like 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 what you, it was like eighty thousand dollars a day or something. It was just like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, Jesus. what the fuck? It, how about I just take the eighty thousand and put it on black? Like, 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 yeah. like, like, fuck you! I'm gonna give you eighty thousand dollars, but they won't let me now. You know that now they won't let me produce yeah. the thing. So it's like, all right, well, how about I produce it and we pretend like you didn't know I was producing it, and then you just buy a finished product for me later on. And they're like, well, this conversation we're having right now, it's shit. <laughs> 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 What? So, yeah. <laughs> uh, you broke what, up how, there how, for a second. Uh, Eighty thousand dollars a day in insurance. Like, what do you? That surely that would cover like, like shooting live ammo at someone. Oh yeah, like, that's a lot of fucking. Money. Do, doing a high dive into a a pond of AIDS needles. Yeah, it, it, it was. You know, it was. It was the sort of this, just the stuff that I do, but except that you know. There now, he is. Now, now you have to be accountable, and, and like uh, you know, if somebody gets. It's hurt somebody's got a fail. <laughs> <laughs> I have been in a rush for 12 hours now. For 12 hours, since the moment I opened my eyes, I have been hurrying to get 167 miles off road and, and checked in and in this hotel. I paid $400 hoping for good Wi Fi. I don't know if it's good yet. We'll see. But uh, what? I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> the internet needs my dick jokes. I, they, you know, they don't just tell themselves. So they need it. And, and look at this. There's bottles of water behind you. A television on a wall. <laughs> Whoa. Art. That television mount is in a uh that's in a shitty spot, I think. That's too high. I, it's I not like ideal. That. Let's let's be honest. Like not only that, yeah. it could be bigger, right? TVs are so yeah. goddamn cheap. It's fucking tiny. Yeah. That is <laughs> that's like a that's like a like a hundred dollar TV. You know, this, Brune, the probably this is the most legit, TV. Like if you went on Amazon right now and tried to beat that TV for a hundred bucks, I think you could knock it out of the park. For sure. Easy. Like a 1080p yeah. TV. We're not looking for some fucking response time. <laughs> I, bet that's I don't need HDR. Come on. Yeah. No, so that's a, that's a Woody, real shameful TV. You've been rushing all day. Yeah. Proud of you for making it. Thanks. Uh, how is how is the trip been? Dude, like, my no trip is so up. fucking amazing. I'm having such a great time. I, I'm riding my motorcycle off-road in this deep sand. I swear... I could wiggle and get almost knee deep in this sand. It's not like any sand I've ever seen before. It's not like beach sand where it seems to get hard and, and just whatever, like four or six inches deep. This shit is 20 inches deep. My motorcycle is clawing through it. I was in Death Valley today. I, I think like I, there might not have been another soul around for 80 miles. You are so alone out here and everything's like a little bit scary. Like, like if anything goes wrong, I do have a satellite thing. I guess I could call for a helicopter, but um, you feel pretty alone. It is... You don't want to call for a helicopter. No, of course yeah. not. I'd, I'd just sure. die, honestly. American prices, I'd just fucking die. Fuck <laughs> yeah. that. It is the financially, <laughs> the fiscally responsible choice. Oh, wait, I don't want to burn, yeah. I don't want to burn in my family with this. I'm Take just, a guess. <laughs> yeah. that's, what they, that's what they do in Canada yeah. now. You see, yeah. you, you, you see that Paralympian who like sent something out and was like, I needed some assistance to get up my pain stairs meds. and pain, pain meds. meds. And the Canadian healthcare system was like, how, how about this? How about you kill yourself? And we <laughs> had to pay the, for the, it. the letter and, said something and the like, lady's like, they offered me fucking assisted suicide for like a <laughs> first care thing and pain, pain pills. Yeah. What the fuck? That yeah. doesn't there's no one that checks that uh, before it goes out. No, Canada's yeah. fucked. Canada's fucked. Like 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 I bet Canada like looks down their nose at us. Oh yeah. Canada looks down their they nose do at us. Like 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 that. like turn it around Canada. You are looking shitty up there. Between between that guy like taking all your guns away and then and he's like, at first he's like I'm going to take your assault weapons away and then ah right, and your pistols and now he's like I'm going to need those hunting rifles, you bitches. Like he's yeah, just I'm getting like everything. Like everything and then, off them. And then, and then I keep looking up. 
you look at the statistics on the assisted suicide, the fucking euthanasia rates that you guys have going on, you guys are turning into an absolute turning into, you're not there yet, but you're turning into a socialist scum hole of the North. I can't wait to watch your your, your fake little society degrade and fall, <laughs> fall into nothing. You're going to be like a RoboCop movie. Canada okay? uh, Kyle, I'm on the other team on this. I think assisted suicide is fantastic. Y'all have fallen. Doing this is how low you fall. It's a drain on society. <laughs> we need to kill this more people fallen. who would otherwise be drains on society. Soon, soon, you're, the Eskimos are going to come down south and take over. All right, they're Kyle, taking. I it thought back. you'd be more pro no, the Canadians than too. this, right? Like I, 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 if someone wants to die, <laughs> look, you know I how you know I hate the savages of of North America in this continent, <laughs> but, uh-huh. but there's nothing I hate more than a Frenchman. Okay, and, <laughs> okay. Yeah. It, this is this it's, is you know enemy of my enemy type shit. Okay, if, if I, we I, would, get rid of those. I would posit that the um, the Americans, you guys have enough freedom that they're going for assisted suicide in a different way. They're just like, oh, they'll sort themselves out. We don't even need mm. to help. Yeah. We just let them do whatever the fuck they want. They'll just, just die. Feed anyway. them. Feed them. That's poison. what our firearms are for. Yeah, yeah you guys are right. just you, you guys have got the assisted suicide. It's just the uh, the the red version of it. I yeah. saw a yeah. graph the I other day diet. of Europe. I, it was it, it was a it, graph of Europe, and it was how many guns per person they have. Pathetic. Loser. <laughs> <laughs> like like Pathetic. The, it, it, it's barely half a gun per person in most of those countries. That's that's where you top out at. Have you seen the UK like posters? Because like you can't even have like utilitarian knives in the areas. Like all those knives, Woody, that you carry around. Oi, bruv, you're right in the clink. Like, yeah, they're going to throw you right away. in the fuck. You got, got a license right. for that knife? Yeah, you people can't license, have a Leatherman? You can't have a... No. You just go through lies with no. your fingers and fingernails opening We're not allowed to talk about lying a tape. Yeah, no, you can't yeah. have it. They, they can't have, have signs, a Leatherman? They have signs in the UK, and, like, it'll show, like, a, a, a machete, and then, like, literally Swiss Army inch and a half blade for like opening boxes and it's like they're both equally illegal and now they're not even in the uk anymore but that's uh, like but like yeah they've had uh, they've had so many uh stabbings from certain groups i would imagine um that that uh they really had to crack down on the irish they really had to crack down y'all thought it was gonna go to like what groups (laughs) it's the fucking irish it really is they're they're the fucking stabbers you know they're all about it scottish but they no, only do the stabbings the, the because they're all, 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 all the fucking northern. Now, this, now the yeah, the Irish people bomb people. Scottish people yes. just uh, yeah. The wait, who's a shillelagh? Is that uh, that's Irish, right? Yeah, a shillelagh. Those, those hammers. Those yeah. those like uh, clubs. You know is what those that are? What a shillelagh is? Yeah, a shillelagh is a is a club that like they would use like to a... to punish people for not drinking enough. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't this know what I know you're pregnant. Bitch. Have another one. <laughs> Noon on a Monday. Sober, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Look at your wife. You're not a black a eye on Irish her face. tradition when he beat up that old man. <laughs> yeah. Regardless, your choice, but those brain cells are dying. <laughs> <laughs> they come by, yeah, they yeah, notice that your wife doesn't have any bruises. Yeah, <laughs> something looks amiss. Yeah. <laughs> Why aren't your kids your crying? Wife, I raised my hand and your wife didn't flinch. No <laughs> children in your mid thirties. What are you celibate? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what an awful group of people. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't you find out you were Irish? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, 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 um, mostly English, honestly, like the fancy con. But, um, but, but, <laughs> they were fancy like con. What's the fancy <laughs> con of English? Yeah, I, I, you know, just just from the fancier part of England, but but I I found that when you brag like, about your, your genetic report, you know, it <laughs> I've never, never goes been. well. I've never been either. No, it seems like a wet, murky place with awful food. Uh, um, it, there's there's so many Australians. Like I don't know what it is, but young Australians just like get up and go. I'm gonna go and work in England for like a year on a work visa or something like that. Yeah, I'll do it. In my, in my too- brain. I'm I'm just sitting there thinking, at what point are you sitting on the beach, like having a beer in the sun, checking out the hot women here, and then like you just click in your brain and go, I want to go and live in a shoebox and just be fucking depressed all the time. They like, want it for the resume. No, it's no so sun. great for the, like like they come back what? and they're like they're like, Oh, so you went to school in Europe? <laughs> no, but they don't but they don't go to school. They just go there and work in like a fucking restaurant for like fuck all. It's like it's so well, dumb. The ones the ones like I know they manager at the restaurant. Yeah. 
Yeah, the ones I know, they, counts, they went right? to like Europe to either travel or to like get a, a fancier education oh, that would look good. Yeah, back but that's home. like rich cunts. They go like go, go to Cambridge and then they'll just go and party in a beat well, for Cambridge. like three years or whatever. But it's like it's not. I don't think that's, my boy's that rich. I don't think my boy's rich like that. But like, um, I, I think it's pretty cheap to travel through Europe with the with the with the train systems and everything because they talk about like hitting half a dozen countries and like these aren't wealthy men. You know, yeah, like I think if you do it there. semi-homeless, like vagrant style, it's pretty mm-hmm. cheap. You can stay okay, in hostels buy, like, and take trains. Own, oh, I think you'd even take a step. Things, like I wouldn't pass. do that. There's, you know, there's the like hostel a pass you can buy and you can just travel wherever you want, like on the train system for like a certain amount of year. So it's and it's all trains. Like you can get across to like the UK and go to France. Can you camp in Europe though? I'm thinking you go from city to city. It's populated. Like I don't know that you can just pop a squat and throw up a tent. Without it, probably in some places, heaps of homeless people do it in LA. Wait. It'd also be easy yeah. to like <laughs> pop around touche. to all of Europe <laughs> because, like, like all it'd be like coming to America and being like, We're gonna hit West Virginia, we're gonna hit Virginia, we're gonna hit <laughs> Maryland, we're gonna hit Delaware, we're gonna hit North Carolina, and then we're gonna, we've seen America. Like, that's like, that's <laughs> like you just, yeah, except it's like way smaller. You're like, Yeah, let's go to Belgium tomorrow, and it's in, and they're in fucking Spain, and then they just drive there. The language so, situation yeah. is so weird. Then, like, yeah. I know it's all historic. Uh, honestly, everyone just like, speaks English. Yeah, but like the idea that like Spain, right next to fucking France, like historically they just like same family of languages, but just totally different languages. And then Italian, yeah. right there too, totally different. Like, like the U.S. is just such a different scale that we think of. Well, it's even more. It's, it's like yeah, all the that. way north. They're not like all the way the tippity top of Canada to the bottom tip of you know Texas. Pretty much English. Well, you yeah, know, th- that's only because it has like. Since the 1800s of history, though. Oh, I know, like, but I'm saying like that's our perspective. Like, like it's yeah. that old saying of like 100 years is a long time for an American, 100 miles is a long distance for a European. Like, mm. just I, I just mindsets. I'm just thinking of guys uh, of like in the UK in particular, how like it seems like you can be on this street and have a huge rivalry with the completely different class of people who are a street down the road. Ah, oh, mm. those are North Welsh. <laughs> those dirty scoundrels don't even wash their arses uh, or whatever. you're from like, east nottinghamshire like exactly. i'm from like, like, southeast yeah. nottinghamshire <laughs> it, it's now it's time like to stab that. each other over a football yeah. <laughs> like, like, like you gotta get glassed in the face like, like americans don't even know what that means to get glassed in the face like 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 and and, and the stabbings over there are I remember I is that when they hit you with the bottle or cut? That's when they take the whole. That's when they both. The the answer is yes. They smash like a mug. I've seen that happen to someone in like a nightclub. That was like a common thing in Australia when I was younger, as uh, people just like smashing pint glasses on people's faces. And uh, I saw it happen, and there's so much fucking blood comes out of your face. It's fucked up. Yeah, what's it called when you you break a bottle and use that as a knife? You know what Don't that's called. You, <laughs> I, look, look, look. I said it. We've all, all seen, it. we've all seen clerks. All right. <laughs> I said it and y'all bleeped it. I, I don't, don't act like yeah. you're teasing me. <laughs> I, should, I should have just said it. And, and, and post show, I will I'll write down the timestamp again and make sure that gets taken out. When you said that the first time, I was like, all right, yeah. two hours and 11 minutes and 42 seconds. <laughs> I thought it was acceptable to say I, I'm, I was informed. That in, no well, <laughs> in no way. I mean, it is. Well, and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to hear it now. Yeah, just Google it. What she says? Uh, it. Google, Google clerks. What do you call a broken beer bottle? And you'll immediately. And I, pref- I, I highly recommend you YouTube it so you watch the quick thirty second clip. And I'll, I'll, I'll move us on to a new topic while you do that. So a new law that I, I read about today. It's, it's causing a little bit of a uh, 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 discussion in Indiana. Um, there's this law that says if law enforcement um, tries to gain access to your vehicle or your home and lawfully you can gun them down if this is an nra backed law and uh i see it and when, whenever i see it on reddit they're putting it on leopards ate my face as if there's conservatives out there they're saying oh no don't let us shoot cops when they break in our house once again you people don't understand how this works we're, I'm thrilled about this. Obviously, I'm not allowed to have guns, but 
I, I, there's nothing that makes me more upset when I see one of those Reddit posts of some piece of shit cop that just storms into somebody's house and like acts like it's his, some, some fucking bully with a badge. It's going to be beautiful when these cops who don't, who, who like do a no, no knock warrant on the wrong fucking house, get some comeuppance because what they're doing is invading somebody's fucking house with guns. And when you do that, you should get shot. Yeah, I disagree. Yeah, I don't. I, this is our, the felon on the show speaking. He's anti cop. <laughs> <laughs> thin blue line. I'm thin blue line over here. <laughs> and, and if a cop busts in your house and starts shooting, comply. All right, comply, and you'll be okay. Yeah, bear your that, chest that, to a, him. You can have an easy shot. Yeah, that's, <laughs> like, that's easy to say though. Until you're complying, and then they just fucking like. Strangle Kill you, you. Or fucking shoot you while on the well. If you ground. can't take a yeah. bullet or two, then I mean, you're, you're a pussy. Kind of being a pussy. A yeah, yeah. Say, but I saw a calendar. statement from like the police union or something like that. We hate this. This is so, they were like, people are gonna see this as a license to kill cops. Someone's gonna die over this. They're gonna see a cop coming up to their car and get their gun out. And I'm thinking like, maybe don't try to get in their car if you're not supposed to. Maybe don't try to go <laughs> in their house if you're not supposed to. Maybe now when you walk the streets with your utility belt like a fake ass Batman, you'll think <laughs> twice before you <laughs> storm into somebody's house or somebody's car. You'll be like, knock, knock, excuse me, sir. Oh, you don't want to talk to me? Well, have a nice evening. Uh, no, I, no, 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 no. Good evening, sir. Like, like back the fuck away. You don't know who that is. Yeah. That's, that's a citizen that's over a, there. You're not, like, you're not Judge Dread Cocksucker. I can't wait. Till exactly. It It'll reintroduce some wait. politeness it's, into cops. You always see that in movies. Like the, uh, I highly doubt yeah, that. So, <laughs> you always see the old grandpa in movies and he opens the door with a shotgun to the police and the police are like, it's like, oh, we're just here to talk to him. He's holding his shotgun and he's just like, get off my property. And you know, in real life, the, the cops are just gunning that motherfucker down. They'll kill you. They'll kill you right yeah. there. I watched one today, um, but there's a dispute between neighbors and like an apartment building. So they've got a shared wall. Um, what it is, is a noise complaint. The old man is tired of the lady next door. Lady calls the cops and says the old man hit her. He didn't. They show up. The old man is standing in his house in his underwear, completely unarmed, old white guy. And he, they're, they're like, get off! ground and he's like no she's laying so much noise over there and they pop they hit him with the taser he falls very poorly permanent brain damage he's never going to be the same again i don't know if he can walk anymore and uh, the cops go in they're like oh no they look for a weapon they find a sword an antique sword in a cupboard somewhere so they get that out and they like prop it up like they made it look like he was going for it so you might think oh well they they got him though yeah he had the cops had to quit being cops for a while. They don't get to be cops anymore. Brief. They ain't go to jail they, or anything because of the suspended really, sentence. No charges or anything. And the they get the, uh, yeah. the, so, the so if unholy the cops, punishment of paid leave, bro. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's the worst so, thing in the world. So we'll forget, forget cops briefing. and robbers. If a human being is trying to break into your home at night with flashlights and guns, you should probably start defending yourself because they're not going to treat you very well. It, whether you're on the right side of this or not, you you might get killed and framed because they, they do that. They do that. Did yeah. you see the one with the axe? Yep, sure did. Gentleman's in the wooded area holding an axe. You know, in the woods, like where you might chop some trees down or something. Well, yeah. hold on. Like, so, place for an axe. <laughs> but wait, now to tell the story right, because what happened was this guy was in the axe with the in the woods with an axe. I'm pro axe. They had called in that he had been threatening people, which I yeah. guess is true. And uh, they looked for him. They couldn't find him. They called it in again. This guy's still being an asshole. He hasn't hurt anybody, but he's threatening. He's being a bully, and he has an axe in his hand. So the cop comes up. He's got his gun trained on him, and he says, put the axe down. And the guy's like, now, now. He's put the axe down. He's like, I'm not going to pop. Headshot. Done. Him. Just Done. kills him? How From close like is he? For, for like 35 feet, maybe? It Out, of a Out of melee range. I don't know. Look, you play Tarkov, Slush Puppy. You know what's up. Oh, man, look. I'm not I'm worried about getting hatcheted by that dude. You ever been, look, <laughs> look, I have I never been fucking hatcheted. Room, man. I not even on his fastest day in my slouse, man. <laughs> I, mean, I got well over 1,000, maybe 2,000 hours yeah. in that shit. You, I'm sure you've got three times as much, but nobody's ever fucking hatcheted my ass, all right? Yeah, that, I, no. I, have been, I have been hatcheted before, but I was really fucking drunk. But I've done <laughs> some hatchetings. To be I've, fair, I've done, they hit you I've with done that. some hatchetings. I love the KS-23 flashbang people and beat them to death. But that's yeah. either here or there. The cop murdered that man because he's a pussy. 
That's what happens time and time again. I can't wait Maybe the he is a go to prison. Player and he just hates hatching. Wait till the prison. <laughs> wait till those pussies go to prison. That's or it. Did he not go to prison? Slush Puppy is no. right. The guy's a Tarkov player. And uh, yeah. what is it called he when got they got around it. naked? Uh, hatchling. Hatchlings. Hatchlings. Hatchlings, yeah. yeah. He's like, he, Sorry, he has a fucking thing like, against hatchlings. Yeah. They that don't dude's got a graphics card up his ass. Fuck this guy. <laughs> I'm going to kill him in the woods. Yeah, <laughs> this makes perfect sense. I like yeah. it. So I, j- to clarify the hatchet situation. Base just took down a hatch run- was, hatchet runner. <laughs> was this guy doing anything with his hatchet practical, or was he just kind of a wandering axeman? I think that he had recently been threatening people and he was in the woods kind of by his lonesome but it was a handheld hatchet not something you chop trees down with yeah he was just, just okay it, well that be, you do have to call the cops when there's a man wandering around yeah. not chopping wood with a hatchet the, like there's what so, you so i'm with you the problem is the cop was like put it down the guy's like hold on a minute boom headshot like he went from the the guy had one warning he was well outside of maybe they, he was way too quick to, to murder. Yeah, cops are like that. The cop, because... uh, it, it happened a while ago. It was in the spring, and it was like December as we record this. And uh, the cop got a couple weeks paid vacation. He's back on the back on the beat now. Back on the Look, beat. I, I'll control. give you another video game like, like like reference, right? Like like when I'm playing Tarkov, okay, mm. like like as a scav, for example, there are non combatants on, on the field of battle that I'm not supposed to shoot when I'm playing as a scav. However. I'm so twitchy, sometimes I shoot them accidentally. I don't mind this, though, because the penalty for killing a non-combatant is so low. It's there. I go, ah, shucks. My <laughs> friends might even rag me about it. But we're going to go right back into another raid in a little while with no problems whatsoever. That's what being a cop's like. <laughs> it is, <yeah. laughs> That's what being a cop's like. They're going to ah. razz you at the station for shooting that old fella. Ah. Razz you. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, they're hatchet, like, man. Just they're gonna hold it. up a picture. They're gonna hold up a picture of your grand of your dead grandpa's body, and they're gonna be like, "Look at that! He didn't even hit the uh, tin ring." Like yeah, that's like, what they're gonna do. The cop should have confirmed our theory that he's a Tarkov player that hates hatchlings. He by obviously tea shot him in the face and then screamed, "See you in the lobby, faggot!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm on a I, uh, damn. I'm watching this video right now. This dude with the axe is so far away. Yeah, that, like, it's a good I'm, shot, I'm right? You're impressed. Shot. It blew yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, maybe it was a shit line. shot. Maybe That's it was aiming to like official the position. That was a warning <laughs> shot. In blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the the important thing was to get this marksman back on the streets. Yeah, yeah. Pull the beat. He can be executing rowdy customers at the grocery yeah. store in no time. You know, we hey, need get that guy. guy right? Send him over to fucking Ukraine, bro. He's a fucking. This exactly. guy's a master. Kyle Rick like John Wick. Get that guy a badge. <laughs> get kyle written yeah I, oh god kyle rittenhouse had the best tweet the other day Fuck, oh yeah what was it it was something like dims never want to face up the consequences or something like that, <laughs> I saw that. It, was, yeah. it was something like that in that same vein and and and, and again okay that's left, pretty funny have, people, on the left <laughs> no, people on the left all of a sudden when somebody hits them with a zinger like and all of a sudden it's gone over their head and they're acting like he's just a crazy person. They're like, look, he, look, can you believe he said that? And they're like, it's like, yeah, he's being ironic in a funny way. He's <laughs> capable of that despite the, the, everything else you might believe about him. No, he's not. I, I can't I tell if mad. I'm a thin skinned, yeah. stupid liberal. Because when I saw it, I was like, does he know what he's doing or does he just believe this? Oh, does, for does sure. He, that yeah. is a well-crafted zinger that, that, that he tweeted okay. out there that's meant, that's meant to make um, his friends chuckle, his side chuckle, and it's ma- meant to make the other side sizzle. And it it was perfectly crafted so well, so he probably didn't even come up with it or type it out himself. I should. I don't. Pay but he's not a villain anyway. Look, what you got in Kyle Rittenhouse? He's a we've said many times it, a marksman, as far as I can tell, and a, a kid who did something stupid and went Kids to a straight he shouldn't shooter. have, and then had to defend himself. <laughs> like, Man's straight like, like, <laughs> that whole that whole situation is just so fucking dumb. It's like, it, yeah, he he was defending himself, but it's like. No, why he was fuck? defending used cars. Well, yeah, but why the fuck At was he first. there? Can't the police do this? <laughs> like, in, in what kind of fucking society where this dude picks up a gun and goes, I'm needed? Like, surely they can... In the greatest know, society <laughs> on Earth. <laughs> uh, can't, 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 see, the this, three of us... Well, uh, see, the three of us are Americans, so we know. Y'all all know that that... Look, the community needed Kyle Rittenhouse that night. We all know that's true because the police weren't doing their jobs. Do you know know how many cars that's what I'm saying. Where the fuck were they? 
I thought that, look, okay, look, so look, the, the police, can, can the police master marksman, but... although fucking impotent. Like, which where the, are we going the, with this? It's when, never when, a happy media. When, when it's those neither, uh, when we need it. When those riots were happening like that, they would usually like pull the police out and just mm -hmm. write the city off and let the city burn. Um, there's ah, lots of our, lots of American cities got burned to the ground. Um, dirt like a couple years ago, like like. How many was well, it? During all the riots, like summer of... Come on, Woody, I can show you aerial really? photographs. They, I they burned down the lot. When you say the summer... city was burned to the ground and blocks were gone, it's not... So, I, I so, so Raleigh, North Carolina, North Carolina as a city, like, is more than four gas stations, two dollar stores, and a church's chicken, but there's a lot of places that aren't. Places that aren't. Oh. If you burn down two gas stations, the church's chicken, the the liquor store and the fucking dollar store the town was burned down last night <laughs> like, that's it <laughs> what's left the red lights and the fucking laundromat the i'm like portland still standing what is kyle talking about but i see you're what? saying they I, took out like I, I, Livonia by just it, taking out zaxby's it was like uh that, that was the same time that in seattle like all those like antifa people did like the we have an autonomous zone where <laughs> this is not the united states this is sovereign Whatever the you know what, you know what the rate numbers what, are what in the autonomous called? zone of Seattle, their, their autonomous zone where like they like made barriers Black and then people like started getting stand. people started getting like raped and murdered in there and they're like still no cops. It's like all right, well yeah. I know it's I, like that. I would have. Uh, oh, that's a, do you remember those those pictures where all those retards were like this is our autonomous area and there was like the brand of retard who was like wearing their fucking ski masks or whatever with guns and then there were the and their you know communist sweaters. Then there were the other ones who were like. We're here for the commune. We're going to grow beets in the middle of this park that we've seized <laughs> from the government and no one's doing anything about it, I guess. And they like, remember, they put cardboard down over the grass and then put dirt on the cardboard and then tried to plant stuff in the dirt on the cardboard. And everybody was just roasting them online. <laughs> it's like, what are you like? You're growing number like be like, like what were they? They were growing like spinach kale like not substantive things even if you're going insane. to grow crops you don't go we got a new civilization here in the middle of seattle we need low calorie greens people <laughs> <laughs> like, <no. laughs> this whole thing is insane too because if any of those people actually wanted to do what they're trying to do up there and didn't actually just want like a drug rape zone that, that was convenient they'd go to a a, a rural state where property is incredibly cheap and yeah, they like make sure home. it had water, and then they'd have their community. Then they have they, a drug rape zone there. They could yeah. do their drugging and raping out Kyle, in the middle of the Jordan cells. Read about these in cell problem the solvers. <laughs> these <laughs> these guys. I mean, they, they, they only want to solve the problem if they have attention, though, because their parents neglected them, so they're just like fucking turds about it. Yeah, uh, I mean, we're solving the do. problem. Everyone's looking at us. They can't have a they can't have a farm by themselves and enjoy it because they don't enjoy like growing shit and stuff like that. They just want to be fuckheads. Yeah, I want to go somewhere <laughs> where I can wear my Che Guevara hat and my Supreme <laughs> shirt in peace. Yeah, yeah. My, do you think that like, like? Do you think you could enjoy that kind of existence? That sort of simple like farm life existence, like like a, like a the kind where you're like growing your own food and stuff. No, Woody. Maybe I can't deal with my videos me. buffering. That alone is enough to get me out of the fucking coffee. Yeah. Have you ever tried? To, have you have, in the last twenty years? Have you tried to eat without something on? No. Oh, it's yeah. just brutal. Why do you Kyle, tell me I have to talk to trips? my wife? I'd rather yeah. kill myself. <laughs> I've been watching porn in one twenty p. I I mean this is ridiculous. I can't live like this much longer. You ever jerked off to a puppet show? <laughs> <laughs> well, your your sure, own yeah. puppet show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that crack in the ceiling looks somewhat like a tit. Hell yeah, let's. Yeah, fight. every time I get close, this porn goes off the rails. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I kind of I can't beat off with my imagination. I just uh, I close my eyes and then it's just fucking demons. Then I'm like, you know, and then I'm just scared. I lose my erection immediately. Sounds like drifter. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, and then I'm just, and then I'm not masturbating. I'm just having a panic attack in bed. That's like, you're just, you're oh, too scared to come. <laughs> yeah. Every time you try to, uh, off, you see robots and demons. Yeah. I saw you're, that, you're like that. Drill, I saw a thing about Stephen King. Um, that I can't remember which book it is he wrote, but he doesn't remember writing. It's like one of the big ones. It, Cujo. Like, yeah, I don't. It, it is Cujo. 
is he doesn't remember writing Cujo because he was on this bender and they listed the things he was on, the substances. And it started off, you know, normal. Like, you know, it was like alcohol and I don't know, maybe prescription painkillers and then some Xanax. And then it was like Robitussin, NyQuil and like two or three other mouthwash and mouthwash. Apparently he was going through like a couple bottles of it a day or something. I don't know. He was like robo tripping while he wrote Cujo. It sounds like that. Why mouthwash though? Like that's just alcohol know, gets you drunk, right? Yeah, I would think or no, it'd probably make you very sick because they put they would put stuff in there. Like usually products that have alcohol in it that would get you drunk, like ethanol, they put shit in there too, so that if you drink it, it makes you feel sick. Back like then though, maybe off, not doing some like chemical shit. Yeah. Oh, like that might be freeze kind of. You stuff. might be too current though. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. Like d- drinking mouthwash wasn't was that a written thing in that, like the eighties. Drinking mouthwash was a thing that like kids and alcoholics did when I was young. Ah, uh, so I guess yeah. you just buy a big old jug of Listerine and I I don't know. Like, I, I think I it's like it one of the very young. few ways. <laughs> You know, you're buying alcohol without an ID. What's weird is that Stephen King, a grown ass man who, it, if he, if he was writing Cujo, then he'd already written Carrie, so he's already a rich man, uh, not a wealthy. He's man. got enough he, money yeah. to not be drinking. He's mouth. got liquor money. Yeah, <laughs> he's got yeah. bottom shelf vodka money. Like, yeah, Dude, you're right. Like at that point, that's a choice. Like mm-hmm. maybe yeah, he's like, I just want to be a star. Oh, nothing honest. hits like Listerine cool mint. Maybe yeah, this he is like, isolated it's like himself, in that... like that guy in Misery. You know, like you go in a cabin yeah. and start writing. Yeah, yeah. and all you have this left is like is the you... the early eighties. Though, like he could have just gone and got diet pills and just like got fucked up. Like, oh, he was, was on no all that. Like that. Would have been cheaper. Yeah, he was definitely on all that stuff. Like I always say, like he was on sleep pills, cocaine, uppers, downers, sideways, probably lewds. I only Ooh. know about those, dude. I hear of, such uh... good things about quaaludes. Don't you yeah. want one? I didn't really know I what they were they, until they explained it to I me. I don't Wolf think you can get them anymore because the uh, the active ingredient in them goes off, apparently. I, I looked into this, and, uh, yeah, they haven't produced them in so long, and the active ingredient goes off, so you can't get them anymore. You had to. I, I can't remember who it was, but there's a story that they told. It's a comedian or somebody, but they had some quaaludes that had been in a freezer for, like, a decade yep. or something. Um, and then, like, isn't it uh, – is it Wolf of Wall Street where Jordan – Belfort is like does the quaaludes yeah, yeah. and then that's yeah. when he can't he's like crawling into his car and like drooling and stuff it's ridiculous <laughs> yeah um that i wouldn't want to do that but quaaludes yeah, just did ketamine basically the same yeah it is it knows all about ketamine <laughs> i'm a ketamine expert mm-hmm. well hobbyist you know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me down, Taylor. This is my, my shining moment. I'm the guy who has the drug experience on the show. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I've never done ketamine. Kyle's never done ketamine. I guess you guys are the, the experts. <clears throat> Ketamine's dope. Yeah, it's sick. But I mean, uh, Woody was using it in like journaling, introspecting, you know, you know, thinking about things. Were you doing that when you were doing ketamine slush? No, no, I was just uh, rolling around on the ground, just like <laughs> tickling, tickling my mate, and then we were just laughing our heads off. It wasn't, it wasn't very introspective at all. Rolling we, on the we ground, just, tickling me, mate. Yeah, no, we were just, I, we were just fucked. If you were more introspective, you'd realize you were gay. <laughs> just, yeah. No, no, it was... It was we, we just didn't journal it and process fucking, it. No, and we, no, no. We, were just, we were just brain damaged slugs. There's yeah. making nothing, notes after nothing you know what I really up. want to suck dick. I, I think yeah. that like, oh, like that rolling weird. on the ground, tickling and laughing with your friend on ketamine. That's what you do when like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, everything is hit other than oh, that yeah. pinnacle of of friendship and camaraderie. Really, it just showed I, that you're really well. I think addressed. we had Ricky Rick and Morty on, and uh, and we'd like we're like, yeah, let's let's watch the new season of Rick and Morty. And then my mate's like, you know, even better, let's like put a mattress on the floor here, and there's like. It was like five of us, and we all like we had like a bunch of mattresses on the floor, so we're laying down to like watch Rick and Morty. And this, it was after one of my friend's funerals, so we we're like really fucked up. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then he's like, you know what, to make this even better, let's all just do like fat lines of ketamine, and then just like fucking watch Rick and Morty and be completely fucked. And so yeah, we were just yeah brain damaged slugs. <laughs> just slush, you know what would make this even better? Like if we tickled each other with our shirts off. 
Ah, oh, no, we yeah. just yeah, it was just fucking weird, man. Because yeah, we're I'm just fucking saying. hard shit. <laughs> Nothing gay about it. It just kind of a tickler. And it's, yeah, it'd be uh, crazy as if you jerk me off. <laughs> no, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a real joke. Yeah, hey, man, you can feel good. Nothing gay about getting high on cat and then fucking watching uh. Rick and Morty with your mates. <laughs> uh, I kind of deep in my gay hole, and I wish that your beard was pressed against oh, my tummy right no. now. No, <laughs> <laughs> that make this uh, even uh, better. Uh, see, see, I know, I know, I know for a fact, Woody, that you're not a uh, a long term drug user because when you when you uh, use drugs a lot, you start working out these uh, dumb systems that in your mind make sense while you're high. So, like, okay. you when, when I was uh, when I was really into doing uh doing lots of uh speed and, and smoking a heap of weed we'd uh we'd order like multiple pizzas and it was like a specific system so you'd order like at, at like 6 p.m you'd order like five pizzas for like three people and you put two of the pizzas in the oven and leave them in there at 100 degrees and then at like 2 a.m when you start taking speed and you realize that you're super fucking hungry you can smell the pizzas coming from the uh from the kitchen and you're like well, that's right we have fucking pizzas like i left those <laughs> for myself before and then you go get them so that's like that's the level of drug use you get to when you you have like oh, yeah. this this i like setups <laughs> yeah. past slush is like leaving gifts for future slush to, to smell exactly. and discover and that's yeah, good yeah. because it also shows that there were probably dozens of times where you did it before you learned this pizza trick and there was yeah. like a blind panic at 1am of like, where's the food? Like, yeah. what are we but like a, a new stoner comes to the group and he'll bring like knowledge from previous like stoner antics. Like we had one guy, he came in, he was like, Hey man, we should like we fill up the, like the water in the bong with ice. And it makes it, uh, makes it a bit cooler. It's a bit, it's mm -hmm. a bit lighter. And we're like, yeah, yeah. Okay. So then we took that on. That was that, that was then part of it. And then you, then you start doing that shit where you're high. Like we, one of my friends was into making leather wallets. And uh, so he made a little gun holster for our bong because it had a picture of Ned Kelly on it. So he made a gun holster for it. And then we got one of those little butane gun lighters. And so the bong <laughs> always had a lighter on it because it was always strapped. Because it had a holster with a gun. So you never lose the lighter. It was like, <laughs> this took us fucking is, weeks to work like out. A, like an oral tradition of drug abuse. Yeah. Like where you learn from your elders and someday you'll pass yeah. this down to someone else. Yeah. None of it's written down. Yeah, it's all, it's all just like campfire singing, bro. <laughs> just oh, pass yeah. it on like fucking like the Iliad. Bro mistakes <laughs> along the way when you're repeating yeah. it to your friends. But uh, and after Woody did, I had never in my life thought like, oh yeah, I should do ketamine. Like it just had never been on my, it's never been a drug I've given any thought to. And then when Woody did it, I'm like, fuck man, like maybe I should... Order ketamine on the internet from this d d doctor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's buying it yeah. from. And you're like, wait a minute, is this how Kyle got in is closed? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is this legal in your state to get ketamine? Because I know it's not legal to yeah. get it here. Yeah, you can yeah, do you exactly can get it what Taylor described. Yeah. You order ketamine off the goddamn internet, and they send it to your house in 2022. That's what Woody in did. 2019. Was legal. Is it <laughs> <laughs> is, is it enough? Is is it enough ketamine to produce like a dissociative state? Like it, yes. So I'll I'll lay it out there. That there, this isn't sponsored, but the company is Mind Bloom, and I was a little like down at the time. And I, I guess like these, you take ketamine sort of once a week, and it's a way to think things through and maybe just even chemically sort of readjust and, and bring a little joy. All right, cool. So the first time you take it, like you give them your, you know, your weight, your age or whatever, and they take a guess and they're kind of trying to come in like low, but good. And uh, I forget the numbers, so don't get hung up on them. But I, I think the first time I did it, I took like 450 and I was like, you know, it worked and it was nice, but you know, when you're drinking, how you can be drunk and sort of act in a fool and then your parents come and now you're acting sober. I was <laughs> like, I felt like I could have done that. I want to be at a place where mm -hmm. there's no denying the high. Right? I want to be in a place where I'm stuck drunk, where my parents come. I'm just fucked. Yeah. And uh, they're like, we got you. So they change it from like 450 to 800. And uh, and with that, yeah, man, you're you're high and you're you're <laughs> it is like a bobsled ride where once you start this once you've done it 
you got to get to the bottom, bro. There's no other way. There's no other way down. <laughs> you, you, you need to continue on with this path that you started. You can't just eject out the side. No, no way back scenarios, whether they're, you know, um, literal or, or, or not. I like them because they simplify things so much. And, and you're now allowed to focus fully on getting to point B. Like, like, like that, the, I, you know, going down a hill is a perfect scenario. Like, like we used to slide down hills in all sorts of unworthy craft and, and vehicles <laughs> that we would make ourselves. And it was always like, all right, once we like kick off here, like there's no stopping. Uh, we we got to ride this out. We would, I had this bicycle that had been turned into a chopper. So it was like super long, unwieldy thing. I took that down my dad's hill, you know, that, that, that hill you might, Woody's seen it. It was awful. It was awful. I ro- I tumbled and tumbled. <laughs> you did set it on fire. It had been yeah, on fire. Yeah, fucking before. Glenn Beck put me on blast for it. Well, Glenn, Glenn Beck, Beck, Glenn Beck is. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, that, that was like week. irresponsible gun owner of the week or something. <laughs> you know, like, I, From I Glenn Beck, been... really? Yeah, that's hilarious. Fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we were filming something and uh, we set the field on fire. And uh, or or Woody did, I suppose, technically, and uh, and then we kind of ran around um, comically putting it out because how else do you put out fifteen tiny fires in a field? Yeah, yeah <laughs> but yeah. comically, yeah, you put like slowly. Every fire is trying to grow, so you can't just take the fire and bring it down to zero, then move to the next one because then the other ones grow too much. So yeah. you kind of just take that 100 percent fire knock it down to like 15 we'll deal with you later because we got a couple of the hundreds still raging yeah. <laughs> you know, it was yeah, you're it just was... crippling fires everywhere <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, that's, that's fun that i mean like Pretty i don't know how fun. many times i've done that growing up like goofing around and set the yard or the field or something on fire and having to very quickly put the fire out um whenever i see like some tiktok cunt make a fire on her uh, stove and then act like she's never <laughs> It been I don't know done anything before. It's the same level of incompetence as when you see somebody get into a little bit of trouble in a car and then hit the accelerator instead of the gas and mm-hmm. like all yeah. the way through a fucking building or something. And mm-hmm. I, I I always wondered how that happened. And then I figured it out on my own last night. Those people drive with both fucking feet. Those people drive with both fucking feet. Little left Walt Juniors out there, right on right on the gas. <laughs> Bunch of Walt Juniors out there. Good so reference. you see it all. But anytime you see anytime you see that that video where some assholes in a parking lot and it's seemingly like we're we're at a low speed and then they just zoom and take off out of nowhere like through a storefront or like over another car and they end up upside down in a parking lot that's what it is they panicked and tried to slam on the brakes and they're driving with both goddamn feet so they they fucked up wasn't that like a really quick lesson when you were like when like your dad or mom or whoever took you out to drive it was like you use your right foot for both things and that seemed intuitive I've, anyway. Yeah. Having both your feet over there wouldn't I, be. I always get in the back of uh, taxis or like Ubers, and the uh, the cunts are always driving with both feet. And because they're like riding the brake, and it's like you're like uh, uh, backwards and forwards, it makes me feel sick. I, I remember giving this one kind of serve. I was just like, can you like can you just drive with one fucking foot, man? Like you're making me feel <laughs> real sick. Like we got like an hour to go in this taxi drive, and I'm gonna fucking spew on the back of your head in a minute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a long true. fucking way to the airport, bro. I wouldn't ride with somebody off. who drove with both feet. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel safe no, in a yeah, car with somebody. Who, like, it, it's like I'm trying to. It, I don't know. If if you saw that your pilot was up there and he was putting on his fucking like vomit bag and he had a <laughs> diaper, he's like, yeah, he's putting a diaper on because he gets IBS when he flies because he's so scared yeah. of it and he's like, this is trainee. Like, dude, I don't think you're set up for this. I don't think you know what you're doing. <laughs> like you drive with both feet, you're not a good driver. You're not a driver yet. You're, yeah. you're an amateur who hasn't you shouldn't have a driver's license you shouldn't be able to get a driver's license driving like that i don't remember like when i learned to drive i remember when i was four i got one of those jeeps the battery powered little jeep oh yeah you know those things were awesome and uh and then i think i had a three-wheeler by the time i was like six seven something like that something with a motor on it and you know an accelerator but I don't know. I okay. never considered the only experience they've ever had was uh, driving like go karts at the fair, where you have to have like your brake with the left foot. Yeah, yeah. And there's an, oh. and that's a, like that, that's their only experience, and then they just end up getting a license somehow, and then they're just like, "Yep, here Is we go." Is that how go karts work? Yeah, because usually the steering yeah. column like splits that's your legs right. into, and so you have to. There's yeah. only there's like you can't do one leg. 
Yeah. Yeah. I have um those go karts in uh and in, in Denver are awesome. That was a blast. I would do that again. We, we did it again like like this last trip. Um uh I can't remember. I think we all like took turns being best at it, so it was nobody had to feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, did, like, <laughs> we did like we 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 raced until I quit. We raced until I was starting to like get a headache from it. I mean, maybe seven oh, yeah. races or something like that. Um because they did yeah. it by the time. I remember when we went, they were like, all right, you're paid for the hour or the hour and a half or whatever. And so it's like, you want to take a break before your next run? There's no one else here. And it's like, what did, no, you're not going to trick me into buying chicken fingers right now in the middle of my yeah. hour. Like, let's keep it. An, a- an hour in a go-kart, like uh, nonstop is a, is a long fucking time. It's actually uh, tiring, as embarrassing and silly is. as that sounds. It is. No, it, is. No, it really is. It's a, like an endurance race. Mm-hmm. Every every race when we get done, we were all just shaking our hands out because you're constantly, yeah, you're constantly jerking two guys off really hard. That's the best part of go karting is all the gay yeah, sex. All the gay sex. <laughs> In the like super carts and shit like that, you have the seats that sort of come up like underneath your ribs as well. And if you're hitting like really fast turns and you haven't got enough padding in there, you get out and it feels like you may punch in the kidneys. Mm -hmm. Just like the seats just uh, digging into you. We had a couple of pretty solid wrecks. Like like they they, they're like you know you could feel that you got shaken up a little bit, but uh, that just makes it more fun. They slow they will they slow you down electronically if they see you being an asshole. They're like oh how about a lap of fifty percent power. And I was like, oh, oh, I'm just going to block everybody now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, guess who's about to piss that. all yeah. over your bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> I just we turned my car sideways and, and blocked the way. a problem. <laughs> <laughs> have, have, I, have I told you guys about the go get my family and go-karting before? No. The, no, uh, no. So about, like my entire family raced go-karts like super karts. So we were like really into it. Like the, like the state titles and like, Australian titles oh, of like go karting, yeah, 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 yeah. And we, so we went. We, we have this thing like every now and then we'll go and do like go kart racing. So if we go on like a family holiday, and my dad will be like, "There's a fucking go kart track down there. We're gonna go race. Who's the best?" Because it's just this long standing thing that like my dad reckons he's the best fucking driver out of all of us, and so do both of my brothers, and so do I. So we have this like thing, and just recently we went to one down here, and we got sent out, and it's, so it's like me, my two brothers, my brother-in-law, my fucking dad, and my sister on the track, and we're all competitive as fuck. Mm. And then this random woman and a daughter get put on the track with us, and I'm like, this is gonna end very poorly. <laughs> <laughs> like, and so they don't know the snakes. Like, yeah, and so the helmets are on, so you can't quite tell who's who i mean you sort of can but we start off and say everyone comes out of the pits at the same fucking time and we're all like over the top of this hump and then like around onto the main straight and we're all Mm -hmm. just fucking flat nut and my dad in his infinite wisdom because he's the dirtiest fucking racer of all time just pit maneuvers (laughs) who he (laughs) thinks is me (laughs) but he's actually this like 45 year old woman <laughs> and he just fucking sends up like she she ate shit like she was fuck. like she pulled off the track and was like giving my dad a serve she's like what the fuck are you doing and he's like i'm so sorry i thought you're my son <laughs> she's just like you are a fuckhead i'm not racing with you again yeah, that's her prerogative i mean uh, you can't uh, run with the big dog stay on the yeah, porch yeah get that's the right. fuck out of the way yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's what I said. I was like, yeah, I actually do she, kind of kind of feel like that sometimes. It's like my brother's my older brother was like, shouldn't have blocked the racing line, then you fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and honestly, like if she if, if your father mistook her for you, yeah, that's a fat bitch. Have been, you know, the tallest woman in Australia. Yeah. For just well, I'll tell you, like put put it must this mean way, that Slush uh, is a shitty driver. <laughs> oh, I'm a fucking great. I run the Australian. I don't know your father. Who, who ended up winning? Lady. Who ended up winning this yeah. most recent uh, Grand Prix? Uh, well, with the slower go karts, it's always the one who is the lightest at the time because they're like they're very weight dependent because they don't have much power. And so at that what do you time, slow. Well, uh, for like anything under kilometers like, per hour, yeah. over a hundred, uh, like under a hundred kilometers an hour. The go kart six that's six like 60 yeah. that's like 60 miles, 60 miles. Yeah. That's, yeah damn well, the, that's fucking the fast. ones that are well the ones that i used to race so were fast like, to me how fast are you the guys ones going? that i used to race were super carts so they're like they're like proper ones like with uh like a fair amount of power so how fast but, uh they definitely go over 100 they, yeah but like 150 
like 110. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, well, it's, uh me... so you were probably he was probably hitting like 70, 80 miles an hour. I, whatever those carts do at Unser and uh, they place... do zero zero to sixty in three seconds, top speed of <laughs> 100, 155 miles an hour. <laughs> Jesus Christ! They, they fight. Yeah. They go. Yeah, they life fucking go. Life and death. You're talking about life oh, and yeah. death racing. Oh, yeah, the... we're oh, man, talking uh, about you... indoor go kart racing. Oh yeah, no, you're doing. Oh, you're this stoned. Is... Yeah, no. This is what this is what I'm saying is the indoor go kart racing. That's but because that always ends up on like weight based because they're so they're not powerful enough. Mm -hmm. So all of my family when we Jesus race, Christ. we usually just fucking run each other off the track because we're cunts. But <laughs> last time my brother, my twin brother won because he'd been on a bit on a bit of diet at the time. So he was like, he's like, yeah, I'm feeling pretty svelte, like I'm a bit trim, and and all of everyone in my family is on the larger side, and uh, so he he beat us all because he was like. 10 15 kilos lighter than the rest of us but next time uh, i'll just go on a diet beforehand and then i'll try or and just win. wait his car <laughs> good down. motivation i just I wait his car or oh, oh, we'll just run him off the fucking track and kill him yeah, That's way yeah. Easier. team building event at woodycraft and the order of finishing we went go-kart racing the lightest person got first and the heaviest person got last i was dead even with this 16 year old who was lighter than me didn't even have a driver's license like that's how <laughs> important yeah. the weight difference was yep. like i was parallel with a guy who never drove yeah okay. man 155 yeah. miles an hour in a go-kart that is so fast you should have led yeah. with how intense and fast i didn't know they made the oh. that should be illegal they must be oh, twitchy as fuck they, right like the steering oh, fuck yeah they have well they have lock differentials because they uh they just have like a locked axle so they slide like fuck and just like moving the steering wheel just like that. Like you go around a corner and it's like that. Like they that can be that can be quite terrifying. More dangerous than guns. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> die in those? Uh I racers. believe people have, but I've never seen I never saw anyone die myself. I saw a couple of flips, like my brother flipped his and uh it landed on top of him and broke his collarbone and his arm. Uh so one guy so he came off and he got run over by another cart and they had to wheel him off because he fractured a vertebrae in his neck, but he ended up uh, fine. Oh, yeah. I was, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty like, it's pretty fucking feral. I'd, I'd like <laughs> to go, try it. That sounds like go-karting is so much fun. Yeah. Cause yeah. it's like a ton and of things. Are like, oh, like this is one of those things where like when you take go-karting to its max, yeah, you've already surpassed auto racing at its minimum. And that's a problem. It's yeah. like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Your go kart cost eighty seven thousand dollars, dude. <laughs> we can get yeah. you a real race car for twenty. And the, the real the race car is safer. The yeah, thing is, the they, they're like the go karts are more closely related to like open wheelers. So like they're more of like a stepping stone to like open wheeler F1. racing, like F one yeah. and stuff. So like a lot of the people that end up racing F one race like uh, they'll that's race where NASCAR guys start out too. Like yeah, like when I was much in high school, starts at go karts, yeah. I had a friend in high school that was his aspiration to, to do NASCAR. And um, they had started in go-kart racing like early at like 12 year old. And like every couple of years, it's like baseball or any other sport. They give you some more CCs, right? It's, yep. it's like, Oh, you're in the 15 year old range. Mm -hmm. You're going 75 miles an hour. Oh, you're, you're 17. You're basically in a rocket ship right now. Like, like I remember them talking yeah, about, that's what we were like. Like like they would uh, bore out their engines, those um the 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 engines of those uh for those go karts, and they would only be good for one race. Yeah. Like, like they'd blow the engine out in one race, like like not yeah. destroy it, but like that engine's done. It's race. It's good because it's a two stroke. <laughs> they they run them like they run them super hot because the mm. the more you lean it out, the faster it goes. And so the the idea of like if you want to win that race and and to to push it to its limit, you want it running as hot as it can without seizing, pretty much. And so yeah. you're you're just sort of while you're racing, you've got like you can tune the jets on the carby on the carby, so you can change it so you can continue to lean it out. And the hotter it gets, the the more you're leaning it out as the race goes along. So you start like rich in your opening laps, and then bring it up to temperature, and then start leaning it out. And then every lap when you hit the straight, you'll, you'll adjust it to get it to that perfect level uh, of where you want that air fuel ratio. You just, are you, you listening? Uh used to listen and then they changed it so like you'd have like sensors and shit on it uh which is when the sports started getting like expensive and shit like that yeah like, of course got, right got sensors I, for like air fuel ratio and stuff like that so my dad had a friend who was really into it and he was like like into his 50s he was like super into go-kart racing and he would travel around and do it 
and he was driving back from one of the races one night. And in the back of his truck, he had a bunch of his gear. He had um, a big can of racing fuel. He had like a battery and some terminals and stuff. And he was coming up to a red light and he was going to run it because it was late at night. And he saw there was a cop coming up behind him and the cop would have seen if he ran, ran the red light. So he has to slam on the brakes right at that light. And the fuel and the battery and everything slides forward in the, in, in the truck. It's a metal can of racing fuel. And so when the battery hits that and shorts out, it all explodes oh in my the back God. of his truck. Now the back of the truck is on fire, like a big racing fuel fire. And the Fuck cop man. is right next to him. So he gets out to put the fire out, but he doesn't put the car in park. So the truck's rolling through the intersection on fire while he's beating the fire with his coat. And the <laughs> cop the whole time is rolling beside him, watching like awestruck. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> is there a more serious crime taking place across town right now that they're trying to keep me off the scent of? Uh, I like to think at the same time his daughter's doing a TikTok video with a kitchen fire, like having no idea what to do. Right. <laughs> and he just and raised next generations of idiocy. Yeah. <laughs> The uh, yeah. did you Man, see Donald Trump say that that was going to come through the back and and, and oh. take his head off? I'm so glad that didn't turn no. into the final destination. No, that, that that poor gentleman uh, had a heart attack around 55 years old. Uh, nice, uh, real nice guy. He was a he was a real gun nut. <laughs> yeah. Six years ago. I got, yeah, I, I got had a bunker for, for Kyle to um, be like this guy was a like real gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, he had guns for arms. He, he was such a nice. <laughs> like like um, all he, he had like three subjects he would discuss: diesel mechanic uh, work because that's what he did. He, he he made a really good hourly wage, and he took all that money that he made being a diesel mechanic, and he put that into guns and go karts. Those were his other two passions. So it was nothing but guns and guns, go karts, and diesels. And so, like, he just he, he he was. I don't know. Maybe he was on the spectrum. Like, like we we just we just thought he was a little off. But he just kind of show up and just awkwardly just walk up to your, like like he pull up to the house and like like now he's here. <laughs> <laughs> like, like there wasn't a big introduction. He just kind of came and like walked up and just joined the crowd of us standing there and i don't mean like like the three of us maybe that they were there like working or doing or whatever in our yard and just be like out of nowhere anyway our 15 from Nevesky, i tell you what that is the way they're coating them parts hundred thousand rounds for you before you need a a new action it's just incredible stuff <laughs> that's so johnny yeah 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 it's just like like he always had <laughs> machine guns behind the seat of his car it was always like you want to see my new mp5 it was always something cool like that. Always cool shit. And uh, when you called just his house, like a, a country dude. Yeah, his, he was. When you called his house, um, he always wanted to be in the military, but for some reason they wouldn't take him. Uh, when you <laughs> called his house, his answering machine uh, back when those existed said something like, "I'm like, this is John. You, you missed me. I'm probably out tending to the booby traps and checking the <laughs> perimeter. I'll be, leave a message. I'll report back shortly." <laughs> and it was like <laughs> not even a joke <laughs> and it was like i don't know if this is a joke or not but it is funny yeah and, and i know that i like... will not go sneaking around john's place yeah. <laughs> because there may That's... or may not be booby traps and if those don't get me john's checking the perimeter you yeah. can imagine like this guy's son or something just getting a letter one day just saying he's after you like and he just goes and digs up his grave and it's full of grenades <laughs> just, just like yeah. whole terminator story going for it. he was the only guy I ever knew that hunted with like an ar-15 like i always we always hunted with bolt action rifles you know i mean I, it has a magazine in it i've got extra rounds i can reload well he spent if all his money on it he wants to use it no he was he was out to kill <laughs> he wasn't hunting <laughs> <laughs> he like, like like when he's going hunting he's just driving up to the field there they are and he's getting out and da 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 <laughs> He's hunting the other. That's, that's hilarious. When, when I go hunting, I like put on my, you know, I like put on a whole thing and like I use special soap and I climb up a goddamn tree and I wait for hours. He just drives around till he sees them, gets out. Hey, motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> this guy, you know, man, that's he's awesome. He's just doing it the lazy this guy way. Sounds or, cool. He's doing it yeah. the efficient way. That's the coolest way to cool, hunt I've is. ever heard. Deer hunting. That's is how so we. Boring. That's how we hunt in Australia. It blows my mind when people talk about deer hunting in uh, America, and they're like, "Oh, I've got this. I got this." whistle i'll put down grain and, and i'm gonna fucking fart this way and then the deers <laughs> are gonna come and i that always blows my mind because like when we hunt in australia we just roll up with a fucking light and just shoot 
shoot kangaroos in the face. Like <laughs> you just you just drive straight up. You could probably just run them over if you. I mean, it would be hard to skin <laughs> something you ran over. But you can. Oh, like, you so could. We when I, I was in Texas. Cool. When I was yep. in Texas, um, the guys that I was with, we were out to kill things. Uh, we were looking for pigs, but we had enough licensing and firearms that anything that moved, we would and we're going to shoot at like like we're going to shoot deer couldn't couldn't shoot those and obviously like but any other like game species we're good to go and keep and i mean like we're in an f-350 we're wearing night vision we have machine guns with infrared lasers on them and we're shooting out the windows in a neighborhood like a nice one like like million dollar houses and shit we're just <laughs> shooting shit and we, legally 100 legally like we we have so much paperwork there and um the, those guys uh, we're driving along, and I, I can't remember if it was a coyote or a fox. I think it was a coyote, like, ran across the road a good ways in front of us. I went, get him! And the guy went, all right. And he just turned <laughs> off into the field and started chasing the coyote through. We don't know whose field this is. We were just on the road. <laughs> what a burger is a mile back. Like, like we're, not, we're in town. We're going through the field now in this, in this big fucking truck, and it's banging and jumping around. He's driving. I'm in the shotgun seat. And I, I take my seatbelt and like jerk it so it locks and I wrap it around my arm and I go all the way out the window and I'm outside the car now just with the seatbelt wrapped around this elbow, keeping me from falling out so I can lean against it. And I'm <laughs> and, the, and the coyote, the coyote is zigzagging. <laughs> the guy's trying to run it down. The guy's trying to hit it. But we keep doing this thing where like obviously a truck isn't as nimble as a coyote. Yeah. So if it takes a quick turn, we've kind of got got to get straightened out to get behind him again. And so hilarious. It was the most fun I'd ever had. Did you get him? Hey. I don't remember. It didn't matter. We I killed so much. Get away. I don't I, I think he got away, if I'm being honest. I think he did. There was that um, fucking awesome. Did yeah, you can catch an of- animal if you had a motorcycle, the passenger had a baseball bat. You gotta get out wow. and grab it. They get out and grab it. That's what the cool you don't way. just smack them? Dude, I sent you that video that time. There was this bad motherfucker. Um, I can't, I think it was an ATV maybe, Mm -hmm. or it might've been a dirt bike. Anyway, he rides up to like a steer and then goes after it and bulldogs it down to the ground and takes it out. It was so fucking hardcore. Like that'd be the way to do it. Baseball bat. I feel like most animals are so tough, dude. Like they'd be like, what'd you hit me with? Yeah. We are bitch bitch made compared to a lot of animals. I could could kill a kangaroo with a baseball bat. No, a kangaroo not effective bigger. enough, so you're gonna it's like bigger it? than that. You're gonna grapple. Oh, it depends them? on the size. Yeah, of the we're 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 great at that. Not Grapple cow, is so though. effective against animals. Like 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 these hands are, are, are a whole other thing that they're not used to. They're all about poking and clawing, and we're just like, ah, what are you gonna do now? Like, especially like cattle and stuff, obviously, because they don't have teeth or claws really, and they're unwieldy yeah, a, and, they're like, and they don't do well on my back. And they're like kicks you in hyperextension, now you kind of completely backwards, and you're walking like a fucking emu. I mean. You could, it would, I mean, it would, you could kill a cow with a bat, but it would be a cruel oh, thing. so long. You would beat the cow Their with the bat so until, big. until the bat splintered and then you'd have to stab it through the eyes. Like, like it wouldn't, like, the, you're There's, right, it's skulls too thick. You just put I, it through torture. I Don't shoot beat them cows in the to ear. death with a bat, yeah, everyone. I, they're, they're so mm. thick when you'd kill Poison them, you'd, them, you'd put the pistol in their ear just to make sure. Like, I'm like, reminiscing like, my days with Henrietta with a bat. machete. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I punched a cow. What was what? <laughs> I punched a cow in the head one time, like up on the big curly flat part of its head. Uh, and I, I, it was like a situation where I was trying to get it to move, and it's like got it. We're, we're selling cattle, oh, okay. and cattle they're all bunched up together in like a catch thing, and it's like, me mother, oh, yeah. pop. It hurt so much. It was like <laughs> hitting a hairy rock. <laughs> it was like hitting a hairy rock. Like, like I swear to God, I'm not exaggerating. Yeah. It didn't give. It didn't budge. <laughs> the only reason that the skin didn't come off was the fur. Like, like it and the cow, when I say it didn't notice, it was unaware that I had done anything. <laughs> it had no idea. It didn't yeah. even flick its tail at me. It didn't give a fuck. <laughs> it's completely ambivalent. <laughs> like, 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 they're so fucking big. Like you got to go, go for the hamstrings like those, uh, those cattle dogs do. We Start, live like, like such. Your cow's going to nip at it. <laughs> Yeah. We live like such pussies compared to our fucking ancestors. Like, like yeah. those the, the people who took down big animals with like atlatls back in the back in the ancient times. Yeah, yeah. saber toothed tigers. Those are scary. 
Were we even yeah. alive at the same time as Saber Two Tigers? Yeah, Mylodon. Yes, yes, we were. Yeah, that, they think see. that. So I was taught growing up that all the megafauna died because of the change in climate, but now I think that they think a lot of that megafauna, the giant animals, died because um, of us that we hunted them to extinction. Extinction animals, fauna. Yeah, yeah, flora, yeah. floral. Oh, plants. Um, that's what I'm mixing up. Thank you. Um, yeah, no problem. And so the, uh, the there was this one animal, this gigantic um, armadillo that used to live, and we, they think that we we hunted those in particular to extinction because we were living in their shells. That's how big <laughs> they were. We would kill these, these. Their shells were big enough to live in. Well, that's what, what I saw. Makes sense. It's like like <laughs> elephants. I saw uh, the um, the bones of a six hundred thousand year old woolly mammoth. That's cool. Oh, in person. Yeah. I went to a little, I was in town, there was a little museum, and I was like, I can't not walk in the museum. Like, what is in the Shoshone, California Museum? I have to yeah. see it. Like, I had just seen the Bonnie and Clyde car and got, like, super into it. I was watching Bonnie and Clyde movies last night. I saw The Highwaymen with um, Kevin Costner. I'm reading the Bonnie and Clyde Wikipedia, like, getting all into Bonnie. I'm like a Bonnie and Clyde aficionado now because <laughs> I saw the fucking, like, shot up. They, back on, I'll, I'll go to the little man in a second. Bonnie and Clyde, the car, after they uh, really murdered, they set up an ambush because they knew they were going to this guy's house. The one of, their, one of the people in their gang, they would go from house to house to house and take advantage in this like circular route where cops wouldn't cross jurisdictions. Mm -hmm. So they were always right next to sort of a state line and they would just go across these couple of states knowing they could dart to the other state to safety basically freedom if they were about to get caught well anyway they were going to their gang member's house and they told that guy's father that they would let him go if he cooperated mm. they would let his son get out of this situation let him off as far as texas was concerned for two murders mm. and the dad's like all right that's a good deal so his kid gets away and they were going to meet up at that kid's house the kid's father's house and uh, dad's there. He's got his car in the road. And when Bonnie and Clyde pull up, they're going to help him because they know it. Like, yeah, this is our friend's dad. He's on the side of the road. Maybe he needs help. And the police come out and they ambush the fuck out of him. And they shot hundreds of rounds into this car. Now, guns. Uh, all kinds of guns, machine guns, 30 out six hunting rifles, shotguns, pistols, etc. How many cops and were there? Six. And uh, the six police just sort of ambushed this car. Each of the six cops had like three guns and they were all just mag dumping into this car. Um, Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> eh, it's American tradition. So uh, <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde, they get shot the fuck up and there is like brain matter and tissue and stuff all over the inside of this car. And the police were supposed to get this big ransom, $26,000, which was a mm -hmm. lot in like the 1930s. And uh, no one came through with the ransom. They, uh, they didn't get anything. So what they got was like $200 each, and they could take all the souvenirs they wanted from the car and stuff. Someone tried to take the car, but the owner was like, hey, this is my car. Hmm. So they got it. And then the car starts doing tours. They would let like people for a dollar sit in the car where Bonnie and Clyde died. And yeah. the, like there's still like tissue and shit. Like on like if you sit didn't in clean it, it, yeah. No, <laughs> it was like legit. It's clean now, but you can get get up next to it and see all the bullet holes. And it's kind of weird. Like two people died in this car, shot up, and they were murderers. They killed like a dozen people. Like they, mm -hmm. they were solid they would kill police and they just got too close and they mm -hmm. killed civilians too so it wasn't like yeah they were bad guys uh, yeah like the the frank abagnale like that myth is you know he never stole from anyone but big corporations it's all bullshit but uh these guys they killed regular people and they killed cops if they just got near them so you're not really rooting for them anymore but they were sexy and they fucked a lot and in the 1930s that like made them cool yeah uh, <laughs> like they, yeah, like there was, um, I forget, there was a pretty boy Floyd. Like he was like yeah. a, a handsome gangster or something like that. There was some other one. And and, and then these guys. Baby face were, Nelson. <laughs> these guys were 20 <laughs> years old. Both of them were sexy as fuck. They were going from town to town, just fucking each other everywhere they could. Killing cops, robbing banks, doing whatever. 
And then how did really... people know they were fucking? Were they were just like, yeah, we're just gonna fuck in front of these people? Like, are they just? Uh, well, they were sleeping they in think... the same place yeah, together, they... and they were in yeah. love, and you know, so yeah. What so all these people are like, oh, they're definitely in there fucking. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's part of the fame. They were like these uh. two definitely fucking bang and uh and these two gangsters man and a woman 20 21 years old banging going from town to town robbing banks people loved it they were super popular for a while tides changed and went against them when they started killing the wrong people yeah but uh suddenly i'm into it and i'm i'm a, a, you could see the shirt that clyde wore they have it in prim nevada in this casino in and prim a, yeah does that mean something to you? It's a real place. It's a yeah. Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, you go to oh, okay. Prim. Yeah, you go to Prim and Fallout New Vegas. It's a it's a major uh, town. I, I was in Prim last now night. You know. <laughs> and uh, um, so yeah, and you can see the shirt with all the bullet holes. Like, it, I don't know if the shots in the back were they exit wounds or did they get shot in the back too? I'm not sure. But uh, the police the ambushed and just took them down. So after that, Bonnie and Clyde sort of success. Like, man visiting random shit on the side of the road is kind of cool i wasn't into it and then it was you and i think you and taylor were like man i want to see the biggest ball of twine like that's a yeah. thing i'm really into i'm like that's well amazing. shit i should stop and see more things yeah so today i saw oh, a six hundred thousand like year old woolly mammoth and uh yeah the, the guy's talking to me too much he ran the little museum but i was checking it out i saw uh coyote and anyway i'm, I'm just it's more than just off-roading. I'm seeing stupid things. Good. No, that's, <laughs> that's uh, part of America. I, I was watching one of those uh, one of those things about our ancestors, and and they were talking about um, how we competed with the Neanderthal the Neanderthals, and okay. uh, how they suggested that they were big and powerful enough to kind of take on a lot of those giant animals on their own. Like just three or four of them would just jump up rhino and just beat its ass with clubs and spears, and if it hit them, they could take it. They were just that big and strong. But there were more of us and we were more cooperative. And uh, we also, because they were so big and bulky, they didn't make the tech tree leap to ranged weaponry. Ah, we, that's a big leap. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we went to Addle Addles. Got to invest that 400 gold into the yeah. no, edge, bro. <laughs> got to get those Addle Addles and those slings. Got to go up to feudal. Yeah. Uh, and then, because obviously we wanted to take on game at a, at a range uh, what's range. an addle addle you mentioned it a few times today how does it addle addles are cool so it's um it's a spear throwing device and the, the oh. spear is kind of part of it so it's a it's a mechanism but there's this handle that um you hold and in the back it's got a bit a, sort of a notch that holds the the spear the spear will have a corresponding notch and uh you're able to flick it and literally throw a spear it's not exactly a spear it's more of a uh, a bolt or or, or 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 a javelin type thing but twice as far as, as a man can throw him with his arm yeah mm -hmm. i get it yeah yeah so i can throw a ball so fast but if i have like a lacrosse stick or something I can exactly exactly yep. yeah i i've seen would, people use like them a perfect hunting weapon would be like a uh like back in those days would just be like one of those little fucking things that you throw the dog the tennis ball with yeah, put, rocks. <laughs> yeah. put rocks in it just start pegging it and shit i mean that's that's yeah, our ancestors that. like 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 that was step one right throwing rocks and sticks yeah. mm -hmm. like like, like what, yeah. that would be enough to fuck up a pheasant every now and then or, or, or knock a yeah. rabbit down like mm -hmm. i bet I if your you life depended on it or something you, with a rock of course you could like not like a turkey a but if it's turkey, slow and you're lucky no not a turkey in particular but but you know rabbits from a height yeah there's a I'm lot of animals. Fuck. I'd, I'd end up killing my uh, killing my cave wife or something. I'd throw a rock and just hit her in the back of the fucking head or some shit. Yeah, what are they gonna do? Put you in jail? There's a lot <laughs> of animals. There's a lot of animals that their first defense mechanism is to freeze and try to not move and, and be like, "Does he see me? Does he see me?" And that works just fine as long as you don't have something to throw at them, you know. Mm -hmm. But but all the all the things that do that would have gotten fucked up by our ancestors that figured out rocks and sticks. Yeah. And then like after the Adel Adel, like the bow and arrow must have been like, oh, oh Jesus, like everyone's <laughs> blown away. Yeah, it's interesting. The the spear was the was the best melee weapon for all time until the then then the gun happened. Like, like they started out with the the Anertals started out and they're like, oh spear, this is it. And we never really got any better than a spear. Like, like, like I think yeah. that like when they look at the medieval combat, like even the height of like 14th 15th 16th century you oh we lost muted, you kyle. kyle we lost you after 16th century and i want to know because i'm curious about this <laughs> about what yeah. the facts are 
one, two, three. You're good. Yeah, we got you. Yes, 16th century. Interesting. Why isn't he talking? We hear you. Oh, he doesn't hear he us. You. Fuck. We hear you. Hear we hear you. Well, I know we you can hear me, but I can't hear, hear you. you. Okay. Is, he, is, he, he, gets it, he gets it. We don't need you hear me. Either. You don't yeah. need to hear me to tell your story. Tell your Guys, story. I'm gonna I'm gonna make up the rest of his story. So, yeah. <laughs> I love this. Yes, the please. Spear the spice man from, came. The, from the inception of weaponry up until the 14th, 15th, 16th century was seen as the penultimate weapon is what Kyle would say incorrectly. Uh, <laughs> the spear was you, you, you there? Yeah. Okay. Tell us about how the spear was the best weapon from Stone Age until the 16th The gun. Century. Until the gun. Until the gun. It was the best weapon. Because That's nothing beat the spear. Right? What, nothing not even a bow and arrow? No, I'm talking about melee weapons. Like, like oh, bow, and okay. bow and arrow beats all the melee weapons. <laughs> <laughs> That's like <Fuck> you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does it hurt? Oh, it's hard to catch I me like, now, I isn't really it? I really like that. Uh, I got like thirty the of them. <laughs> evolution of armor, like uh, if you oh, watch cool. what like what people wore, like because you had like no armor, and then everyone started using swords because swords were like, yeah, this is the dope thing. Like we can now make dope swords, and then they're like, yeah, okay, let's wear like plate armor. This will work, and then they're like, oh well, swords aren't really good against that, so let's start using different shit. And then they're like, oh, we we'll, we we'll use chainmail. And then they invented the crossbow, and then they're like, okay, none of this armor is fucking useful at all, so let's just not wear armor. And then it it just, like, went from went from wearing, like, fucking heaps of shit to just wearing nothing. And then yeah. now we're yeah. like, oh, now now we have armor. Let's- I yeah. think in, like, the, like, like, those, like, 14, 1500s pictures, stuff like, like, war hammers and, like, mauls were more popular because you couldn't just punch through the plate mail. So they would yeah. just, like, hit you with a fucking hammer with a spike on the end and, like, cave your chest cavity in. My, yeah. my, my guess would be that, like, what we're talking about is the the richest of the rich the knights and the and the uh, and and the like the oh, badasses yeah. on the battlefield i if you if you took like a 14th 15th 16th century bat- battlefield and you took a census out there of all the bodies i bet most of them got poked with a spear and then right below that they got hit in the head with a stick and then right below yeah. that <laughs> they got like ran over by a horse and like all the way at the bottom was those 18 knights who got hit with war hammers. <laughs> you know? you well, know? I because... mean, that makes sense though, because like the, like, it's not like every dude was walking around with plate armor. That was exactly. like a status thing. So like yeah. most of them were walking around in jerkins, just getting fucked up by arrows that were, you know, like yeah. bodkin arrows that are sharper. I think that and depends on their... the time and like how much money yeah. the army had though. Cause like, they like, say like Agincourt, like in the 1600s when England invaded France, like they talked about having like, thousands of armored like fucking men and like the french had fuckloads and they're on horseback and mm. then they got fucked up because the british were like well we got heaps of longbows but they didn't have shitloads of money so they were like yeah we just use fuckloads of longbows so oh yeah and that the britons were very good with archery. what was the famous yeah. what was the famous battle where um the, the, the england's invading france their king is invading france and they have the big battle where they go tours the french, right they go the french into coming through the muddy that's, field that's agincourt that is that's a yeah, battle of Ag- that, that, yeah that's uh that's the one that's the subject of that movie on netflix i think it's just called the uh, king the king yeah yeah they, they get a little creative with the history but not too far it's not like it's william wallace out there all of a sudden like like nah there's a few things that just didn't happen, but um, apparently, like how muddy and sticky that field was, is the quagmire of death it created was pretty cool. And yeah. uh, but but yeah, they they basically goaded the French into charging across a really muddy field into archer fire coming from three directions. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. um, uh, Robert the Bruce did that as well to the uh, to the King of England uh, at some stage during the Scottish Independence. They like the battle that sort of turned the tide was essentially they had some kind of bog or like mire, and then they goaded them into coming down this like specific road where it was like oh. a bog on either side, and then they had like fucking heaps of uh, heaps of those like dug into the ground spears. I didn't see that in the like, movie. Yeah, they did right. do that. Uh, in the movie. They did do the thing where they're like, oh, oh no, 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 oh no, no, this oh. isn't in brave. This isn't in brave heart. This is uh, <laughs> then it uh, didn't happen. Bro- 
All right, well, then I'll need Mel to sign off on it for me. Robert the Bruce was, like, (laughs) the guy after... He, he like, sort of unified England after William Wallace died. But uh, Sorry, unified Scotland after William Wallace died. But they had, like, this battle. He also has a movie on Netflix, but they have uh, Chris Pine play him. And and he hangs Dong. Yeah, he does. He does hang hang on. I'm going to be honest. I really... I don't like Chris Pine. I don't know why. I just watch that motherfucker, and I'm just like, you are so boring. It's called it's like Chris the Bandit Pine. King or uh, something like that. The Outlaw like King, it is. The Outlaw King, yeah. 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 Uh, it, it Chris came Pine out. is awesome. I don't, I don't I'm still a fan. Guy. I don't know why. I'm a I just like the Star Trek movies. Star Trek is yeah. so good. Oh, no. I'm, I, actually, I do like him in uh, Star Trek, but everything else, he just fucking blows. Like, he's just like, he plays no a great emotion. Kirk. Uh, he, I just I don't think know. he has any emotion. You're describing a guy who hangs dong and blows. I want to see this movie. I thought he was pretty good. <laughs> the King. It was okay. I, it, it, like, Robert right, the Bruce I'm is the like, one. I'm not who... going to write a letter to my dad and tell him about it. Like he's not that <laughs> fucking good. Like, yeah, that's true. That's true. Now Netflix does it a lot. They have a lot of like, eh, it's okay. I don't know. Yeah. It, you, you know what their Netflix, problem is? They, sure they, was they, a movie. Netflix like flicks their content at you like it's a, a Thursday upload from your eighth favorite YouTube. It's, <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's like, dude, how about some gravitas when you throw something up on the site? There's yeah, no yeah. like, oh, 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 oh. it's just like <laughs> splat. Here's what we did today. There's eight more behind it. It's like, dude, you just dropped the Chris Pratt movie and like, I have to, I have to go to Reddit to know that you did it. Like, like, like yeah. you just dropped a two hundred million dollar movie on your platform. In and, fairness, and that, actually, that was so. Amazon that did that. But uh, Amazon actually did advertise to me. But there was something else that Netflix uh, dropped that was like that, and I was like, I had no idea they made it, and it wasn't any good either. Yeah. Did you oh, watch yeah, Wednesday yet, Kyle? Right. Wednesday? That's not. That's not going to be for me. You know, there's a like okay. empowered woman as the star of that, and oh <laughs> god. I, I get enough, I, I'm too I, sexist I, to enjoy that. I, I, pref- I, I get enough of that in the real world. I didn't really catch woke vibes from it, but oh, I'm not. Yeah, but there's a girl in it. Vibes. I think, yeah, they, she needs to cover her face. Is it? Yeah. I, I'm not really sure what the. Uh, I'm, really, what the I'm, starting to si- I'm starting to get down with the burka. I see the advantages. I do too. I, I'm not really sure what keeps the you cool. No that sunscreen. Chick is. Like, are we the whole internet's like? Are, are they? Is is the internet trying to fuck her, or is the internet want to be her? And then is she a kid because Wednesday is a kid, or is she not a kid because uh, the actor's over eighteen? And then everyone on TikTok's just like fucking jizzing over it. It's it's a very it's confusing. I, I, don't oh, I, I, sh- I, I should say that I know absolutely nothing about the show or its reception. Um, I had no idea that it was popular or not popular. Um, I do think it was well, super popular. People are fucking there, loving it. It is literally the most popular thing Netflix has ever made so far in the history of Netflix. Shocking. Yeah. Well, good. For really, them. I, I love this. Yeah, it beat know. out Stranger Things. Huh? Did they like release their? Or I guess you, yeah, all these streaming sites you just have to take their word for it. This, you just take their yeah. word for it, and they only release good news. Like they never release <laughs> something and say, ha, 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 "What a flop!" No, they say, yeah. "Hey, we got a new record." Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the the proof's in the pudding, right? Everybody's like, "Oh, why doesn't Netflix ever allow a show to flop?" Because nobody watched. Fucking get the word out. Were you were you tweeting about it when on in season one, episode four? Because that's when they needed you. God damn it! Yeah, <laughs> your fucking that's favorite they... show is the WNBA. Yeah. That's yeah. why right. no yeah. one's watching it. Who's your, your favorite job? Who's your favorite team? The fucking Phoenix Mercury, you fucking liar! Get out of here! <laughs> I'm surprised you remember so one. Fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, you know what else I remember? Jim's fucking brother's names, Tug and Pete. Never forget. Ooh, now, you, that. you know how you can remember is what do you tug? You're Peter. I have a different way. I, 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 I this is how Taylor because, got good grades. So, I'll, so I'll never forget. This is how Pete. I memorize things. <laughs> so here's how I. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> just That's... turn everything into a dick joke yeah so, <laughs> peter got it so tug for, for me it was easy to remember because tug is just such a weird name i don't know any tug mcgraw is the only other like person i've ever heard that has that name tug, yeah. and uh, i'm not exactly sure who he is maybe a country He's a philadelphia star. player from the phillies in the 80s and he, so he had no series. idea who or what he was i thought he was a country musician but I know, I know his name, world right? I thought it was like there. a maybe oh. name of like Sylvester Stallone's character in a shitty eighties movie. Oh, Tug, Tug McGraw. What was his name? Tug in, McGraw uh, saves the world. world. I went favorite? to summer school with his daughter. Stallone. Uh, Tug McGraw's. Oh well, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> <laughs> what was, what, what I was, was gonna Jim, say I Jim a weird ass name as well. I bet. Was her name Paul McGraw? 
Show us a picture of Sylvester Stallone's hot daughter. Google that, just in case he's got three and like one of them's not so great. <laughs> isn't, sure he like, point. isn't he, he like 80 almost? Dude, he doesn't look human anymore. He's so got his that, daughters are like in their midst. He's got that weird face going on where he's got like crazy eyebrows now, like like a vampire. Stallone does? I think <laughs> he, he looks like great. Yeah, yeah. Hey, great in what? The Samaritan, that movie he just dropped that's about like uh, a superhero? No, I see him oh like that. The oh, eyebrows, those kids. Yes. The, the eyebrows are hilarious, Kyle. They, oh I can't goodness. believe they let him go out in public. He looks so shocked. You know how I knew Stallone <laughs> was going to have hot daughters? Because, because there's no way He's that Stallone here. made babies with a woman who wasn't gorgeous. Because That's... Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, and I, you know who? Well, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Didn't uh, yeah, but he's like, fucking he's, ugly he's, made. He's a rich dude. Though. Whoa, like, what did you say? No end bombs. Can one of his <laughs> daughters? Who <laughs> said that? <laughs> all, the, all, all rich cunts always have conventionally so, attractive children, though, because they just like if they're ugly, they just like all of these all of these bitches here have nose jobs and filler. Like they they're just they're shot, like I'm up. fucking yeah. rich. You're, if I have a kid that's ugly, wild. I'm gonna fucking fix that. No, 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 no way. No. You don't see yeah. ugly rich people, man. You can t you can tinker with yeah, things a little bit. Those are three very attractive young ladies. Like, like, we don't need to nah, do a whole they've breakdown. Got, they've here, made, but... Like I'm not gonna like whatever they want to have done. But look, I mean, they look completely different in these fucking photos. No, they don't. Done. I know what yeah, the one the don't. one on the right is now. Um, the one that's bet between the mother and her daughter. The the one that was in the middle is now on the right, and then the the, the left one. They're, uh, Wait, they look they, exactly they have... the same. They have their mother's nose, mate. Look at them. Look at them all. They're all perfectly straight. There's no fucking way they haven't. None all of them have jokes. their own. Oh, are you, are you amazed that Sylvester Stallone married a woman with a straight nose? He, wow, he <laughs> swung that. <laughs> no one has a nose that fucking straight, bro. His, his you know? skin just looks so thick. I thought you needed to be a billionaire to find a straight nosed woman, but apparently, <laughs> you're <right>. <laughs> <laughs> apparently <laughs> Sylvester Stallone money I can pull that. I would kind fucking, of I would, I would bet, I would bet ten grand that all of them have show us had a picture, pull up a picture of, of plastic surgery. And, oh, and here's, here's, I've also know it because Sylvester Stallone has like amazing uh, taste in women. Pull up his girlfriend from the '80s, Brigitte Nielsen. Brigitte Nielsen from the 80s. It's important that you show her like from back in the day because, I mean, you see what Stallone looks like. Nobody ages well. Uh, as well, well as, as you'd far like, as anyway. being like an eight, almost 80 year old man. So well. yeah, he looks good. So much plastic surgery. His eyebrows look so fucking weird, dude. His eyebrows look so fucking okay, Arnold looks, right Arnold looks picture of his face. I, I need to see this because I only look at his fucking shoulders and biceps. Oh, his body's fine. His body's amazing. But his face is what I'm talking about. That's He's, look at look at this. Like, like, like Stallone has always been, had just. It's back when he was like, looked like a normal human. Now this is yeah. Rocky. Like... This is like Rocky. Four times. This is around Rocky three, Rocky four, because she's in Rocky four. She plays uh, Ivan Drago's like I don't know interpreter slash girlfriend or something. She's like, no one can beat him. Drago destroys <laughs> or what? Oh, I remember her. And she's that sexy woman. As fuck. I can't get over her. She is a perfect specimen. She is a perfect fucking specimen. Now, sh show me this image, Zach. Brigitte Nielsen, Flavor Flav. Her hair look looks like she's good with money. Show me. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, you know. Yeah. You, know you know what it fix Sylvester Stallone? Like, just those those eyebrows. But if he just wore a, to a turtleneck, because his neck just looks like he's, he's, uh, he his head sitting on a Hessian sack. You don't mind <laughs> he's he's got that to... picture. He's... You, don't, yeah. you don't mind the retarded Sweet Stallone lip? This oh is God. her. This Stallone this is, looks awful. This is Brigitte Nielsen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stallone. No so, man, Too that's stud. He's he, and his wife, Stallone's current wife, is probably just as old as her, but looks way better. I tell you, man, this bitch so, is poor, so she looks fucking shit. Looks like she's got some this Dalmatians is... to catch. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Bad. That's a fucking well, look. That even is. perfect specimens can't beat Father Time. So this yeah. is an image taken around 2005 or 2006 during the time of Flavor of Love, which was uh, Flavor Flav's reality show where he was uh, looking for a lady. Uh, then Brigitte Nielsen had her show, and then they came together to make just an abomination of the show where they were just fucking each other and they're in the bathtub together, and it was all it was just so Ooh. gross. Yeah, it was well, real these gross. Two. Yeah, these, these two—they're two a couple. That look, that's, that, that's, that's a that's, power couple. Show some respect, slush. 
<laughs> yeah, you don't that. remember you don't remember Flavor Flav and how he dominated that... MTV in 2003. I gotta say though, like 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 <laughs> she's probably 60 here, 55, somewhere in there. She is still really good looking. If you get if you fix her fucking makeup and delete the fucking troll, right? Like if, if you do that in this photo, <laughs> then, then then you're like Wow, she could take a, a hot older lady. I, I like she got pregnant at fifty five. How? Fifty five. Um. <laughs> is that no possible? Fucking why? <laughs> or is this that kid is definitely sort of coming out liberty. retarded? Oh my god! Look at <laughs> hey, no fucking that, way that kid wasn't retarded. <laughs> if you're missing two chromosomes, does it circle around and be okay again? <laughs> why, does, why does she look like uh, Jared Leto all of a sudden? <laughs> Go she ahead does. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the new Joker. She turns into <laughs> fucking Jared Leto in her cell. Right, we're getting rid of good. Jared Leto for Joker 2 because he's insufferable to his cast, apparently. Yeah. But this, no, I I know, she, she was in that other Joker. There she is. There's fucking uh, jo- Joker 2 coming, yeah. coming soon. Um, I so serious. Yeah. yeah, I so no, serious. That's just incredible genetics. Maybe not a fully functional. Want to know how I got pregnant at fifty? <laughs> 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 uh, doctor's call. Uh, so anyway, it was flavor, flavor, and five of his mates. Another, another of my favorite Sylvester Stallone um, um, factoids <laughs> mm. is uh, he he enjoys a, a good old fashioned um, glass bottom boat. You know what that is? It's where you poop on a, a glass table. And the person under it enjoys it, right? That's right. That's where uh, Stallone likes to get up under a glass coffee table, if you will, and then have a young lady squat on top of it, take a poo, watch it uh, splat on top. Like, uh, Is this like a childhood rumor, though? You remember those like celebrity rumors? I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. Like I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not sure. Gerbil up his ass. But, I, yes. I yeah. stow Maybe things just, away, like, the and, and then they're money. fact. So I don't know. I, um, glass bottom boat seems like pussified scat play like if you're in the poop get rid of the glass table that's how you get that that that's how you wet your feet you dip your toes into it right it's like a golden shower in the shower it's late yeah Mm -hmm. well like yeah ruin your bed spread (laughs) (laughs) if you're going to the effort of having someone drink a whole bunch of water so they could piss on you you could buy a fucking top do you think that some of them are like no, I don't want a f- fucking hydration, you know, water pissed. I want black exactly. coffee all yeah. day, oh, no, no water. Oh, yeah. Hey, put that fucking Gatorade down, Mister <laughs> Asparagus, yeah. or coffee. get the fuck out, you. I was, you, <laughs> you I was talking to an old uh, work colleague about this. So she she had a uh, she had a pretty wild life, like back when she was she's a bit older. She lived in the UK, and she's a uh, uh, one of my old work colleagues. Okay. And, she uh she worked as a flight attendant and so met a lot of people and did a lot of uh did a lot of drugs and and uh and crazy shit. She was telling me this story once about her boyfriend at the time, who uh he was like, oh, I want to like try getting pissed on, and she's like, oh fucking yeah, all right, we'll, we'll do it. You just name the time, and and so he they go out to dinner one night and they 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 have a bunch of beers, and she's like, yeah, I had like four pints of beer. And then we went back home and he's like, now's the time. And he's like sitting on the bed, just like fucking jerking his dick. And, and he's like, just come and piss on me. And she was like, oh, I was obviously ready to go. I would just had like four pints of beer and hadn't pissed. But it was just like, yeah, I think he expected me to just get up and just do like a little bit of a tinkle on his chest. And I just stood <laughs> up and just like started just fucking blasting piss all over the fucking bedroom because I like just, just had cool. like fucking three liters of beer and he's just like freaking the fuck out and trying to like block it and, like and she's like I, can't, I couldn't stop it and he's like trying to like piss everywhere and she's like yeah I was fucked and so she's like piss everywhere and it just made the bedroom fucking stink and it was on the bedroom <laughs> That's good. yeah, yeah, because because he, he she was drunk as fuck, and he was like clearly expecting just a little bit of a tinkle, and then she just fucking fire hose the cunt. So, <laughs> that seems I like, feel like a the move is before. outside, right? Yeah. Like, you don't want to be a pussy who does it in the shower, right? Because that's just that's lame beginner shit, and you don't want to ruin your bedspread. Do it outside. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that way, also, you're like rolling the dice with legality. That adds a thrill. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's all like, you always see that thing where it's like guys are like you'll hear people say oh yeah she's a squirter oh yeah it's great it's like man i don't want to fucking clean up after that i don't want to clean up after myself 
Like <laughs> if she's a squirter, she just pees. She gets incontinent during sex. If yeah. you're into that, fine. Just know you like pee play. And I just and don't want to clean it up. You don't pass judgment, but change Fuck your that. sheet. <laughs> After or not. I don't and they're they just like rolling over in this shit. I, I like, disagree nah, with whatever. The, the pee play and the shower being the pussy one. I feel like that's the high IQ maneuver. Like, especially uh, in your shower. Think about your shower. You have a giant shower. You go to the corner that's not even getting hit with water, do your pee in there, and then look at this. We're right in the cleanup section. Yeah. Commit to the bit. Although I, with my shower, I guess it's different. But I, I was picturing, like, your water already running on you, and, you know, you're just getting peed on yeah. and cleaned immediately. Yeah, but, yeah, it'll be like funny if it's like, yeah, yeah the, we have a, a free use piss relationship where you're like on a <laughs> Zoom call. <laughs> <laughs> you're like on a Zoom call and she just starts pissing on you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah, fuck. Yeah. You've been in the shower with your, with your missus and just like, uh, you're just like, God, I need to piss. And you're like, no, it's going to be fine. I'm just going to piss on her leg. <laughs> it's going to just, a, that's a lead yeah. up. That's a little yeah. tantalizing foreplay. I, I don't know. I have done it before. I think I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> did she think it was funny? Was it, I, she did not find it funny. And it wasn't even like a sex, <laughs> it it wasn't like a sex thing. I was just like, I need to piss. And I'm like, you know what? I've been drunk before. And like, you, you know, you're standing on the fence pissing with your mates. And then you're just like sword fighting like with your piss. And it's like, oh, that's funny. It's like, well, I'm standing in here with my wife. There's water's already, already running. I'm just going to piss on her leg and see what happens. <laughs> she, did, she just freaked the fuck out <laughs> she didn't care for it believe it or not oh, most people uh, hate being peed on unexpectedly yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. but yeah, you don't know I, until you try so just you yeah, know it's a numbers exactly. game don't know yeah. until you try it's pet peeve of mine yeah. <laughs> this is being peed uh, on in public dude elon musk banned the guy that he so this kid i think he's a kid like let under 18 wrote software that tracked Elon Musk's plane and tweeted out every time mm -hmm. it landed somewhere. Apparently that speech protected by the first amendment. I, I don't know, but uh, that, like I saw it referenced and there was a court case where they said this FAA information is publicly thing. So Elon banned this kid from Twitter. He had a Twitter account that would tell you everywhere his plane went. All right, cool. When I first saw that, I was like, ah, you know, they're free speech absolutionist. He actually called out that kid. He's like, I hate this, but because I care about free speech, I'm keeping it around. A month later, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. And then I learned something terrible happened. Did Elon Musk's kid get like attacked in his car? Did you hear about this? So, yeah. So this guy has been his bot basically retweets out the FAA information every time the plane takes off and lands somewhere. Yeah. And uh, Elon's point was. Don't give my current location, like delay it in a, a couple hours or something like that. I don't that's think he said that because Unless I missed it. He did. Um, okay, but okay. but but what happened was like, yeah, his I guess a car but was driving his son to the plane to be flown somewhere is like baby from like a year or two ago, and some crazy What's this kid's name, Kyle. Ah, uh, it's it's Z or something or or zero or, or or it's named after some plane. There's like letters and symbols in it. Yeah, I think it looks like him, you smash the keyboard. He calls it's him like Professor. Old, old nah, they call letter they call him they call him Professor X. And so like little the little professor was what? in the car and and some crazy person jumped on the car, I guess, and tried to stop it and like got on the hood. And so he was like, ah, well, I'm gonna ban you now. Yeah. And, uh, Once I learned uh, all the details, I was on Team Musk with this thing. Like, all right, yeah. I, I don't know if the plane thing is related to the stalker thing, but I do see how you just clean up your security in general after an event like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't care. I don't know why everybody hates Elon Musk. I don't know what he did. I, I still haven't seen him do anything that like we should give a shit about. Like, do you care if somebody takes over like an auto parts fucking store and starts cleaning house? No, you don't give a shit about the auto parts workers. And like, if, if Diane and I, HR got her benefits, like what? Why are y'all sucking Twitter's dick like it's some mom and pop thing built from the ground up by us? <laughs> and not I, I just, I'm just, a, I'm sick of hearing about the cunt. It's like, it, it's oh, like, uh, it was like if if, uh, if my wife came home and then just started telling me about like all of the ongoings of some fat old bitch that she works with who's having some marriage troubles or something. It's like I just don't give a fuck. Like 
about why I'm addicted to Musk. information about everything Elon Musk does has been so yeah. interesting to me since he bought Twitter. The the firings and the, the fact that the website seems to be running fine, you know, like to some yeah. extent, it's like you let go of the wheel and the thing is going to be OK for a little while. But yeah. it's been like a month, right? The thing's still fine. Maybe it's maybe he was right and he only needed like 15% of that staff. Um, some of I mean, that would make like- that would be the same with every fucking company on the planet, though, because like there's so many middle managers and fuckwits yeah. in absolutely every single place, like that just all their, their entire job is just having a not a, a Tesla. Fucking- a shit MBA <laughs> and they're just forwarding emails. Like I bet I maybe. bet Tesla is bare bones and everybody's sleeping there to get their job done. And does, <laughs> yeah, like, like every time he does something, they're like trying to find some legalese way to be annoying. He's like, Yeah, we put in some fucking bedrooms that here here at Twitter HQ because these guys are working 80, 90 hour weeks and they need to sleep in the office because that's what's that's what's what's what I require of people. If you don't like it and go get another job that doesn't require that, but we got beds here. And they were like, actually, according to this ordinance, you can't have beds in there. Oh God, let's <laughs> rat him out. Like, and he's what? like, actually, I just bought the person in that district. <laughs> <laughs> and it's I love that. Did you see the one where it's like uh the the cyber truck um or the this cyber fucking Mac truck thing was like pulled a five five hundred mile journey with eight eighty one thousand pounds and then like the most liked reply was like the legal limit's eighty thousand pounds this is illegal I, was, I thought that was pretty fucking funny. <laughs> well and he's not <laughs> no, going no, to a do it limit for electronic trucks oh really? i know just like gross vehicle mass for like trucks in general i think it's I, different I don't for e-trucks know. i i know I, yeah. I know 80 grand is the limit but apparently for e-trucks it's like 87 grand you know what the most dangerous thing huh. on the road is it's all today? on youtube what? You know what the most dangerous thing on America's roads are? Cyclists, a, obviously. A 90,000 pound E truck going <laughs> 75 miles per hour. How much lithium ion is in that motherfucker? Yeah. <laughs> Enough yeah, to make the news. Bomb. Look, look <laughs> a standard, like, like y'all, y'all might know this, but like firefighters now have like a special kit to deal with um, electric car fires because they burn like, I don't know, 5,000 degrees or something and go mm-hmm. on for 45 minutes. Whereas like, Movies and TV shows make regular car fires look like way easier to deal with than they actually are. Real a regular car fire is an inferno that yeah. that cooks off and accelerates in a rapid kind of manner, and that car turns into like a a, a furnace oven that that's just blasting whatever's in it, and it's full of things that explode and go pop and whiz and and scare people whether they're dangerous or not. But an electric car fire. Looks is like the, you brought the fucking sun to Earth. It's the closest yeah. thing to a nuclear blast you'll ever get to. <laughs> Plus, but, like, I, I would bet that those like big lithium ion packs are just like millions of eighteen six fifty batteries from vapes just like stacked together. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like a chain reaction of that shit going off. Yeah, he bought all those Android batteries from when that was happening. <laughs> Androids were blowing up like <laughs> he put them ago. in Teslas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like that, that uh, shit like dude, fizzes dude. off. I mean, I, I think the only way to put it out is just like dousing it with carbon dioxide and depriving it of oxygen. Is like it? I said, they have yeah. some kind of a kit now right. to deal yeah. with those fires because water ain't the answer, I guess. I and have you seen like the lithium fire? Fi- like, you remember in school, I don't know if you guys did this, it was either sodium or lithium or something where they like take a strip of it and then drop it in water and it goes because it, I think it's sodium, know, becomes active. Yeah, that it must be, be right. sodium. But, you know, lithium's the same way. We're like, it's so bright, you're not even supposed to, like, look at it while it's burning. It's bad for your eyes to see something that bright. And you got a million of them in a fucking Camry-shaped bomb. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> like that's... That, I, I would never fucking yeah, drive one of those. telling me, this is oh, cool. Man, after seeing, <laughs> like, the, you go through, like, all the panels are, like, detaching on them and shit like that, and you look at the build quality in it, and it's like, this is... This is worse put together than a ninety nine a ninety nine XL Hyundai XL, and then you're telling I, me it's got a fucking one ton bomb under it. Like, there's no fucking way I would drive that. I wonder about the build quality stuff because like, I keep hearing about panel gaps. If people don't know, like the trunk will be just oh, yeah. slightly off center by like an eighth of an inch, yeah. or the 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 gap next to the trunk where the the fenders isn't exactly the same all the way through, and they make a big deal out of that. Should I care about that? Is that I, I don't care about I, that. If it, I it, noticed, it would bother me. Like, like I, I care because I, I think it's indicative of of the rest of the car. That's yeah. what I want to know. But Good the point. rest of the car, compared to like an internal combustion engine, 
is maybe reliable or just like naturally simple compared to an internal combustion engine. Yeah. Internal combustion engine is a Rube Goldberg craziness of like transmission and engine and fuel delivery and all that stuff with the cooling. Yeah. All that stuff goes away. You have a much simpler idea. Just electric motors. Oh, I mean, and no, you still have to have you still have to have cooling for the batteries and shit. Like the batteries get that hot. Is, I forgot. They need that's like true. they need like computers for discharge rates because if you discharge them too fast or or too slow, I forget they can catch fire and shit like that. So I think it. I think it's yeah, just it's as complicated. Com- Real good. Oh, no, no, I, no, I'm with Woody on this one. Like, 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 no, it's it's but it's more complicated. It's less there, complicated there, mechanically. We're transferring more the energy so many logically. times, like, like mechanically. Uh, like the energy is being transferred mechanically uh, so many different times between the fucking I don't know the ignition and the wheel that there's just a lot of things yeah. that, that break well, as yeah. in break into you. you like, lose electricity a lot of, like, is uh, complicated to me because I'm you know. stupid and yeah. and I have a hard time like debugging things that are electric as opposed to a mechanical thing. I can kind of see where it stops moving or gets jammed up, yeah. but um, in terms of reliability, it it just seems like. It's a better idea, and then it will clearly be more reliable than what yeah. we have now. I think it will be a hundred percent. I'm not saying like electric cars aren't the future, but they definitely okay. will be. I just, I just don't think that Teslas have the build quality to make a car that is like right now more reliable than like a, a say a, like a really efficient hybrid from a well-known company. Like and we have those Porsche numbers. I mean, I mean, we don't have to like guess about this, right? Like Tesla has reliable reliable numbers, and then there's been um uh, priuses for i don't know 20 years yeah yeah i choose to guess anyway yeah you Me mean too. like ted like tesla has reliable numbers on yeah, like, I, how long they I last just don't fucking like care. That. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. i just don't fucking care y'all want to talk about superman cyber trucks <laughs> oh dude, you know what we should talk about we should talk about... Talk about superman. <laughs> do you want to talk about superman or the Donald Trump trading cards that he released. I have, oh, I have that yeah. right under Superman. I have that got, written down too. Got, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can do yeah. the NFT thing. Because- I, I have a link there already for the the Donald Trump. I have all the cards there in that link, uh, that Reddit link. Uh, in- I choose to believe that you wrote down the link Ooh. in your paper book. forward slash. Yeah. at the end like, xy like the capital old, p one <laughs> like the oldest of old person you know when you ever had you ever had a person w- like, w- he starts w- off with the http shit first yeah. of all i don't know what that means but, but i know text I transfer protocol yeah oh, idiot thank you it's almost like you had a career to help you. <laughs> <laughs> so this sure. is like Holy i'm gonna go out fuck. on a limb and say far and away the most offensive thing he's ever done all right, so let's lay out what ah, this, this is, is before we go amazing. any further. So Trump Trump tweeted out yesterday, like the picture on the right, and he was like, "Big announcement coming tomorrow!" Like like the hero America needs, or some shit like that. It was very similar to the one on the right. He was actually in front of Trump Tower, if I remember correctly, um, not in front of this American flag nonsense. Um, and uh, oh. it wasn't exactly that one either. But but yeah, he's selling these trading cards, a hundred bucks. I think there I think there might be a hundred of them. You can read there. I'm not going to refuse. But I thought he was going to have a campaign announcement. You know what this means? You know what this is indicative of? He just uh, quit. What? He just quit. And uh, he no, definitely. He just quit. Really? He just quit. He, yes. He just quit trying to be president and went and went full fleece. He is not going to be president. He is going to half heartedly run. It's over. Uh, like, this is it. Like, this I is, think you're I, right. Like, this is the last... Like, like, what do you do after an NFT? Look, can, and, and look, and look, I hate to say, I hate to pick it. Oh, my okay, man. some of these are pretty funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that one on the left is genuinely a funny oh, I like the middle the amount, one. The, 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 the amount of work on the chin in all of them is hilarious. The, the chin, look at his hands. Look at his hands. Well, but the, but the only part of like these that so are him is the face. Like, it's not his hands. It's some guy standing. It's, his, and like... they, they, it's not only his hands. It's his hands photoshopped to be bigger. <laughs> it is. Do you think they went through that much effort? I think they just put can, his head on look at some the, guy in a stock photo. Look how long the arms would have to be. He could be a, he'd be a UFC fighter. He's built like John Jones. <laughs> 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 like, like yeah. oh, this is, man, this is upsetting. This is um, brutal. Yeah, he just quit. 
um and, and this is the work this is awful this is so embarrassing i didn't realize they were nfts i thought they were just digital trading cards uh, i think it's worse than that i think i thought oh they're not even physical i can't even get a little card they're digital no no yeah yeah this is an home. investment kyle I, I want to play it. He's Trump should. NFTs are going to skyrocket. Then you just don't understand oh, NFTs. Old don't dudes. look at how any many, other NFTs. How many are there? <laughs> yeah, don't look at the <laughs> NFT don't market the in NFT general. Market. I thought, don't pay attention to people have known it's dead for a year now. <laughs> like but the, but the thing with NFTs Trump is, is going to make they, NFTs. They only again. have they only have value because other people want them. And this is this these things are just so fucking retarded that people will want them. This is, is, but so like, it's the same problem of every NFT this thing. We're so like, bad. it's just like a tulip bag holder thing. Like, yeah. we are enjoying the funny photos for free right now. Like, yeah. the guy who paid a hundred grand. Go back to the go back to the other pictures, like the funnier one where he's in the the cowboy thing and the <laughs> and the space thing. Like, we're enjoying it for free right now, laughing at his. I mean, I put a link kid. there with all of them. No one's getting like, more enjoyment by buying this trash. Uh, maybe you they guys are, are so know. wrong. A fool and his money are soon parted. You're looking at the guy who used to have. Oh, they removed it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they removed it. Oh, I see. The oh, thing you is, wrote, for, for ninety nine dollars though, I, I how, how do you buy these? If there's a hundred of these, if, if hey, hey, uh, how many is so, there? Is there a hundred? So like two, there says, are a hundred. And, and to your point, hundreds. Woody, I would like, buy one of those. No, no. To your point about like here they are. Like I had a link to all of them. Like like every single one of them on Reddit, and it got removed. They got taken down. Like like it since I put the link in there for like our use earlier, really? whenever it was like like yeah, that's fucking lame. I'm, I mean, you can well, look at people's NFTs, you just can't claim ownership, right? Is that the fake rule I, for this? Dumb I'll shit? be honest, I, yeah. I don't fucking know. It's it's man, that is so. Lame. This is the most embarrassing thing he's ever done. Yeah, I'm, I are in the way. Gonna, I'm gonna lay it down. I'm, I'm fucking buying one of these. If there's only a hundred of them, I know it's stupid. It's only ninety nine dollars. No 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 no, mean, no 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 no. The fuck knows what it's gonna be worth. Wait, they're they're ninety nine dollars, and there's a hundred total. Is that no, the case? No if there's a hundred total, no, there's no, no, there's a hundred. There's a variety pack. Uh, it, this is like Pokemon okay. cards, dude. There ain't no. Oh, limit. So you can buy. It. There's, there's like unlimited <laughs> supply of them. Yeah. What do you get for oh, well, not you fucking. Get water, no, man, you if get there's unlimited 100. supply of them, I, I thought they were ninety nine cents each. I completely misunderstood. I, when I saw this, I just didn't care anymore. I just thought it was so fucking lame that he was doing it at all. And the pictures are so silly. The astronaut one looks like Joe Biden, by the way. Like, uh, the yeah. coolest thing he's ever done. <laughs> no. <laughs> the coolest thing he ever did was... Uh, oh, man, it's hard to narrow down. <laughs> <laughs> All the cool things he's done. All those nicknames. He, the good ones before he was... Cool. Cool. To Santimonious, Sanctimonious, all that track. Yeah. He went to North Korea. When he, when he, uh, that, that tweet he did about Kim Jong-un, where he was like, Kim Jong-un's out here calling me fat, when I would never call him short. Never. I would never call him a short fat man like that. He tweeted that about Kim <laughs> Jong Un, about yeah. a, a, an erratic world that leader. Was like, that was funny. That, that was, was funny. like the, his favorite type of insult, though. Would just be like, "Look, I'm I'm not saying that Taylor's a, a fuckwit, but some people are saying it." Yeah. <laughs> like, I would never call him. I'd never call him a rapist. You'd be hard pressed to get me to call him a rapist. He's not a rapist, as far I mean, I could never say. I could never say. Oh, wait, there are a lot of ticket. people saying it. <laughs> Everyone's saying it. People are talking about it. How much is many, that ticket? How many Trump trading cards do you want? 45? What a funny way to frame that. I can't figure out the price. If I buy 45... All right, so, so put it in your cart. Check out. No, it says buy... Oh, buy now with crypto. How do you buy you with fucking money? Fucking do it. Can you buy with good. money? <laughs> it's on a website. I know it's, it's a, a picture, picture <laughs> but, I, but I'm sure you derived it from a link. So like, go... I don't know what kind of crypto can you buy. I might have enough ETH. Uh, uh, I don't know what <laughs> Let's do it, dude. Slash, I would love if you Earth bought Earth. a Trump NFT on the show. I'm fucking Kane. I am fucking Kane. <laughs> I don't, I don't one. Guys, let's all throw him some support. Let's <laughs> all, let's yeah, all yeah, find him. Yeah, go and uh, I'll only yeah, buy go, it if go, I can go get and a use good your, one. Your fucking uh, what is it? The Amazon Primes. Go and use your Twitch Primes on my uh, Twitch channel so I can afford a Trump NFT. Oh yeah, you have to. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is this is brutal. This is embarrassing. And Kyle is one billion percent on the money that this is it. Like he's not. He's I don't. He's no longer you like think serious. He's not a serious presidential candidate. You think he's just a no. grifter? I yep. think he is like all in, leaning for for cashola at this point. Like I, I bet he doesn't even want to be president again. It, it's possible. 
you know, because they like they said that about him the first time, you know, where they're like, like, he's a 75 year old billionaire who can do whatever he wants. Why would he want to be president? See, like, see, the maybe he with this, finally it, agrees with that. If, if this isn't glaring to, to somebody out there, the, the problem I see with this is there was clearly a lot of time and effort and thought put into this place, into this nonsense. And mm-hmm. he's tweeting about it and he's hyping it up. And it, so it's something on his mind. And this shouldn't be anywhere near his mind because he should be trying to become the president of the world again. Like that should be what he's working yeah, on. He should be goal. looking forward to a year and a half from now, right? When he's the year from now, when he's going to start fighting to be the president of the world again, not mm-hmm. selling trading cards on your made up social media site. You know what well, actually I- could make this cool is if there was like text on it where it's like when don when spaceman donald trump enters the battlefield add two <laughs> mana I, yeah <laughs> like if they we could play trump okay. yeah if we could play trump, okay. yeah, so we could like play UD, trump and it was like this basketball playing trump <laughs> this this uh cowboy and trump playing that trump trample. card this is this well is you guys are trump. dogging on these like this the concept of selling digital trading cards. that one is just him with a hat on <laughs> i'm trying to figure out which one i want <laughs> hey, what's that good? What's this? Uh, what's this pixelized money? How about you had like a pixelized head? Uh, I don't. I don't know what Ethereum. Those are probably right cheap. Now, but 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 like, Fuck that's up. real cheap. That's real cheap. Like like, point oh nine less- Ethereum. What is an Ethereum? I think that's like a hundred dollars. Ethereum is worth twelve hundred and sixty nine dollars. There was a way to tell, man. Oh God, I wish. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm going to guess that's $36.090. 0. So that's just what I'm going to decide. Yeah, these are so embarrassing. So many, 115 bucks each. Fucking. Say oh you're making God. money. There's 16 bucks. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, which can it's you so close to it. One bigger. It's sort of top left right now. <laughs> that's not the one. No, not Dude. that one. Uh, what was the one he you was? He was pulling his shirt apart. I called it the Clark Kent one. Ah, uh, the Clark Kent one. This is going to be an impossible page to track because these all look the same. <laughs> they look, they're so similar and low effort because they're not him. Oh, up, up, they're up, not up, him. One. They just stuck his head on the same right. suit over right. and over. Yeah, let's see yeah. that one. That's the Clark Kent one. Ah, uh, that's, that's the body one. Now, that's that's that that's one's a hundred. One. Why are his hands black? Because he's wearing gloves. He's wearing gloves. Why do his gloves look like flesh? They put his head on a black got, guy. Because he's got fucking what reverse revitalago. Fuck? Like wait, wait. So there's offers. Jackson, bro. $66 from an hour ago. This isn't a lot of offers. Are these people really already selling at 9% and 12% below original price? Okay. So it's, uh, if I uh, look, maybe I'm reading this incorrectly. Shit's on it sale. Yeah, shit's on. Well, shit's on sale from individuals. You can go up there and buy it from Trump. It looks like to me, or you can buy from one of these people who want out. <laughs> well, they they, they, they probably were in it, it for the memes. Oh, and like this, that's it. Like uh, open sea shit. Like that. So people just put that stuff up on there to see if they can get a sale uh, for it. So they'll just at, like buy this crap, wait, and then uh, they're like, "I'll just flip this really quickly." Zach, uh, click Trump? click on one of them, just like yeah, that one. Click on yeah, the like this motherfucker. Yeah, this motherfucker is trying to sell his and, and scroll a, down a under properties. There's properties. Look at this. There's stats. Background: Texas Ranch. 055 percent have this trait. Character: Hunter. Two percent. That means one in fifty of these. He's a fucking hunter. Face: Smile. A little over a third. He's smile. Like this is. This is insane. Is it? Are you meant to collect these like Pokemon cards? Like, no, oh, I it. almost have like all those, those uh, miles. Scroll, scroll back those up. Fucking, like, uh, I, I'm curious I, about something I, else. All the way to the top, the top, the top of the page. Just, like, like, like I think yeah. all the way to the top. Like the very top, very, very top. He looks like Putin. Really? The very top. Oh, maybe go back then. Because I thought it said like how many total. Yeah, there we go. Like, like 10,000 owners. 33% unique owners. Don't know what that means. Does that mean... That that uh, only a third of them only own one. Does that mean that sixty seven percent belongs to Trump and that thirty three uh-huh. percent are or have been purchased? That's how I view that. I have no idea. Total I volume one hundred and thirty three Ethereum. That doesn't seem like much. No idea what I'm looking at. Um, I don't care anymore. But this is just so pathetic. This is so pathetic. And, and like like look, if you were going to do this, Trump one, the one uh, it's not even this done well. 
fucking suit. If 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 we here were gonna make some fucking <laughs> NFTs, they'd look better than this. I swear to God, they would. Like we wouldn't have done so many. We'd have made three that look good instead of a hundred that look like shit. Right? Yeah. Like that's the move. That, like that's make, what they make, do, make they one do that like looks that. good. I do like that auto generation shit. So it's just like randomized. So, so same with that. Those fucking board you can get things. better art. They have like randomized fucking bullshit, and then that's him on Mount like, Rushmore. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. The Mount, Where is he on Mount Rushmore. That's pretty right fun. There. Oh, that one's good. <laughs> Who did he cut out? <laughs> Honestly, if he was going Where'd for fucking FDR, go. If he was going, <laughs> if he was going for funny, he should have made himself all four. Hey, FDR. <laughs> I heard about I like the it. nude. This is the new deal, FDR. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here, Lincoln. The new part of the deal. Yeah, fuck him, man. So lame. Like, I, that's not even his real face. Like, look, all right, go back to that one. I'm sorry. I just noticed something great. Go back to Mount Rushmore. Look how huge his hands are. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's wearing those Hulk gloves. It looks Dude, like he's like a man, he's like a plumber, small hands like thing. a 40 years into the career plumber. Like gripping and squeezing shit. Like you don't think those are you don't think those are his real hands. Yeah, those look yeah, like I, those are like besides my small grandpa's hands. hands. The thing they made fun of him about. You know those aren't his hands. They're gargantuan. Yeah, he has, has wink. He has little hands that have never done what any work. What is this website? Even the him and the and the, like the header up there with those shades on. Like he, I, it's oh just bad. <laughs> like, what are you video is- from the Matrix? <laughs> you guys are ripping on him so much. He is a fucking moron. Oh does, my God. Man, I've always been one to give him credit when he's funny, and this is the most embarrassing thing he's ever done. This is such a shameless. Look how poorly done grip. they are. Look how poorly <laughs> done all of them are. Like, like, like it is despicable. So- despicable Don. You could have a guy on Fiverr make these for a couple hundred dollars. Donnie not- Dullard with his did. NFT site. You could ha- you you could get this done for a few, couple hundred dollars on Fiverr. Like like he's they, they just stuck his face over and over on the same body. There's like three different bodies and five different faces, and they just mix and match. Like there's probably you could yeah. probably use one of those AI art programs and be like, make a Donald Trump NFT, uh, cowboy hat, superhero, American flag. We did we and did that. Do a few of my few of my friends did that when that fucking AI shit came out. We just made like heaps of fucking hilarious uh, uh, AI things of Donald Trump and. One of my friends, he's uh, he, he's not a conspiracy theorist guy, but he's like he he loves he loves watching that shit just for entertainment while he's high. And mm-hmm. like most of them were just like Donald Trump fucking aliens and shit like that, just for like see what the AI would pop out. And they do they do make some pretty fucking hilarious shit. Like it's which one do, do you it, use? Is it free? Uh, I think this one was the uh, what's a fucking like open called? AI mid mid, mid jelly. We're using Mid Journey because it it makes some pretty funny shit. But yeah, you can you can make the most fucked up things on it. It's great. T- Taylor, do we need to do ads? Yes, we absolutely do need to do ad- do ads. I was we we're having too much fun making fun of this bullshit. This episode of PKA brought to you by Wonky Weeds and Minibus, a couple of companies that want you to try legal uh, THC alternatives. Uh, Minibus. Minibus is a legal limits Delta 9 company who provides high quality, truly infused Delta 9 gummies at an incredible price. These gummies are great for first time THC enjoyers and experienced THC pioneers. With 50 milligrams of Delta 9 per jar, these gummies are not only delicious, but are accurately dosed. With five unique flavors to choose from, Minibus has a taste for anyone. With code PKA25, listeners can get 25% off their order at Minibus, M-I-N-N-A-B-I-S, like cannabis, but they make it in Minnesota. That's right. A whole 25% off your order at minibus.com starting now. PKA20 still works on the Wonky Weed site, but for a limited time, get 25% off at minibus.com. Uh, wonky Weeds, I think you can still grab stuff there. Still code PKA20. And the Death by Gummy Bear is not available yet. Not available yet again. I guess I guess people are wanting them too much. So we'll let you know about that when they are. But Minibus, uh, it's five milligram. They're smaller edibles. I, I had them in the other air. They're right here. They're these smaller edibles, these little jars, 50 milligrams. They're only five milligrams per piece. And so very good if you're trying to ease your way in. Now it's Delta nine, not Delta eight. So a little stronger than like a five milligram Delta eight one. Um, but if you want kind of the stronger vapes, the the gummies, I think are still available on wonky weeds. Go over there. PKA 20 wonkyweeds.com. Get some stuff that 
get you high if you want. And Minibus, if you're still on the fence and like, ah, I want to try edibles, but I'm kind of intimidated. I don't want to get, I don't want to go to the moon. Then this is a great way to do it. Uh, you can take a five milligram edible and pretty much be fine with no tolerance. But if you're still nervous, cut it in half and try that. So Minibus.com, code PKA25 for 25% off all the shit they have there. And PKA20 for all of the stuff at wonkyweeds.com. Check it out. Get yourself nice and high. It, it, it gets, it, it we you know we're, we're not never fibbing you know this stuff it's drugs folks like it, <laughs> <laughs> like it, it will fuck you up also brought to you by lock and load lock and load the premium premium cum pill that will help you bust to your uh to to, to the to the lord's potential you know you can do all things through christ who strengthens you and now you can for real with lock and if load, you're not on painkiller already cum pills you're probably the kind of idiot that only fucks missionary wow <laughs> Heard it here first. You're a bitch <laughs> if you don't buy our company. Yeah, put a consensual in the missionary for me. Thanks. None of that. Okay, <laughs> no. Code PKA, code jizz. And remember, it works for every single thing over on Derek's site. So if you're a big muscle-bound, sexy guy, get yourself some some pre-workout, some protein, and, uh, and of course, the cum pills. Code PKA, code jizz. PKA20 for Minibus, 20% off. PKA20, or, yeah, PKA25 for 25% off Minibus. PKA20, 20% off Wonky Weeds. That's it. We're done. We're done with, with the with the stuff. Yay. Man, this Trump NFT thing. That is so fucking embarrassing. Oh, From Kyle, you're still being done. Buddy. That's the embarrassing thing. I am. Um, I think that those pictures that I sent there. He's are, grifting the, the for pennies. AI and things. He's grifting they, uh, for like pennies instead better. of running for president. Like, he's like, always like been grifting for pennies. No, not not pennies. The same. No, well, he's always been grifting. I this is also pathetic. This is like a path- this yes, not, but not in the last couple it, of years. Like 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 Trump University <laughs> was coming to an end. Like there was lawsuits about it because he was now doing like real presidential shit. He wasn't making new universities. He wasn't he wasn't doing that stuff anymore. He didn't have Trump steaks and 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 Trump fucking coffee or anything. He was President Trump. That's what he was doing and it's what he was becoming. He's circled back to that that other version of him who is the like the grifter who makes little products and sells them on the internet. He's mm-hmm. he's fucking ShamWow guy again. Like like this is five ten levels below where he was. He was God was Emperor Trump. Guy. Now he's ShamWow Trump. Yeah. He was That's the president, he's and he's selling pictures of himself photoshopped with larger hands on the moon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I love he, that description. <laughs> like, two that's, years that's ago, what's happening here? Two <laughs> years ago, he literally had the power to go to the moon. Yeah, he, and he, now this, he this has a, a cartoon that, like, of him drawn he, to look like he's there. He bombed, he bombed Syria and Iran, and now he's like, "Look at me, I have, I have a shotgun." Yeah, now here's <laughs> a like, picture I'm, of me in Iran with sunglasses and a fucking <laughs> corn cob pipe in because we ran out of accessories to make a billion of these. It's it's so embarrassing. It's uh, it, it's one of the worst things he's ever done. It the really worst, is. I'd say. It's do, top. Do you guys think that three. uh, when with Trump. So if he does run, uh, in, he's running. It, he already announced. It, okay. So if he runs, and then Kanye has said he's running, and then he had that fucking argument with Trump that they they talked about for a little while. Yeah. Uh, if if they run, and then the Republicans, what do the Republicans do? Like, do they fucking they they surely they have to pick one of them to back because they can't. No, run no, 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 no. Okay, so so maybe you might not understand this um, because you're Australian. Kanye West has like zero support. So like, oh yeah, like zero. No, I, I I understand that, but he does he does sort of fracture. If he's no. running as a Republican no. leader, then he has he's the not, ability to sort of fracture. Not a, not Trump, the slightest. Not here's how the system bit. works. Less Trump Trumpy. does. In the very beginning, there's something called a primary. No, I know, I know how the primary works. Yeah, yeah, I know how. So so Kanye will just lose during the primaries if he even but, get that far. But if he, but because Trump said this last time, because if you if you win, if you lose the primary, uh, you can still choose to run for president, like as an independent. Yeah, as an independent. If he runs, if, if Trump runs as an independent, is he going to fracture the conservative vote and fuck it for conservatives? Ah, yes. Oh, that's if pl- Trump runs as an independent, then yeah. he could fuck things up, and Trump has the capability to fuck things up. Kanye doesn't. Kanye can yeah. run as an independent. No one will pay any attention. Yeah. But if Trump and DeSantis both win, I'm sorry, if both run, 
Biden's almost a guaranteed winner because he'll. That's what I'm saying. Like, is this gonna fuck? Yeah. Trump, that's where. Life. That's Trump's biggest Trump card, if you will, is that he could always say, "Look, I see you guys are pumping a lot of money into uh, DeSantis, and y'all haven't given me a dime. Clearly, you're on his side. But let me let you know what happens when DeSantis win, r- wins. We launch the independent Trump MAGA party. Okay, we're not going to run as an independent. We're going to make ma- ma- the MAGA party." a real party. It is the third party this time. And I'm going to run as the MAGA candidate and it would ruin the Republican party. It would yeah. ruin them. That's the, for as I, long I think as that's he lives. Issue. Yeah. Have it you might have been following him. Christine cinema? Cause that's interesting. That, so like, they, they've got a fucking massive issue. If that happens though, like there's a related fuck. thing here. I don't know if you can hear me, but with, with Christine cinema. So she's a democratic Senator from New Mexico, or Arizona. I, I forget which. And, uh, um, she's a Democrat, but the Democrats hate her because she's always voting against Democratic stuff. So what she was looking at in two years was getting primaried, which means that another Democrat was going to run against her. And then they would probably beat her because all the Democrats hate her so much. And uh, then it would be that person against a Republican, no incumbent. OK, so she sees this coming and says, OK, now I'm an independent. I'm no longer Democrat. I'm an independent. But. If the Democrats don't back me, I will run as an independent, split the vote, just like we're talking about, and the Republican will be guaranteed to win. So while I'm an independent, the Democrats have to back me or I'll fuck you. And yeah. Trump is going to have that same sort of power to screw things over, and we'll see how he can leverage it to his advantage. It also changes the dynamic in the Senate slightly, because while the Dems still maintain the majority of because of the vice president, not just the majority, but like, yeah. But um, now it's not as uh, it's not as tight. It's tighter yeah. because we're, we're one, down one. All you need is one guy to go the wrong way and things don't get to go yeah. through. Right. Is it a, they, don't they mm. hold like a so what's it? Is it a weak majority or whatever the fuck you call it? She's not changing Depends her voting at all. She's still going to caucus with the Democrats. They're still going to own all the committees and she's oh. still going to vote with the Democrats. See, see, I didn't know about her getting primaried. I didn't know that part. That's a huge part of the story. I viewed that as she is the smartest cookie in the whole jar. She, she saw an opportunity to make her seat the most powerful seat in the yeah. whole Senate. She's the we one that the Republicans uh... are going to come and say, look, you're with us on guns. I know that. So immigration is the, the sister of guns, right? And, <laughs> <laughs> and like, like, or whatever they're trying yeah. to like pull her, uh, her strings onto. It makes a lot we, of sense. We had something similar more... happen in Australia a while back where the uh it was sort of like so split down the middle and we had one independent candidate that was pretty much just the fucking soothsayer of everything. Like they literally just controlled the entire government and they were a fuckwit. Like you're mm-hmm. they're just some random independent motherfucker from some boon town nowhere that has no fucking idea what the hell's going on. And they're just like, yeah, I make all the decisions now. What's the That's current the thing. Australian if government? If there's 100 vote? voters and it's 49, yeah. 49, and 2, like those are the blocks, all three blocks have equal power. Yeah. Uh, we're, uh, we're, what's, uh, I guess, a, a liberal government, we're called... Uh, well, so if we have two we have two parties. One's called the Liberal Party, which is the Conservatives, which is fucking mm-hmm. weird. And then we have the La- the Labor Party, which is the uh, which is the Democratic side. So we have a Democratic government at the moment. Uh, okay. So they the the prime the prime minister is Anthony Albanese, and I want to talk a about- Democrat. Yeah, I want to talk about um, Superman in a minute. But but I did want to see. I mentioned I saw this thing with uh, the Kiwi president. Um, she's the one who took away all their guns a couple of years ago after the the Christ uh, whatever Christ shooting. Church. Yeah, right. Yeah, um, which is. A weird name for a for a church because they were, they were it was wasn't a church right it was a they were Muslim oh no it's a it's a so Christ oh, no, Church is the a, name of the place the that Christ Church the name was of the in. city yeah the mosque was in Christ Church yeah okay yeah. I'm wrapping my head around I'm wrapping my head around that it's yeah, a little yeah, yeah. okay yeah. maybe yeah. that's why he well anyway she she was she was caught on a hot mic saying something about her like opponent like like ah he's a fucking self righteous prick. Like and the and uh, and so he heard it, and they came up with the coolest way of not being pieces of shit politicians. They came to get since she called him a, a prick. 
they came together for prostate health awareness <laughs> and, and they're like photographed yeah. together like it's some kind of a prostate like health awareness like money raising thing they did something in that nature like like have yeah. a laugh at the whole I thing i love it yeah me too our politicians would have been such are such scumbags like yeah. we're I it think would've, sure. it they would have been offended. They would have called her sexist. They would have, yeah. you know, they would body oh, shame. Still I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It, well, I mean, I've body, I've, I've personally body shamed her before. <laughs> 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 I, mean, I, I didn't like that. I didn't like when she took the, the Kiwi guns away, I guess. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, she's got that big old horse face and them chompers, but. That all, all apparently, that aside. Apparently New Zealand loves her. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, yeah, they do. They do. I, I've heard like from New Zealanders. One of one of my streamer, uh, well, not mates, but a guy I know through streaming. Uh, he's big into like the Maori culture uh, stuff. So he uh, he does like wood carvings. And so the president or prime minister or whatever the fuck they are came on his Twitch stream and was like doing wood carvings with him. And uh, yeah, like a, as a like a fucking advertising thing. It was it was quite funny. I think I get a different point of view of that culture because my friends there. I think are more well to do. And so I think they're also a little more right wing. So they don't like her and they do not like the, Ma the Maoris and they yeah. don't like that, uh, Taiki Watita guy, or I, I fucked, I just butchered his name, but that's as close as I can get right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. They don't like any of that. Sh when anytime they see him like sneak in some sort of Maori resistance flag colors into a guardians of the galaxy movie, <laughs> they're just, they're just over there. Like you cocksucker. It'd be like throwing like the rebel flag up, <laughs> like, like on yeah, a yeah. spaceship, like, like to Americans. They're like, Whoa, what the fuck? Like, like, I think it's, um, She's not. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. She gets Zach just uh, tell me she's not as liked as I thought. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Not I, just, I, up, I, I got one. Like... I just got that one point of view from my friends. So yeah. I'm always, I would uh, take yeah, that well salted. I, I think you're right. I'm wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought they loved her, but yeah, I guess not. Well, but I mean, she did I'm, take all the guns worried. away and keep them safe. Yeah. I mean, she did become prime minister. So I assume they liked her at some fucking stage. I think you want to tell me about Superman. Oh what is God, Henry on? Cavill. So Henry oh. Cavill, I love Henry Cavill because he's a he's, so. he's a he's a incredibly handsome, like six foot four British actor who's also a nerd somehow. Like he's into like the nerdiest of nerd shit. He's super into Warhammer 40k, like that goofy shit that I'm in. I'm he's so the hero into. that we all needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and and like, but he's also like the Chad of Chads, right? He is Superman, or he was. They, they, like, they just had told him like a month ago, I think they'd be like, Hey, we're set here. You're Superman. Here are the numbers. And he's like, yeah, numbers look good. I'm Superman. And now they come back around and they're like, actually James Gunn has talked with, I can't remember the other gentleman's name, but the, the guy at Warner brothers, they've discussed this thing and you're out as Superman. We're doing a, we're rebooting Superman. We're doing a young Superman. We're gonna see Superman meet Lois Lane and Jimmy, and oh, we're well, gonna get again. We're gonna we're gonna see all that again. And, and you're Henry Cavill. You can't be the the adult hardcore Superman. And, uh, and and so they they fired him essentially like yesterday. And he announced that. And they had ar he'd already been essentially walked away from The Witcher uh, because of you know their writing staff being such. They seemingly hate The Witcher. I guess uh, the people who are writing the The Witcher show. And uh, they want to insert their own sort of political agenda into it. And so he didn't like all that. Or it's, he didn't like something they were writing. Whether That's my take on it. But he didn't like the writing, so he separated. Mm -hmm. So now he doesn't have a job, right? And I was oh, almost feeling... Henry Cavill. <laughs> right. Well, what I mean is he doesn't have anything taking his attention. He doesn't. He, he's not focused on anything right now. He's got time on his hands. And so the link's over there, Zach. Like, like I'm so psyched because I know... I, I was hoping and praying... And I even saw people on the uh, the 40k subreddits that I'm mm. on uh, that that people were like, "Hey, he's he's available now. He could he could do it because he's always talking about doing a 40k um, movie or TV series." Mm -hmm. And apparently, he got somebody at Amazon to finance the goddamn thing. So he's producing and starring in a Warhammer fucking 40k series on Amazon. And I wasn't I sure where all this was going. I legit thought Kyle was going to make a pitch and say, Henry Cavill, for $500, I'll play Dark Tide with you. I know you're right. <laughs> 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 There's a Patreon level for the used, used to be. There's anyway. no way that Henry Cavill does not play Dark Tide. I guarantee he's... he's you're like, going to have I, to carry his ass. He's only a fake nerd. What, he doesn't no, have what, fake nerd. I've no, seen no, interviews with him. Nobody no, fakes painting no, those figurines. No, they, they ask him, they're like... They're like they asked him what his favorite army was, and he got into some nitty gritty shit. 
Yeah, but he was like, on flag dead. He started. He he like name dropped three or four different kinds of armies, and he was like, "Well, you know, there." It was one. It was the answer that a professional gives you. It was like when someone yeah. asked me, "What's your favorite gun?" It's like, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's break them into subcategories what are we the classes. scenario we're talking there, about yeah. here yeah. do you mean the gun that meant the most to me or the gun that was <laughs> most fun like there's like eight different cool answers yeah. i can give you to this the thing to entertain you in one way or another and, and that's how he was with like nerdy ass tabletop warhammer normally when i if i'd heard that amazon was going to make a series about a property like this like like what they did with Lord of the Rings, for example, I'd be like, oh, okay, I'll, I'm, I won't even bother watching that probably. But the fact that he's attached and he, he's producing, I think, and starring in it would lead me to believe that he's got some, some, uh, some juice over there at Amazon, yeah. and maybe he's making a show because I would imagine like he's a big guy. Like, he also the, like he just got fucked by the Witcher thing, them not like writing it true to lore or whatever. And yeah. so I bet he would go into something new like this, especially if he's as passionate as you say about it, and be like, listen, like it's got to be done this way. It has there's to be true so to the, the to lore that I'm though. addicted to. Like, there's so probably, much lore, the though. Stories, it could be anything. Yeah. The, the, like, the thing is, like, like with Warhammer, the stories are already there, and the lore is already there. You just have to like r fill in the gaps with, and, and, and like have your characters there. Like, like it's, it's, it's ready-made, and it's 40,000 years of history, so you can kind of pick what kind of story you want do you want a, a, yeah. a story from a time when humanity was on the rise or on the decline do you want to you want to see medieval knights that happened do you want to see monster yeah. green people you want to see alien like monsters do you mm -hmm. want to like see like aliens that uh, see them fight aliens that are smart and beautiful you know, i reckon or, a like, cool way to do that would There's be demons. Uh, like season long <laughs> season long fucking story arcs where like they they can still have the same actors, but you know that like uh, what was that horror show? American just, Horror like, Story, like an yeah. anthology series. Yeah, so just yeah, anthology series, would... and then they just hit like fucking heaps of different. That's stories. a good idea. I reckon that'd be fucking awesome because there's so many shortened like novellas on that. It'd be yeah. The... It'd be like... Warhammer Warhammer really shines when in, in, in short story form. When yeah. you when when you already know like the the universe that I've heard it say, it said that Warhammer 40 K is a, is a setting, not a story. And it mm. is so like, once you know the setting, then a little short story can be stuck anywhere in the timeline. And you know, the surround, you know what the chessboard looks like. And so, mm. you know, where this piece like fits, fits and it, it all interweaves together really well. The stories are dark and awful. I just uh, read Krieg um, last week. That was excellent. Uh, I, 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 and, uh, and now I'm, um, I'm reading an orc book. I don't remember the name of it, but uh, I'm really excited to see that he, uh, he he's attached to this thing. I hope it happens and it happens soon because it's, it's like a dream come true um, for so many fans of that universe. Cause it seems like it's been getting bigger lately. Like I only discovered it like two years ago or something. Mm -hmm. And it seems like it's become, I mean, already like it, I, I've seen like a couple of big games have, have come out. Dark tide has its issues. But um, <laughs> there's also that Space Marine game that's uh, two is, uh, is is dropping like sometime next year. That looks really cool. Mm -hmm. um, well, they could do, they could do? just do so many cool things like because they could just have be like, oh, what's happening next season? It's like, oh, now we're focusing on a story with this like fucking Horace Heresy, and then we're going back to fucking this. This one's gonna be about this character. This and and they could just switch in between. That ever it's basically fucking. A, Losses to print money because you like, could just go to any was... battlefield on any planet. It doesn't matter who's fighting yeah. or what they're fighting over. It's cool. Like like, yeah. like all the stories are cool. Like some of the monsters that show up are just so horrific. It's the yeah. nastiest stuff you've ever heard of. Like, awesome. like like they've got guns that shoot maggots that bore into your eyeballs and into your brain. Yeah. It's it's like why yeah, are they that's, that's like worse the... than a bullet. That's oh, that's oh, oh yeah. Have oh. No no uh, I mean as far as like efficacy. Like no, if I shot it. super sharp knives at you slowly, like you'd probably appreciate that. But it's a, a it, bullet. it's an organism, so it's it's not like a person who went and made a gun in a factory that does that. It's a monster that's been genetically oh, engineered by a okay. hive mind. Like like there's this hive intelligence should, that, that genetically control. engineer him to shoot fucking bullets. So one of the enemies <laughs> in, in Warhammer 40. So it's a it's a it's a galactic sort of like setting, right? Like we're on Earth in this star system, yeah. and there's a million worlds on a million star systems in our galaxy. The Tyranids came from another galaxy. 
they can they're 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 these like alien awful monsters and they have sort of a hive intelligence and when they get to a world they want to eat they want to eat everything that's alive there and make it increase their biomass when they do that they might get shot by like anti-aircraft missiles so they'll immediately start like are thinking about how to breed a new bug to deal with anti-aircraft missiles or whatever uh. they're dealing with oh they've got armor let's make some monster that spits acid oh they they've got um They'll, they'll send swarms of like bugs into the barrels of, of like the gun emplacements. It doesn't matter if a million bugs die as long as the guns stop shooting so that the bigger bugs can land. And they're not all bugs. They're all sorts of just awful, just disgusting. Man, things. I hope they make this show. That would be awesome. Oh, to be safe. The orcs are the coolest like, thing. But yeah, the, orcs, the orcs have the, orcs the best a, fucking law. The, gr- the <laughs> green skins. I hope the they orcs don't make are, the show. I hope they start to yeah. make the show and it completely falls apart. <laughs> the Henry Cavill's <laughs> career hits the shitter and he becomes a Twitch streamer and we get to see him every day. I fucking hate you. I hate you. No, Woody, boo, yes. I want the cool show. <laughs> <laughs> I, after Kyle talks about the bug crazy, world, I really want... You, Woody. Oh, the orcs are better. The, the, the orcs are a, uh, were created. They're a race of beings that, were, that are a biological weapon from a time so far back that, the, that it's silly to assign a number to it. When two godlike um, races battled each other, one created the orcs to, to fight. Since then... Now that that war has been fought and lost or won, it doesn't matter anymore. The orcs have devolved into these mindless, stupid things. And all of, first of all, they're half fungus, half biological organism. They're sexless. They grow out of the ground like fungus. They actually do, like no, like Tolkien, spring out of the ground. And, <laughs> uh, and and so it doesn't matter if you slaughter them all. They're like spores or whatever got into the dirt. And if you don't go out with flamethrowers and scour the ground that they walked. They'll come back in a few years. They'll just grow back. It, when they when they That's went a about, huge problem. They've completely like devolved and forgotten the old ways. They used to be gigantic, smart, intelligent beings with like mental powers and stuff. And now they're just completely on instinct. Their technology works through this sort of uh, combined mental yeah, telepathy, they have, they, where they the believe the that if you paint a car red, it'll go faster. And because they all believe it hard enough. It will go faster if you yeah. think really. Red. And they have yeah, <laughs> yes. like they're, they're flying machines. They like they like chant Skybird, and because everyone believes that it flies, it, it uh, and they're all like they have this like latent telepathic ability that they don't know about, but they chant Skybird enough, and the plane flies. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, if you took an orc gun, if you took their machine gun and you ripped it apart, you'd find it was made out of pipes and and metal boxes stuck together with bolts inside. It wouldn't make sense. It, it's working because they believe it works and they have it and it's, it's it's this mental telepathy power that just makes their shit work and their entire That's industry really cool. i they have like a a, a life cool form it, it's not just orcs there's a whole like there, there's a whole um a, like family tree of organisms that are sort of related to them so there's like these little squigs that hop around that have like 30 different purposes oh that's a grease squig that they, they excrete like an oily greasy substance that we use to lubricate our guns <laughs> like, 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 like yeah. every little being in their little uh, world is a, another green version of them that they use for a different thing. Some of them they just eat. <laughs> there's a whole yeah, group of like, cruel. Like, like, is like, it like yeah. the Flintstones where there's just like some some fucking squig that just has a big mouth and they just shit in its mouth? They it's have, like there, there are giant, squig. they have giant attacking squigs in uh, war, total war, the war fantasy, yeah, yeah. In the fantasy version, yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a gun, uh, that teleports a little I, I can't remember if it's a grot or a squig it's a little troll being a little a little gremlin it teleports that inside of whatever you're aiming at so you might shoot it at a tank and so all the little beings materialize inside of it shit they, they make a point in all the literature of letting you know that immediately they begin fighting with everything they have these little beings and shitting everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, so sometimes, so they might blast one inside your suit of armor with you. And so he just starts shitting and fighting and tearing you apart. He might be inside your body cavity. You're getting infections, yeah. Well, you're just kidding. It, it, yeah, Warhammer yeah. 40K is really silly, really That's funny. just like a really human dark. kid. And, uh, <laughs> and I, hope, I, I hope they make something out of it, because, you know. Uh, the only problem I, I, I can Henry see them having not is... Have uh, not they, me. The only problem make they make that guy stream for is make it work every day. Of all Fucking shit. hit the grind. Eight hours <laughs> a day on Twitch. Yeah. Then I was living that pampered Hollywood life with crap. Get on that services. Sigma grind set. Yeah. Get yeah, on that Sigma grind really set. Was that, I saw that tweet the <laughs> other day. This guy's like, oh, I'm a teacher. I teach a, 
Oh, ask me, if, if, do you want a billion dollars now or $10,000 every month for the rest of your life? And the, and the kid's like, no, I want to pay you $10,000 a month for the rest of my life because then I've got something to grind for. Get on that grind set. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen that, dude. Fucking dumbest shit in the world. <laughs> what the it's fuck? Like this, it, it's like you, a meme that's want, making man. fun of, I, I remember seeing this post. It was like some uh, unironic, like, fucking retard who was like if i was offered a billion dollars or a, a dinner with a billionaire i would take the dinner so i could get all the experience that they had yeah. and everyone of course is like the the billionaire would tell you you made a huge mistake <laughs> <laughs> yeah. in not taking the yeah. money you dumbass like yeah. a, like in your head is that like smart like whoa yeah this guy it, values a, knowledge in a way I a can't even comprehend. One. It's like, shut up, <laughs> shut up, <laughs> dumbass. Yeah. yeah. So one where he's like, uh, where he's like, if someone offered you a billion dollars or a book on how to make a, a a billion dollars, which one would you take? And the guy's like, easy answer. I'd take the book and I'd read it five times and then I'd have five billion dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell with shit. See, now that's, that's a high IQ maneuver. Yeah, that's a great, like, <laughs> galaxy I think that brain guy's actually shit. clever. Right? Yeah. <laughs> because his answer is a troll. Of course. Oh, man, they're all, yeah, they're all fucking trolls. <laughs> I, I think, like, with that, the Warhammer shit, like, the only problem they're going to have is there's, there's so many, like, races and armies and shit that it's just going to end up a mm -hmm. clusterfuck explaining them all. Like they need to just pick a specific one and just yeah. go with it. Like it, one storyline. Like, yeah, they'll have to know that if they do it, it'll be for like, you know, a, a, an audience that doesn't know much about 40k. Yeah, that's so the they only would have to. That, they, they'd have, have to, to like, dumb it down, and that's gonna make it shitty. Yeah. Well, not necessarily <laughs> shitty. They'd have to like uh, pick a team to really focus on and another team to really focus on, or yeah, they could just commit. Bad? Is it that complicated? Because like well, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of history in everything. So these are like these are like races of things that have like forty thousand years of history, and all of them are like together. Uh, like there's there's like how many races is there? Like fucking. I don't. Know. Kyle knows more than me. Yeah. Just from the videos I've watched from like Luton and a couple of those guys on YouTube, like it's. Like you'll you'll watch a video that's like kind of Warhammer 40k explained, and then like at the end of it, you're like, oh man, like I I don't re I really don't understand it at all still because they'll be like you know forty thousand years ago the emperor revolted against blah blah blah, and then you know three minutes later in the video they're like and fifteen thousand years after that like and it's yeah. there's so much time like watching those Warhammer explained videos is like all right human history Mesopotamia most likely. Bit of time in Egypt. We don't have time for Greece or Rome. Apologies. Uh, so something about the Mongols, uh, Middle <laughs> Ages, and then there's a, a Trump did his NFT thing like that, like that. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah, is, like, human history is easy. It's, it's, it's like if it, if white white people discovered everything, and if the black aliens helped them. There we go. That's it. That's <laughs> that's that would be there. The entirety of human <laughs> history. A way to explain it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Human history. Those people who think like everything was from aliens. Yeah, How, yeah. Like, which is I not mean, true. We I figured mean, some I mean, stuff out. Uh, the only people who think that are the History Channel. Like, yeah. like, <laughs> that's, 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 it's only ever silly. it's only ever people that are black that used alien technology. All, all white people are like, oh, so he's genius, and then uh, then it's like. Oh, the Egyptians, no, slightly brown uh, aliens helped them build the pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Aztecs, not black. No, that is, that is aliens did it. <laughs> they were, what, if, if white people had to build pyramids, they would be like fucking geniuses. Absolutely. <laughs> Look at the engineering that goes into this shit. <laughs> yeah, that would be Always a hilarious so history show to host where like you never yeah. acknowledge it but you just go around like debunking non-white stuff like, like that's all that you, yeah. you're just like clearly you slowly become more of a, a racist as you guys yeah. <laughs> until you get canceled you're just standing there. these guys literally show the last episode the of the show is like the tremendous yeah. feat of nazi architecture yeah, <laughs> yeah. Is it, there's this black guy using a lever to lift a rock and he's just like so who taught you that and he's like yeah. I, I, I made it myself so aliens, right? Yeah. Oh, you <laughs> Someone must have come and instructed you on how to use this yeah, lever. Yeah. You couldn't have possibly intuited your way into it. Uh, yeah. So how, how many races are in the like the forty k universe car? Like, oh uh, no, it's, it's it, there's. So if you're talking about the the tabletop board game, there's like a limit on that. I'm I have no idea where it is, but a couple dozen probably. But if you're yeah. talking about like in all of the lore. 
then there's thousands, right? Because there's 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 like there's maybe a three or four dozen like named races that have larger stories about them. But like I've yeah. heard tell of like oh th- a hundred worlds I've conquered, a hundred different species knelt at my feet, and it's like yeah. oh shit! Like we didn't even get to talk about the worm people of Epsilon Three or the badger folk of Trigolar th- Four. Like they just shit on it's- them. They like like I, there wasn't anything they could yeah. give to the give give to them. They didn't have any cool tech or anything. They're like, yeah, we just slaughtered the badger people and took their <laughs> world. Like we didn't negotiate, and there really wasn't a whole war to write a story about because you know they were badger people. So that's I where think that I think it'll get lot. confusing though, because like you then you've got like shit like the space marines and like chaos space marines, and they have like inside them they have like a whole bunch of different sects and shit that do different fucking crap, and it's like yeah, I, I think like that they that they're gonna have to dumb it down a lot. Hey. Yeah, yeah. You, you, well, well, look, there's parts of the. If you try to show the big thing, then you get lost. Yeah. Like, like, like again, that's a setting. Set. You don't need to know like all of Middle Earth. You don't need to know the Silmarillion yeah. to know about that. That when Theoden rides down that fucking hill, it's badass and be entertained mm. by it. Of course. And everybody who read the books are still like happy because yeah, he did ride down that hill. He did the, the yeah. speech too. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. like everybody's happy there. So like, don't try to show the whole fucking thing one battlefield one war one battle this is the yep. this is the commissar he's got to like quip the that, that's all you could you could just he could be a commissar trying to keep imperial um soldiers in line and they're they're always trying to like and he has to commissars often have to execute their guys it's like always forward you know kind of thing any cowardice anybody talking shit about the emperor you you're getting one um like like that's you a, do a story like, like a lot that. of the like if they do it, if they do it in the grand scale, they're gonna fuck it. Like that new Lord of the Rings show is just too grand scale, and you you don't get to know any of the characters. But then you it look at work. like, what's that? What's uh, Band of Brothers? Like Easy Company yeah. shit. Like that just focuses on one bunch of motherfuckers being badasses, and it's yeah. like that's it. You that's don't need to know to what you don't need to know the consistency of Hitler's shit on June sixteenth. Like. The, yeah, because yeah. you're just you following deep, fucking you know. Ox and the gang, and it, yeah, yeah, and it's that show is because so it's good. like simple. It's like yeah, the fucking the dudes with the mustaches are cunts. Let's kill them. It's so really it's interesting. Very simple <laughs> and, and like like this is another layer of nerdiness. But I'm curious. Like, are they going to show the Emperor of Mankind on screen? Like, if so, like yeah. when he's alive, will he be alive? Or are they doing before he went down? Because uh, like like in the lore, he's like he's been sitting there like all crippled and decrepit for ten thousand years. He hasn't moved a muscle. He's like rotting away in a chair using his his like super powerful mind to hold everything together. Oh, but, so he's uh, been dead for a long time. Like ten thousand years. And they haven't even and his bones are still he, there and everything. He ten thousand like, uh, years he later. Fights, doesn't he he fights something or and then so he gets fucked up? Fairly oh, recently. Yeah. So okay, well, that's the Horus heresy. He fought Horus and uh he was yeah. grievously injured. Then he like boop. Like, like vaporizes Horus with his mind and then he's like, rush me back to the fucking golden throne and stick me in there and he's holding uh, the warp together. He's keeping the, 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 that tear uh, in, 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 this, in the universe from opening up and basically hell spilling onto Earth itself mm-hmm. with his mind sitting there and they have to sacrifice 10,000 psychics every day inside this machine and like take their psychic energy and pump it through him at, into the golden throne, which is a giant mechanism that helps him like hold all that shit together. It happens every day, and uh, it has for ten thousand years now. They're gonna run out of psychics. They don't because there's over, they've got a million planets, and and like there's a whole industry of ships that are and and people who are just always rounding them up. That, you could do a story like that. That's just about some poor guy in a village on some medieval world that the imperial the Imperium owns. He 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 starts showing the signs of being a witch. They call him a witch. They're gonna burn him. And then space marines land, and they're like, "He's coming with us!" And like, <laughs> fly him away. And like, the journey back to Terra would be so horrific. He'd just be in a dark hole, like people shitting and piss. It'd be like, uh, it, it's awful, a horrific journey back to. And then it's just to get sacrificed because yeah. they don't know? care about him because yeah. he's just going to be in the he's the fuel meat grinder. Yeah, you no, know, it would be really easy to pretend not to be psychic. They'd just be like, "What am I thinking?" You'd be like, "I don't have a clue." Ah, uh, it's more than that. <laughs> so like, like, it, 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 it'd be like you know, you like t- it'd be like you like picked up a cup of water one day and it, it it like turned to blood or something. Like like some crazy shit would have happened. And and the real problem yeah. is that, that so it always people... has like that religious sort of like background shit to it. Like, that's like okay. the crazy. Like it's just like this eldritch fucking religion shit. That's really fucking dope. 
the problem is like telekinetic powers and stuff. They have psychic powers that are that are fueled by a hell dimension and through the the um, amateurish use of those powers, they can accidentally open a portal to hell through which demons will spill in like a plague and a virus and they'll destroy an entire planet. And before anyone can do anything, 10,000 might not be enough. A day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, they're getting all that you, you didn't they're... mention that all of these guys were like hell spawn kamikazes potentially. Yeah, yeah. They can't yeah. control their powers, so they'll just melt down, open a hell dimension, and literally the devil will come through. Yeah. Is there and, anywhere like, infect that's the good? whole planet? It's like, it's like, weird. It's like no. Weird time. There's nowhere like, that's getting, good. There's got to be. Nowhere. What's the best place? What's the the best the nicest place? My I house. can't think it's of safest. a good place. <laughs> I can't think I'm of a wife place all of that. Hammer 40. Like there are some there there are some stories about like aristocrats, like the richest of the rich on some of these worlds and how they kind of live in a nice place and have anything they want. But those stories are usually told to punctuate how then things changed and their planet was <laughs> cast down and like the skies turned black and the, the rain turned to acid. Are there worlds with like normal like are there worlds where it's like we can like you can go out to eat? Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Movies yeah. and stuff like it's not all battle and hell all the time. And, uh, well, it's all battle and hell all the time. But oh. like the the, the general, like like you could easily just be like an accountant on a world. But you know your <laughs> oh, world okay. pays. You're, you're but you're counting. You say you could be the sacrifice. coolest guy in the world. Yeah, yeah, you, you can be, be accountant. Yeah, they, they're they're sort of the space Pretty. marines of the Warhammer 40k <laughs> <Yeah>. universe. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. the like, like, finally, like, you guys are pulling me back into yeah, this conversation. We're, we're <laughs> ah, yes, I knew that'd get All right, it. Yeah. Enough, <laughs> all right it's enough Warhammer 40k. I, I, I got something Woody will like a little bit of UFC talk. I wanted to, I want to circle mm. back to Patty Pimblett and 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 his robbery of a decision. Um, like who, those who don't know, Patty Pimblett is a popular, is a very popular, maybe like top three or four most popular UFC fighters in the world right now as far as drawing fans to a place to look at them, do their thing. He's that he's 28 years old. He's blonde, bowl-cutted, goofy-looking, and he has one of those disgusting Liverpool accents, I'm guessing, it, it, that region. you It doesn't matter if I missed it by three miles, cocksuckers. <laughs> it does, though. <laughs> right? It's a yeah, totally it different does. world. Oh, it's a Suffolk accent, you fool! It's like that <laughs> Oh, you in you in North Northeast West Liverpool? <laughs> I'm from South uh, Omptonshire. <laughs> we live fucking. That bloody geezer, he misgendered us. <laughs> what are you even saying, you crazy cunt? You got that crazy accent. You live 500 yards that way. <laughs> 500 meters, rather. <laughs> what, I, can't even, I can't even understand that fucking dog. He just comes around here, tippity po boo <laughs> Like watching the Ricky Gervais show where like Ricky's like, Carl, what are you even saying, mate? And it's, you know, and it's like, I look where they're from and it's like, Ricky, you could like meet Carl for lunch where he's from. <laughs> like, how the fuck are these people's voices so different? <laughs> anyway, you, you guys ever heard scouses? Uh, so, you guys so, ever so heard he had a before? Yeah, so he had a big fight this this weekend and he was the, uh, the, the co-main event, I believe. And... Look, me and my friends all watched it in, in the Discord, and 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 I like Patty. I wanted him to win, but we were all like, "Ah, he lost that one." I I scored it three rounds to none against Patty. I could see you giving it, making it two rounds to one, and that is where I think twenty four out of twenty five of the MMA media members who who put their scores forward that night landed. Uh, either. Three rounds against Patty or two rounds against Patty. Either way, only one person in the fucking world on the internet thought that Patty won, that, that whose voice mattered. <laughs> but the judges thought he thought he had won, and it was just really foul. It, it was so the problem is this. Dana White, the, the the owner, like president of the UFC, is standing there ringside with Dave Portnoy. Dave Portnoy run the guy who runs the biggest sports book in the United States. And Dave Portnoy is wearing his Patty Pimblet wig. He <laughs> sponsors Patty Pimblet over it, it's a it's a multi million dollar deal that he has with Patty Pimblet. He's a bar stool sports athlete or whatever that means, and he's sitting. And so these two are sitting there. The 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 thing gets read out. Ah, oh, Patty Pimblet, three rounds to none, whatever they say. And Dana White looks at Portnoy and he's like, Yeah, that's about right. And it's just like, what the fuck is happening here? It was such a robbery. And so we 
we kind of recovered from that. It, it, it seemed dirty. It seemed like Wait, the fix he, so was did on. He, the... Did he win? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they okay, gave him the fight. They yeah, gave him okay. the fight. They, yeah. they, 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 the decision went his way. And yeah. everybody, I, didn't, I haven't had the chance to watch it. I'll have to watch it and uh, and see. But very yeah. one round round one is very one sided. Patty got beaten the shit out of him. Uh, round three, he got controlled for like four out of five minutes up against the fence, being completely controlled. Round two, you could go. I could see some people scoring it for Patty, but I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I felt like Patty's Patty has no defense, and the other guy does. The other guy is covering up when Patty's like throwing his throwing his combos yeah. and coming out with that left. And it's yeah. going pop, pop, pop. And it's like, holy but shit, it, he caught all those. He catched three Patty, in a row. Patty a bit like that. Who's that fucking, that chick that was real big for a little while? That, Ronda Rousey. What, Ronda, Ronda Rousey. Rousey. Yeah, he fights oh. like Ronda Rousey. Yeah, man, he just runs forward and eats punches and then just a little bit. Yeah. Out. And, 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 and I think that like a lot of people, I just learned, and I, 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 I watch a lot of MMA stuff. I didn't realize Patty was 28 years old. I didn't realize he was a guy closer to the end of his career than the beginning of his career. Maybe the peak. I, yeah, he's at the peak of his career for sure. Um, well, all right. He's at the peak of his career as far as his climb up the rankings. He's been, there's this uh, moment in a movie called Night's Tale with Heath Ledger where like the guy gets beaten. He's like, you've been weighed, you've been measured, and you've been found wanting. And right. that's what's happened here. He's been weighed and measured. He's been found wanting as far as like top 10, maybe even top 15 competition is concerned. You got to really look and pick to find the guy in the top 15 that Patty Pimble can beat. Don't pick that guy. He'll take Patty down. Oh, don't pick that guy. I'll knock him the fuck out. Yeah, that guy with the gimpy leg. <laughs> him. <laughs> you got to do that. But 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 it doesn't matter because who the fuck wants to be the champion of the UFC? When you're the champion, everybody wants to hurt you. And not just everybody. The scariest people in the world who, are, who can weigh what you weigh want to hurt you. Patty Pimblett, if he can just keep beating up guys who are just – about his skill level or a little below it. God, the fans love it. Nobody in the audience gives a shit if he's beating up a, a tomato can or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> don't, I, don't, saw, uh, I saw you, you mentioned like he's like affiliated with Dave Portnoy Big and, toy. and Big all time. that. Yeah, like a bar stool. I saw a clip from like uh, of Dave Portnoy talking about it and he was straight up. He's like, the third round of that fight was the worst least entertaining round of a fight I've ever seen in my life. They just mm -hmm. hugged each other the whole time. I don't think anybody got hit. Like he's right. And, and he's uh, like, it, uh, like a page. And, and it was, and it was, uh, and that's what, when, when Dana White was kind of had this question pointed to him, they want Dana White to go off on the judging. And what Dana did instead, at least as far as the Pimblet fight, fight was fight was concerned, he pivoted in a really interesting way. He blamed the fighter who lost he blamed gordon he said i don't know what that guy's game plan was what you think you're up two two rounds to none huh so what you're gonna go out there and lay on the guy for a whole round play it safe turns out you weren't ahead turns out you were way behind you should have went out there and fought hard and he's got a point that's good framing that's good framing but the real issue dana is not just that the the, the that we had this crazy decision tonight it's that we had that crazy, crazy decision in your last thing with Sugar Sean O'Malley lo losing to, to, to Jan. And I hate fucking Russians just on general principle, but Jan <laughs> won that goddamn fight. Oh, then, God. after the Patty Pimblett fight, and, and that's another instance of a big-time, flashy, young UFC kid. You know, He's the guy with the crazy hair and the tattoos and everything, winning a fight he didn't win, according to judges. Then, right after Patty Pimblett... Um, wins quote unquote his fight they had the main event of the evening the i don't know what you call it when the belt is up for grabs because the champ had to give up the belt but there are two a men fighting for fight. there is a vacant title fight and the two best fighters at 205 pounds are fighting to decide who gets the belt who is the champion now neither of them currently have a belt again they're like the number two and number three guys not exactly but you get my point they have a real snooze fest of a fight. I don't know if it was bad because we were traumatized after the Patty thing, but it was awful. I can't, I can't tell you what happened. I remember there was a lot of boring shit, and then the Russian took him down and laid on him for a while. There wasn't a lot of good strike, and it seemed like the Polish guy wasn't great at his, uh, at his takedown defense, and I was just bored. And I think somebody in the same thing was like, man, this is a pretty boring fight, and I was like, yeah, I hate to say it, but like, this isn't the kind of ground fighting that I find interesting. It's not dynamic. 
it seems like it's meant to really just kill time. It, it, so, and I didn't like it. I thought it was a bad fight. The decision comes down. And again, this is a five-round fight. Earlier, we talked about a three-round fight. It gets even more difficult with judging when there are five rounds being judged. <clears throat> they give it, they, they say it's a split decision, or a split draw. And we didn't know what that was. I didn't know what that was. I watched a lot of UFC, but I didn't know what that was. And I, I had to really start thinking about it. And I was like, wait. So they disagreed, but they came to the same decision. And that didn't make sense at first. But I was like, oh, oh, oh. That means that one of the judges thought, thought it was a fucking tie and that another judge thought that guy A won and another guy thought that guy B won. And that adds up to a split draw. And so hmm. they don't know what to do with the fucking belt. So they'd both walk away literally crying and concussed. And what? And the poor Russian guy, again, I hate Russians on general fucking principle, especially this <laughs> Dagestani crooked nose chin bit, beer cock. <laughs> <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> I, like I hate them. them just because of that. But, guy. <laughs> but no, but I, I, I got other things. Oh, but, okay. <laughs> but that big Igor cocksucker won that fight and he clearly won the fight. Um, and, uh, and they didn't give it to him. And I, you know, he's worked his whole goddamn life to get there and do that thing. And then the poor son of a bitch talk tells his translator, I don't want to fight here anymore. If that's what the, if that's what it's like, what he means is I don't want to fight. I think they're in Vegas. I'm not sure, but I think I'm almost positive they're in Vegas. What he means is I don't want to fight in Las Vegas and deal with these kind of judges. The translator says, I don't want to fight in the UFC anymore if it's going to be like this. <laughs> Dana, Dana White gets on his phone and then says, looks like uh, we need two different guys to fight for the belt in, uh, in Rio. We're going to make it um, um, Glover Teixeira versus Jamal Harris, I think. It, it, Jamal something or another. They'll fight for the belt before Igor can get out of the fucking ring. And, and I'm not saying it's because of the transla mistranslation, but that didn't fucking help. He made that deal on the phone before Igor could get his crying Russian ass to the back room and explain. All right? It was done. Those people, Glover had been, uh, Glover was standing there, so he just had to be whispered to. But they had called the other guy, the, the black gentleman, Jamal Harris, I think. I'm, I'm getting that wrong. Jamal I don't know him Hill? as a fight. Something like that. Zach wrote it in the chat. Oh, okay. Well, they had already called him and offered him the deal, and it was done. And uh, and Dana doesn't usually make fights on fight on fight night or whatever. He says that repeatedly, a sort of a meme. Mm -hmm. He immediately was like, "Yeah, yeah. Glover Teixeira versus Jamal Hill or whatever his name is." Like, just made it. If you go back fifteen years, Dana White and reporters would like hash out who they should fight next. You know, like mm. like. What do you think? Should uh, should, yeah. should Chuck fight Tito? He'd be like, yeah, yeah, I think he'd be pretty good. Yeah, yeah I like that one. Yeah, all right, that's the next one. <laughs> Just yeah, like, a, like a Roman emperor at like a gladiator. Like it's better than the, you it know is. what would fancy me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there'll be a media member, and he'll say, uh, he'll he'll be like, hey Dana, um, Sean O'Malley said that that was a hell of a knockout he got out there, and he's wondering could he have fifty thousand dollars as well because he said he really he banged his hand up, but really. Bang his hand up, huh? Yeah, give Sean 50k too. Hey, Mike. Ah. Make sure, get get Sean a cut Sean a check for 50k. Yeah, he, he asked. He asked nicely. Yeah, yeah, do that. Like he he'll do nicely. that shit. I'm not exaggerating. Like yeah. it'll be that. See, that makes him of, that makes him pretty cool. Like as a viewer. There's there's two ways he to look at it. He plays seventy thousand dollars. Taylor, Taylor on as an anti big business guy, you can look at it the other way. The fighters have to be in fucking line with the UFC. If True they ever that. say like, you know what, maybe a union. The thing is, when you're a fighter, I'm going to make up numbers here, but something like a third of your pay, if you're a popular fighter, is that like contracted amount. Mm -hmm. When they say Taylor earned 250 grand in this fight, he earned another $750,000 in like Dana White goodwill check. Oh, okay. However, if you talk shit during your interviews, during the pre-fight promotion, if you're like, I hate the Reebok deal, all that, that other 750 kiss or goodbye. You know, you, you tell them, I love the fucking Reebok deal. I think it's Venom now or something. Yeah. Else. You know, like, so you have to be a company man to get the other two thirds of your pay. I feel and like a lot of people are hating on that now, yeah. though, because like I've seen a few times where people have gotten up and been like, you fuck this, like, this sucks and we're getting treated like shit. So maybe they're sort of getting to the point where they've had enough, but it feels like they get. Oh, uh, they can have enough. Get the fuck out. He'll throw in Gano yeah. out in the street. He don't care. Like, like yeah. the heavyweight champion of the world. He's like, oh, oh, you want more money? Do you? Uh -huh. 
I got like three guys that could, that, that are better than you at, at at numbers and maybe at fighting. Not really sure. Stipe's yeah. out there getting humongous. John Jones has been bulking for three goddamn years and juicing. <laughs> you think you're still the baddest man in the world? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not so sure anymore. Yeah. I'm not gonna pay you I like think you it's, are. It's you so popular. It. There's like you could he could pretty much just go to a fucking arena, sell tickets, have no card, and then just pick random cunts from the crowd to punch on, and people would love it. I'd love people that. would like that. Yeah, I'd fuck. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> I love fights. I love watching fights. Yeah, it's so like- interesting. There's nothing more compelling than a fight. It could be two hockey players. It could be two idiots at the bar. It could be two UFC fighters for a title. If somebody's fighting, you have my attention. Woody, He's have you heard of, uh, like, I saw this because I, I followed Dave Portnoy on Twitter. Like, they do, they have, like, Barstool has, like, their own boxing, like, fighting thing called Rough okay. and Rowdy. But it is, like, the kind of shit the like, we would put together if we did it. <laughs> where it's it's literally, like, I just went to their site. I'll put it in here. The placard is a midget fight. Like, the what <laughs> is a midget amazing. fight. You can go to, like, see like the highlights and it'll just be thing like there's, there's there's no there's no weight class not there's only is it a midget yet. fight it's not just a midget fight it's a midget getting beaten by another midget <laughs> wait oh yeah world's strongest dwarf fights former wwe star yeah <laughs> world's strongest dwarf. Yeah. and like there's no weight classes there's one here that just yeah. says tiny hero yeah. fights monster man to impress ring girls <laughs> oh, yeah. boxer Boxer of farts in the ring and makes everyone sick. <laughs> That's the third <laughs> highlighted video. Yeah. College yeah. girls brawl. But there's stuff just Ooh, like this. Like Hillbilly like, fights young yeah. wrestling champ. Lawyer oh. thinks he can fight. Convict this fights is, frat boy. Like it's this guy of run. matchmaking. So, wait, wait, Self-proclaimed look superhero hammers acne covered la- lumberjack. <laughs> right. Acne covered lumberjack. That's- I didn't know that existed. Yeah. I'll have to look at yeah, that. I, I love those. Uh, wait, you guys seen those ones where they're just like in a wood paling fence? Uh, those, those fights. They're just like these backyard, like bare knuckle fucking boxing hillbilly fights. Of course. Fights. That's where people I like f- Corey Masvidal started out. I fucking love that shit. That's like, that's like my favorite fucking short form videos is just watching those motherfuckers bash each other's heads in. They're, so they're, they're pretty professional with it. Some of them are like, they've got like cages yeah, built some up sometimes. I got distracted by that like rough and rowdy brawl thing mm-hmm. the commentators are doing a play-by-play of the fart that lasts a couple of minutes yeah. and they go yeah. over to, the, to the girls and they're dying <laughs> what they're theorizing like did he shit himself no 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 i watched the whole thing happen he beat oh, that no. guy's ass and then he blew his own ass <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're fun the, the commentators are dave portnoy and big cat from really Marshall. so like, the they're very good at it the real Deal, and they man. they don't know anything about fighting so like the highlights <laughs> of it i've seen they'll be like oh good god man neither <laughs> of these guys really skilled at all <laughs> like, <laughs> like oh man this is oh this is a punishment yeah. for everyone involved isn't it <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very it's very the, very funny have you guys noticed that there's like this the massive trend of like uh content creators are getting into boxing like you've got yeah. like Obviously, oh, this uh, it, it, uh, no, it, no, not, not, not just well. like the not the big ones, like uh, like the the Paul brothers and like KSI and shit like that. But there's a lot of other people organizing like little ones, and and yeah. so I was, I was watching like uh, I was watching like YouTube the other day, and you know, you know that little motherfucker that uh, that makes like crazy inventions and shit. He'll be like, oh, I built my own fucking X-ray machine, and it's 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 quite funny. It, but he's just like this this tiny little nerd, and then they just had mm-hmm. like heaps of cunts like him from youtube just having box ons and they're fucking gold like these these cunts are just <laughs> wailing on each other and they just fucking suck at boxing so they're just like blind haymakers and just bashing each other in the face but it's fucking entertaining i, it's, I enjoy the it's shit popular out. for a reason like yeah like yes. i watched i didn't pay for it but i watched harley's fight on youtube for free afterward that like i watched the sam hyde I fight i saw uh uh fuck Brandon Buckingham, uh, Ice Poseidon. I watched yeah. their, their oh, fight. How'd that go down? Did Brandon smash him? He did. Brandon did smash him, yeah. Uh, yeah. You guys said like that it, I, did, I did a thing, that uh, Australian YouTuber, where he just like, uh, he, he makes weird shit as well, but he had one, and he just he wailed on this cunt, and he was like <laughs> trying to get the ref to call it off. He was like, man, this guy's 
fucked. Like, yeah. <laughs> the shit out of me. It was fucking awesome. I saw that uh, Ludwig did like chess boxing, where you do oh, like yeah. you play oh. each other in chess, and then you box, and then you play in chess again, and then you box again, which seems like uh, you really limit your pool there for people. Because like I'm not that uh, good at either of those things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. true. True. That, like, might, be like a a good, that might be a good. That might be a good starting boxing. point, though. Like your past oh, really? both of them. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 look, you take an average YouTuber. You've got to be good at one of them. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> you don't go to a chess boxing match if you're bad at chess and boxing. <laughs> yeah, it's so Dude. necessary to like be confident at his? one of those things. <laughs> well, it's not like the recruiting <laughs> from like the, the chess boxing fields of of lore. I, I, I just think that like a lot of the guys getting into chess this to be boxing like, fields. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of these guys are like, yeah, like, I box like, a little we change, and I know how to play. We change up the chess. Like, I'm happy to wail on someone. Can we just like change it up to like 1v1 Modern Warfare 2 nuke town? in between or some shit like that mm. <laughs> yeah we could do that <laughs> do you, rounds. Can, you can do boxing anything anything boxing yeah. and you can do we it. could do boxing and then like a fucking uh mark tyson's knockout game on the i would the love snare. i would love boxing debate where you have to <laughs> box and then you have like like a three yeah. minute like statement and then the other person gets a rebuttal but you don't know what the topic is or what yeah. position you're gonna have to argue in favor yeah. or against and it's and it's always a fucked up topic that's yeah. just like really, uh, really controversial. It's like tonight we've we've got Kyle versus Taylor, and they'll be debating abortion. Yeah, <laughs> it's like debating abortion. Yeah, they both just... love it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it more. <laughs> have you uh, have you seen the uh, the SNL um, weekend update b- update bit where there's a black guy and a white guy? I don't know their names, but the bit is that they write each other's jokes. And that they have to read them then. Oh, I haven't heard, I haven't seen that. No. Oh, it's hilarious because it's not the black Donald, guy is it? No, no, no. no it's new, like the new SNL. Oh, so the black guy is all, pretty much always writing a really, really racist thing for the white guy to say. Uh, I can't remember who he wanted to play. Um, oh, he was talking about how in the new black Superman, mo- the new black Superman movie made sense because the character grew up without a without a father. And uh, and then he went on to say, and the new black Superman, he'll be the man of steel, spelled S T A L. Just just like one after another, these really awful nice racist man. jokes of, of something about like, oh, there That's was one joke. about, yeah, there's some Rosa Parks riffs, like like some mean shit that you, they they preface the whole funny. thing by saying we're about to do a little bit where we write each other's jokes, and uh, we don't want anybody to get offended or up too upset. Um, and nobody wants to get canceled here, so let's have some fun. And then they start because <laughs> they're some rough ass jokes. It sucks. Like, I have to do them. shit like that now. Sorry, no, we're I, just trying to one, laugh and have a little fun. Don't. One don't of the jokes is like one of the jokes reads like this. He's like the white guy's like, I just want to take this time to point out that I'm not going to read the next joke because the card is being held by a black man. And that was the joke. <laughs> <laughs> he was reading the joke. <laughs> it sucks. Are, are it's that like awful. Every fucking comedian does that these days. Like I went and saw uh, Jimmy Carr, and he was like, "All right, we're we're doing this tour. This is the I hope I don't get canceled tour." And he did a spiel at the start. And like I remember him being on television, and he was like, "Hey, do you you know how to like uh, you know how to save Africa? We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get mosquito nets. All so the mosquitoes stop getting AIDS." And like that was his like his joke was <laughs> yeah. about like he, saving he was mosquitoes very, in Africa. Like he was fucked. He was out there. And yeah. He's like, that's like that's the most offensive joke you can possibly think of. And he's just saying that on telly. And that was uh, like 10 years ago. And now he's got a fucking comedy show where he has a 20 minute preface about how he doesn't want to get fucking canceled. It's like, fuck, yeah. man. It it's a it's a it's meant to be a joke. Like yeah. we all well, came I mean, here to see a fucking comedian, dude. You see yeah. how Chappelle's losing like a bunch of his white fans. To be because of this thing, I, I see him getting shit on on Twitter. Like, like, like now they're really mad because he like, had uh, Elon Why are come on stage. On Chappelle? You know? What are you talking about? They've been trying to cancel Chappelle for a long, long time with the trans. He's stuff. hard to cancel. Oh wait, wait! Didn't something happen at like a Chappelle concert with Elon Musk? I didn't. Well, they, they, most they recent, him or well, yeah, yeah most recently this? he had Musk come on stage for some unknown reason. He was like, "Ladies and gentlemen, the richest man in the world," and they were like, "Boo!" <laughs> like, what do you expect they're in san francisco like jesus yeah. christ i don't know why I, I he had bet one stage. there were literally people in the audience that he fired at twitter 
<laughs> like, it's possible. Uh, what if that was um, the whole bit? <laughs> just like, <laughs> yeah, let's raise just your hand if you worked at Twitter. Well, welcome yeah. our next guest. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he had done that. That'd be funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have yeah. been funnier. Yeah. 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 Know, it would have been even better if there's like best hacker who gets their job back. That's what. That's what I'm <laughs> best hacker be gets awesome. their job back. Yeah. No, it, I don't think it would have went well. Because I would think great. <laughs> yeah, they were just got oh. banned. <laughs> <laughs> My my favorite Chappelle thing is when he talks about living amongst the poor whites. <laughs> poor whites? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've never heard anyone say that before. He's like, but I live amongst the poor whites, so I knew better. <laughs> <laughs> Where does he live? He lives in like Ohio or something, right? I have Ohio in my head, yeah. Yeah, like middle America somewhere. Amongst Man, the he poor was whites. a I, growing up in high school, <laughs> like watching his show, that was that shit was just the fucking best. Like oh he, yeah. He was he was just so fucking good those dvds came out when i was graduating high school so it was like pretty prime time for me i i i, I loved the the spell show super into yeah. it it was i i loved him so much that when key and pill came out i refused to even look I didn't know Key and Peele were good for years. Because <laughs> you were like, you're not Dave Chappelle. Yeah. <laughs> I have where he stood. I like one sketch. He was Rick show. James. <laughs> he was Kyle, Rick James. Kyle has hey, room the for two one of you can't fill his, his shoes together. <laughs> you little bitches. Yep. And then like <laughs> one day I caught like a YouTube video comedy. and I was like, holy shit. It was the bitch. <laughs> like, like I caught that yeah. one. And I was like, "Oh shit, they're fun." Uh, I love the, I love the Camp Peel one where they're on the plane, and it's just like, "We're about to squelch that dog." <laughs> it's like, "I hope <laughs> no Tazzy's come up in here." Oh, you gotta be ready to fire border Terry. <laughs> yeah, that shit's so. I have not funny. seen <laughs> much Key and Peel. I've seen the rich one. Them splaxed. Yeah, that shit's fucking gold. It's too bad They're Trevor hilarious. Moore died, or why does Kid You Know could still be going. R.I.P. They were right in the middle of a project. Yeah. Yeah, they were. They were. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a little known fact, they're actually on a project about Epstein's Island. Oh. So who knows what happened to X Files for all you children. A horror. Isn't that the X Files? about Epstein. Yeah, a horror movie about Epstein from the perspective of a child. <laughs> but but have not you, Epstein, seen, uh, Epstein, a reanimated Epstein. Oh yeah, so like, now it's all good. Ah, Frank Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be but, uh, a good one. Have you guys seen how like Winnie the Pooh went into? Like, I don't know why I said Frankenstein is like... Dracula. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck. But have you guys seen how like Winnie the Pooh went into like uh whatever you call it once it it's no longer copyrighted like it's uh open. Free use, whatever. Free use, yeah. And so now people are making like horror movies of uh public of Winnie the Pooh. It's uh yeah, public realm, yeah. Um yeah, yeah. so some some motherfuckers making a, a Winnie the Pooh horror movie where it's like some fucked up like uh Winnie the Pooh hunting people and like gore fest kind of shit. Oh, is Chris is Christopher Robin and Tigger gonna be there? I I, I believe so. Yeah, they're like two oh, of the main characters. No. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh. Wait, is that is that Piglet? <laughs> I'm gonna fill you up with Ooh, honey. Poo. Hey, what the <laughs> fuck does poo sound like? <laughs> oh, like that. Oh, Bob. <laughs> oh, Eeyore was out. my favorite. Eeyore's oh. like, I'm gonna kill myself and everyone else oh, in the forest. Boy. I'm gonna Everybody. commit a murder, 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 suicide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take everyone with him for my because that's what they don't show in the show is all the ways that they like. Like Pooh would be having a get together, and they wouldn't invite Eeyore. You remember all that? You remember that happened? Yeah. So it's Piglet would yeah, come yeah, over, yeah. and Pooh would invite him, and uh, Tigger would be there. And then, like halfway through the episode, yeah. they think to go say hi to Eeyore. I think Chris yeah, Robin was being yeah. molested in real life, and those animals were just a figment of his imagination to deal with the trauma. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe that Christopher that's Robin why... was getting molested in the fantasy world, and that's why Pooh didn't wear pants. Yeah, his friend was a shirt. His friend was not escaped a shirt. to a fantasy land. Yeah. Big mistake. You know? <laughs> the honey, the honey, pot, the honey pots are all just allegories for Christopher's uh, fucking asshole. Yeah. Who's just going in there? <laughs> oh, nothing makes me hungrier than honey. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> 
I love honey yeah. and seven year olds. Nothing better than a honey up seven year old. <laughs> Whatever I sound like. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, I, that's a horrid way to think about Winnie the Pooh. So, so but we also don't know. Not inviting uh, Eeyore is over. Like they're just sitting there and they're just like, "Hey, you want to invite Eeyore?" And he's like, "No, nah, man, I'm so sick of that depressed fuck." Like he, he just, <laughs> they, like we've tried to help him so many fucking times. <laughs> like we gave him like a free gym membership and got him, got him seen a psych a psychiatrist. He's just so. F- I'm so sick of that motherfucker. Like, <laughs> and let's they, fucking they, cut him off. <laughs> they've probably like done like yeah. sketches before where it's like. You know, Piglet being like, Pooh, we're worried about the amount of honey you're consuming. He's like, shut up, Piglet, you poop. Like, he's like, there's no reason for that, Pooh. Like, that would, that oh, would be yeah. good. Speaking he's of a, morbidly he's a obese honeyholic. people. Speaking of what people? Morbidly obese people. Oh, okay. Where is this um, going? Are we talking about me? No. No, morbidly <laughs> obese. Like uh, like you're oh, so you're so obese you're spooky. like like who like, like anybody in particular you think you thinking of I can't think of anybody I was thinking about Brendan Fraser's movie The Whale actually oh, um, yeah. it's uh, oh, okay it, it, it did incredibly nice well apparently return. at all the festivals and I think now it's heading to theaters it's one of those A twenty four movies that uh, that are uh, kind of niche and really well made uh, and uh, I watched the trailer today or at least maybe two minutes of it or something oh it's gonna be a sad one oh it's gonna be a sad one. Surprise, I don't know. Trailer guy. Brendan uh, Fraser gets way too much fucking love on the internet. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Stop, you you lost on Robin Williams. This is gonna be a. He's another... absolutely bitch made. If, he, if, he... if that director oh! had reached around and squeezed my taint, I'd be over it by the time he was smelling his fingers. But not Brendan <laughs> Fraser. No. Whoa, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it takes the next fucking 10 years off to get over the uh, mental trauma. He was blacklisted uh, for speaking out. Ah, uh, what a dick. Uh, he was I, I do. He should have made some more films. I'm pretty he sure the blacklisted part is true, though. He complained about <laughs> his sexual assault and nobody <laughs> fucking it. put him in a movie. He, he can't uh, make any movies, man. They just replaced him with the fucking rock. Bit. They, man, they replaced him with, him with the, the fucking rock and everything, bro. He got, he got <laughs> rockified, bro. He How the fuck is he supposed to act? Yeah, he was the, he was but, the but, first victim of the rockifying. Dude. Look, yeah. Tarzan and no too. one cared because he was a guy trying to do Me Too in 1997, right? Yeah. So, but he has this new movie where he he plays a morbidly obese man. He's enormous, and he's he was in this huge fat suit the whole time. He is a hefty guy these days, um, but but he is in an incredibly large prosthetic suit. He looks like a 600 pound man, I would say, and uh, he's it's it, it's a story about him reconnecting with his daughter, and uh, it looks very very emotional. And uh, uh, I don't know if I'm going to watch it because I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. I cry at the stupid Warhammer shit I watch and read. I don't. I, <laughs> if I watch a Brendan Fraser movie, I'm going to have a mental breakdown. I'm over yeah, here crying for the soldiers of just, Krieg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just, uh, I, I already see it feel sad just thinking about Brendan Fraser. So yeah, I'm just like, I feel bad for I don't him. know what I'm going to do. Yeah. Being like, what he does and what he's going to watch the movie, you just fucking. Popcorn. Yeah, popcorn. Fucking, <laughs> <there's> <laughs> fat cunt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like Eat more, you guy, loser. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Wait till, wait till the rock comes and molests you and then replaces you on PK, Woody. Motherfucker. Ah, uh, please. Oh. They can molest me. Just buy me dinner first. <laughs> Maybe we can get the rock. Can we get the rock? <laughs> you gotta replace you with can, the rock. Can you imagine like <laughs> how quickly... Can you imagine how quickly his career would come down like the house of I cards? Wish I, I, wish, <laughs> I wish I knew. Like, I wish be, I would be like taking random shit that the three of us had said and like playing it next to him, like like standing in Jurassic Park or whatever the fuck movies he's in. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> like like if we well, if I just had a too. video, <laughs> if I just had a video of the rock like molesting puppies or something, and I could be like, hey man, I'm gonna need you for four not four hours a week, Thursdays, <laughs> seven to eleven. See you there. Don't be square. <laughs> and he was just he was just here every weekend explicably and we didn't even say shit. <laughs> we didn't if, even mention it. <laughs> what do you think about what do you think about all this uh sissification in Hollywood, Rock? Uh, um, uh, I certainly wouldn't call it like he has to play it straight. He has to still yeah. like try to keep his Hollywood career. I yeah. certainly wouldn't call it that, Kyle. I I think that that's very offensive there. And he like like like, like to give his Political yeah. answer, but he kept. I, I always, I always love those like. Uh, <laughs> oh, I want to live in that alternate universe. When they're um, when they're like juxtaposed by a good rock. guy. Have you, you, juxt- you ever seen like uh, Kimi Raikkonen, like the F1 racer, when he like they'll 
they'll ask like they ask Lewis Hamilton a question. They, they, there was an interview, and they're like, "So why don't you think there's any female drivers in the F1?" To Lewis Hamilton, and he gives this like fucking big political answer, and he's just like this whole rambling diatribe about uh, opportunities and women and stuff like that. And then Kimi Raikkonen is just like, "It's because they're not fast enough." Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, "They're not good enough. They can't. They can't keep up." <laughs> it's just like fucking he's, all right. I mean, I, I mean, he's. Right. He's just yeah. that guy's got somewhere to be, and he's gonna be. Yeah, yeah. Useful. I'm out of here. Dude, you the know? guy back to my yacht. <laughs> Why do they have a did, men's? Chest didn't league? he crash out at a race, and instead of yeah. going back to like the pit, he just walked over to his oh, yacht. Oh yeah, the engine out. engine failed in Monaco, so he just put up on the side of the road, and they just like jumped, went down the docks to his private yacht, and they just started yeah, drinking. He jumped the fence and went to his yeah. yacht and just started chilling. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Is it? Is it a story a about him that? Someone told me once, and I, I don't know if it's one hundred percent true, but apparently he got into a fight with his co-driver during the World Rally Championships, and he was like, his his navigator was just being a fuckhead, and he's like, "Fuck you, you don't do anything, man. All you do is read from a piece of paper." And he's like, "Well, fuck you, I'm not coming then." And so he's like, "Fuck it, I'll just drive without one." And then he found out that he couldn't race without a co-driver, so he, he just not. paid a. We apparently paid a homeless man to just sit in the seat. <laughs> No, really? Yeah. No. Yeah. He didn't, no. Someone told me. I don't know if it's true, but so, did someone told me this. Let's You've seen them give the commands, them. though. Like, like, like yeah. those commands aren't like, and you got a left coming up, and then a squiggly after that. It's well, not that. It, it's it's like yeah, but... slow it down to three quarters. Hard break. Hard break. And a shifty L. Shifty L. Are oh, coming out to it. Oh, so harder to the right. You mean like, it's not? Always, there's left. so much. There's so much terminology and like well it depends as well because like those those like courses like they have access to those courses before that so he could go there and practice that with the hobo no 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 not with the fucking hobo hobo. no but like if he goes there and practices it and then remembers the track he doesn't need the call but that's a different thing than hiring a hobo like like, yeah no no but i'll I'll buy that that you can memorize a track but i don't buy that you could hire a hobo to read that thing out appropriately no 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 no. you don't need to read it you just you just put the motherfucker in the seat so you can race and then you just race having a co-driver at all oh you just needed a seat you just need a human in a seat yeah you just needed a human in the seat now i understand yeah okay yeah but why do you need a co-driver like they get still rules it's but they need weight in the car Oh. Is the, yeah, so uh, you, you don't have it either cheating. I thought it was yeah. to like make oh. the speeds faster it like it... so it's more exciting or something. I don't know. No, no, no. Well, they they meant to help, but apparently he is like apparently he was like I don't need that. Fuck you. So I I, I saw the I don't know what kind yeah. of racing it was, but I, I saw the guy like getting mud continuously blasted on him, and he's got those tear away film things on his mask, and he's yeah, literally cool. he's racing like crazy, but he's going. Shruck, shruck, shruck. Like continuously tearing them off, cause cause every, literally every second second and a half he's getting splashed with full red mud, so he's constantly. Fucking shit. But doesn't he run head. out? He he seemingly had an infinite amount of them. Yeah, a lot. He was like tearing them off. Hollywood. He was <laughs> like tearing them off on with there. reckless abandon. Like, like, he now, was, you have like a a pack. They like. You, you get like a pack of like 50 and they like stick to your helmet and you can just keep pulling them off. It's like a layer after layer. Oh, thing. he can reload then. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 <laughs> no. He just has like 50. It's not that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to wear them on race go-karts because you'd have like days where the rain would like hit your visor and it would be like muddy rain. And so you, you pull Why it off. That would be a but... bad idea for you. Can you just... like, like... Yeah, was... can you leave them in the woods or is it like trash? Uh, I mean, they're, they're trash. So, I mean, there's probably some biodegradable ones. I wouldn't like, ride around in the bush and just like start pulling them off it'd be a bit of a cunt move but yeah i'm yeah. looking to not be a cunt it, it, so it's funny on the east coast well plastic's different but on the east coast if you put like paper on the ground or something it's gone in a couple of, 18 months i don't know six yeah. months like it just disappears and turns to dirt or something i don't know what happens yeah out here like in death valley this shit lasts forever. Mm-hmm. Like if you put a, I think a hundred years from now it'll still be there. Like it just, <laughs> it just doesn't go away. If you poop in the woods and bury your toilet paper, they'll dig that up in a quarter million years and be like, yeah, <laughs> what, what would make it go away? It's not wet yeah, here. Yeah. It's not. It just, like, it's it just calcified now. This guy yeah. wasn't very healthy. If anything. It's <laughs> <laughs> I think this, fucking, this guy. It's just the this guy had the mammoth <laughs> uh, <And> then, <laughs> uh, I pooped in the woods, uh, dude. So I hadn't seen anyone in days, right? Except for the at, at the hotel, but on these trails, nobody 
anywhere. And I'm, I'm like an hour and a half into my ride and I have to poop. It only happened one time on the whole trip. And I was like, you know, it sucks. I'm not going to be anywhere for 10 hours. So the situation is not going to improve yet. I have some like one white Charlie's with me uh, just in case. Right. You know, mm. just, just in case I'm like, cool, cool. I pull over two motorcyclists and a pickup truck come by. I'm wearing like high vis yellow. I'm looking like a fucking construction worker. (laughs) (laughs) Everybody's looking like motherfucker. Like what? Why? They're like, you okay? I'm I'm, I'm, I'm fine. fine." (laughs) Were you mid shit or not quite? (laughs) They're asking if you're okay. Cleaning up. Uh, Yeah. Like, like like, and as they drive away, you just hear nerd. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You can't shit here. Look at this guy. This uh, guy's got a shit. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> that that nerd pooping. One of, one of my streaming mates was telling me that he uh, had a, a t- take a shit while on an exercise in the army. He did like demolitions and shit like that. And so he just goes and finds a tree and then just like an entire regiment of grunts just march past him while he's just taking a shit. He's just like, boys. And they're just. <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> it's like, yeah, this is so good. <laughs> yeah, that's how it felt today. And uh, it's, the, the level of privacy and isolation you have out here is just, I've never experienced anything like this, even in my other trips and stuff. Like, this is just so alone. And, uh, but not when I poop, I guess. No. So you, you're the not looking forward you to the inevitable accident that's going to make you into a cripple that happens every time you leave the house. Yeah, that's something to worry about. I, I, he'd, he'd be when, whenever around. Woody's on one of these trips, like like I, I don't send the motorcycle crash videos that that, <laughs> I, that I save on my phone, like like the dream to jinx Reddit. it. Yeah, well, I mean, I know he doesn't want to see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I know he doesn't. Every, want every time I come on here, it's like, oh yeah. Uh, so Woody's had his fucking his left nut amputated from something, <laughs> and it's like, what the fuck did he do now? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, right. This I tried to finish this on one. Earth. Yeah. <laughs> I've dropped my motorcycle on my foot a couple of times now, like three or four. And I think it's a good thing I brought the upgraded boots. My boots are oh, hardcore. Yeah, yeah they are gonna a like lot. uh get into just like something like as silly as just fire. <laughs> at some point, like you're gonna get into melting things or fire or <laughs> just... right. I, I thought about my new that hobby today. is electricity. I have <laughs> almost, you know, like you the know those, guy that uh... just electrocutes himself all the time. I think that's one of Charlie's <laughs> fucking hobbies. Like, like uh, is it interesting? Yeah. Jelly beans, electricity, and milkshake yeah, or some shit. <laughs> Who's Charlie? Charlie from uh, Sunny. Oh, okay. Always oh, Sunny. Oh my. God. So, are you gonna make it home for Christmas? Yes. Yeah. No, I, yes. I'm targeting the 21st to get home. So you knocked out all your shopping very early, or that'll be uh, on the last I may day. have bought it online while I was on my trip. Yeah. <laughs> as, as and I told all strapped to the black rot now. I told my family I would hot. bring them Death Valley rocks. So I literally picked up three rocks today. <laughs> Put them in my bag. Dude, that's they real crime. Th- I like to imagine like you forgetting. So you pick up three rocks like back in North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like on your way in the house, you're like, there's a nice one there. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, dude, guys! Just, yeah, like, I didn't uh, realize how similar it'd be to North Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> what are, you, what are your kids is, like sitting in college like th- 30 years later and they're just That's like... a chunk of oh, asphalt. They, they're yeah. holding, this, <laughs> holding this rock and they're like, this this rock, it means everything to me. My dad, when he was so adventurous and, and it, it really gives me the spirit to, you know, adventure. And then you're like, you're just like laughing about it. You're like, yeah, it's like <laughs> yep. It's like there's yellow rock. paint on it. Yeah, dad's, also, dad's also a fucking liar. <laughs> it's asphalt with yellow paint. <laughs> you can see part of a yield painted onto the. Uh, have you aliens, ever, uh, aliens you know the, must have did it, man. There was someone, maybe it was some person in Europe, I don't remember, but like they had been, they had purchased a moon rock like from NASA or something like a super long time ago. And then like it turned, and they'd been like telling people forever. You know, and like handed it down, and it turned out like it was tested, not a moon rock, just so that, a rock. So that was a gift from the United States to a, to a foreign nation. I, I don't remember which. And and yeah, right. they, were, they were they were like, and to you we bestow a moon rock from the people who have them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and they were like, holy shit, thank you. Poland will cherish this moon rock forever. And then like, I guess they tested it a few years ago, and it's petrified wood or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
What a douchebags. Who was the president that went over? Or to, uh, did, did they not Poland have any that... moon rocks to give? Because yeah. they never went. <gasps> there, was a, there was a president that went over to Poland in the 70s and he said something and it was like a mistranslation. Translation, and it came out as like, I, uh, I've I've left the United States forever, and I'm here to fornicate. It was pretty much yeah. what he said. So it's like yeah. I'm 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 here. I'm staying, and I'm here to fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So who was that? Like Nixon? Uh, yeah, it it might have been Carter. I'm here yeah, to I fuck. I think it was Carter. Yeah. I think it was Carter. Car- Car- and yeah. it literally translated to as exactly as you said. It, it like yeah. I'm staying, and I'm here to fuck. Like, yeah. <laughs> right. Little little Jimmy Carter saying that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in in Polish, I guess. Right. Oh man, yeah, Jimmy Carter! Of little Jimmy Carter's running around. Not a Poland not a now. scary president. No, no not the kind you know. of president that inspired fear. Real fucking loser, if you ask uh, me. I uh, keep building those houses, you piece of shit. Can you imagine uh, like, if we had like a one-eyed president, like some sort wait, of wasn't he from president? Georgia? Yeah, Georgians hate him, huh? They still not over. Ah, uh, I mean, like, come on! I don't know about Georgians. We didn't take a poll or anything, but I just think when uh, you lose when you lose fucking Iran. And it's it's been a quagmire ever since. Like that's your fucking mark on the presidency, if you ask me. I don't care what kind of trade deals you set out. I don't care if you had some AIDS fucking organization. I don't care that you sold your peanut farm to avoid it. It looking like there might be any impropriety there. Impropriety. I don't care about that. You lost Iran, and that's kind Didn't of. Didn't he it. like do the Iran deal, make it okay, and they waited until Reagan became president to make him look bad? Is did I make that up? I thought I heard that. I thought that was true. Well, there was the whole meltdown where they stormed the embassy, right? Like that was losing oh, that. to me. It, it it was like upsetting the, it, the the whole thing with the Shah. It, it, it was that that and then that scene on the global stage of America being ran out and embarrassed, and us having was that when we had to dump the choppers in the ocean off the aircraft carrier so there'd be enough room to get our people out. Biden just had another fucking refresher of it. The same goddamn image of our people being lifted out of an embassy in a goddamn helicopter ran out of another country. Like it, it, it's a bad look. Optics matter. Like like when you walk out in the UFC, it matters how you walk. It matters what your hair looks like, what your face looks like. It matters if you sound like you mean it's what true. you say on the national st- and the global stage. Got ran out of a country by sand people. How the fuck did that happen? Like we should have waltzed out of there and then doubled back and did one of these. Like and like, <laughs> like you know, like, that's how you leave. That's how you leave. You like walk Pussy. out and you double back. Like what? Fucker, you don't think we'll come back, drop another trillion on you, fuckers? Like, like that should have been like. No, that. the way we leave like conflicts is like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We really wanted to win. Uh huh. Right. Yeah, <laughs> you, you tell yourself that. You I'm tell yourself like that, uh, that we were like, so invested in winning Vietnam. And it's like <laughs> to like, me, all the like one-term those, presidents uh, are kind of scarred. Like I, I look at Bush Senior, Carter, yeah. and Trump as the ones in my lifetime. If you got voted you out after your out first like term, that, uh, people thought you Moana. You, you know that guy in Moana that's just like, you're welcome. And they just like, yeah, yeah. slide out of the that's, that's how Americans leave a country. <laughs> 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 you're welcome. Just rubble, destruction, millions yeah. dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Enjoy mm. all the radioactive material we left behind. Yeah, it's, it's literally have, like yeah, like a Team America World Police ended up being more correct than they could have ever imagined. With, with their <laughs> yeah. God, we're so Is that a cool, documentary? Though. I thought that oh, was a yeah. documentary. Yeah, it's a puppet documentary. Yeah. Dude, dude yeah. You, the U.S. military is so fucking cool, though. Like, like you got to stop. Is. Every now and then you need to stop and like think about like you see this like gl- huge war that's going on over there with. It just pales in comparison to the cool shit we have. I love the depleted uranium ammunition. They they shoot it because it's so dense. It's like something like forty percent denser than lead, and mm-hmm. it, I, they they are irradiating everything they fucking shoot. They're and they're not go, they're not. You might think, ah, oh, but they're loading those in carefully, one at a time. Those are sniper rounds. No, they shoot them out of a thirty millimeter machine gun. It's a Vulcan machine gun in a plane. It goes Ehh! and it shoots as many as it can. They don't even return with ammo. Like they're like, get rid of that. It's heavy. So they're shooting a ton <laughs> of irradiated uranium. Uranium. They, they shoot uranium or... bullets. Who does? We to- Are we, we doing do. it in Ukraine? We're not shooting oh, any bullets. Did. Didn't, they, didn't they stop doing well, that shit in the Gulf War though? Because like heaps it. of people ended up like I- sick and shit. Um, I the the depleted uranium rounds I'm thinking of are coming out of the um like the Apache and the uh, 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 uh the the um the 
the burr fucking plane the what, what do you the call it the warthog the warthog yeah, yeah, yeah can't, yeah, can't yeah, we that. make a harder bullet without like fucking up shit with no. radiation no well it's it, it's first of all it again, seems Taylor's like we could get that cancer. done why are, why are you first of all why are you worried about it because it's not like we're we're, we're shooting them in minnesota, in minnesota or missouri or whatever silly state you're from <laughs> some we're shoot, probably is we're shooting them at a, mediocre hockey we're shooting desert <laughs> folk with these things so it's it's fine yeah. Um, but yeah, it, 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 so you don't of, even have to I'm care. Sort of Taylor, to do you American realize they're brown? brown. <laughs> yeah, you guys. It, well, no, it, I don't care what color they are. It's about. I'm, I'm just saying it's a desert environment. It's about they're an enemy. They're led by a madman, and they must be stopped <laughs> with, with yeah, little yeah. rains of uranium. <laughs> no, it, dude, that like a taste in the fifties. <laughs> love all those bombs. Dude, yes, we are the baddies. <laughs> Fucking embrace it. Let's go. I wish we had skulls on our helmets. I wish. <laughs> I wish I, we had no sure we that. Like, heaps some other, heaps some motherfuckers them. had those. Like, I think maybe the airborne patches, and, patches. Shit, and then they stopped them. I, I, yeah, I, they had lots of, lots of the yeah, patches. They all, and crazy. they all had like the pan, the Punisher masks and shit like that. And then they banned them from the military because no, the Punisher like, mask. That's so that's too new of a thing. Like that's that's not that's like more of a police thing. A, a, a skull though. That's like fucking pirate shit. That's been around forever. A skull inspires fear in your enemy. Yeah. We need to be I swear, absolutely. I swear they banned that shit, you know though. what? We we need to send in soldiers in those glow in the dark skeleton suits. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that you can get. <laughs> you see some guys come out with the skeleton dead. suits. Oh man, yeah. that's, uh, Putin's you, gonna you give you up. You know how those time. people? You think black people are scared of magic? You've never seen an air see a skeleton man walk across doing a silly dance <laughs> with an M60 machine gun. They they, uh, they tuck tail and run. I guarantee it. Tuck tail. I and guarantee run. it. Even the I Ruskies, sort of want to see America be... ramp up in Russia just so I can see how it goes. Like, I don't want to be involved in it. I just want to view it from my armchair. But I want to see if they just, like, Desert Storm those motherfuckers. Because, like, <clears throat> like, Desert Storm was pretty much the same technology that, like, the Russians mm -hmm. are deploying in Ukraine it's now. It's T-72 and, tanks and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, America's, like, America's had, like, 30 years to just buy fucking trillions of dollars of more shit. And I, I yeah. just want to see if they just fuck them up again. I there's just want to, a, there's I just want to see them roll in there and just ass rape them in like <laughs> I watched guys. a great <laughs> I watched a great YouTube video the other day and it it was about Desert Storm. I've watched a bunch of them, but they were like, the Abrams tank faced came over the hill and suddenly was up against an entire Iraqi tank battalion. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> how many? How many was it? And then it was like. Does is like a dozen or like fifteen tanks, and then like twenty five yeah. or thirty armored vehicles, and then like three or four hundred Iraqis, and it was just like a couple of U.S. Abrams tanks. They killed everything and never got hit. Yeah. <laughs> they just they like, fucked them up. Like, yeah. The only Man, the only do. the only losses that they had in Desert Storm were friendly fire and like crashes. Yeah. It was it was friendly like, fire and yeah. and somebody drove in a ditch and like drowned. <laughs> like, that was it. Yeah, they, they not get destroyed hit? them. They fucking absolutely destroyed them, man. Because we were fighting in a in a fucking uh they call it I don't know why I like to believe they call it Desert Storm because there was a sandstorm going on at the time, but I doubt it. I think that was just coincidental. Yeah. Um the, the storm part. There, there, there was a storm. Uh, but but the the optics on the American tanks are, are much better than what the Iraqis had. The range was better too. But Oh, is it at nighttime? Just, no. Um, I think we I have think so. we could attack from like 200 miles and they could attack from 50 or um, forget that. It's just like out, outright like shit. Like I'm such a fucking the, uh, idiot. I'm like picturing shit. like World War II style, like this tank, like weaving and like mowing people down. I uh, I think what you want to imagine is tanks spread out, maybe like 10 or 15 American tanks spread out far enough that maybe they can see each other. And then they're supported by a bunch of. Uh, armored vehicles that have like cannons on top mm -hmm. operated by people with three or three to five guys inside and they're all driving together over there toward the enemy and once they have the enemy sighted they can shoot and fire at the same time that tank doesn't need to stop and ee, ee, mm -hmm. ee, it's gyro stabilized so it's moving and and aiming and gunning and i don't know what a t-72 tanks like the only tanks i've been in were world war world war ii tanks i was in that like m18 tank destroyer and i was in that maybe Sherman, that sights on those are like stand standard sights. They look like uh, like a rifle scope or something. And aiming that thing sometimes involves cranking shit. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I can't imagine trying to fight against something with that. I'm sure what well, the Russians have is gyro. better than that. 
Well, well, like as the thing's moving, the barrel yeah. is is sitting still. I, 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 from what I've seen from this like Ukrainian footage, though, I'm a hundred percent sure that it's just like they don't have anything. <laughs> just like, I don't think they have anything either. I think the Russians are, yeah. are a third rate power, but the problem is they've got all those ICBMs and and, and not yeah. just ICBMs, but but any number of nuclear um, weapons delivered in various different ways. We made That's dozens part, of different yeah. kinds. It, you know, it, everything from a suitcase bomb that that was a that was a small nuclear weapon that one man could carry into battle, the, our backpack nu nukes that they made, to the the ones that I'm sure you've seen of an artillery piece like shooting a nuclear round like over yeah. the hill and just instantly popping over the fucking uh davy crockett's those fucking the davy crockett's yeah, yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> and then all the way yeah. up, up to that like czar bomba that everybody every youtube video maker ever has made a video Top about 10 list <laughs> most powerful bomb ever made. biggest bomb ah! the czar bomber <laughs> all caps <laughs> Yeah. Um, you know, all the way up to that. So it's like, man, they could shoot some little rocket over with a tactical nuke, or they could destroy the entire planet. I know that the U.S. just sent Patriot missiles over, um, and in response, the Russians. It's so funny. The Russians are like, it's like starting an argument with a kid on YouTube ten years ago. <laughs> like the Americans are like, we're sending Patri Patriot missiles to the the Ukrainians. We think we need them. They need them in these uh, these advanced situations. And the Russians are like, we're going to upload a video of our ICVMs being loaded. That'll scare them. And it's like, dude, did you just ah. make a did you just make a quick little video to to like intimidate the Americans? Because the Americans sent real missiles there that that and gave them to the Ukrainians. What are you going to launch that missile? We might. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah. No, you won't. You're, we will. All the games until they do. Like, yeah. Well, it's I, yeah. I it's funny games until a nuke goes off and it's yeah, like. I don't oh. know. I, I wonder then if, I wonder it's even happened. funner then, then, well if you're if you're like slush like if you're in australia or new zealand like Dude, you're I'm solid i imagine no, it's so like good. it's all you're like watching a movie on on tv with they're not gonna launch so, it or sociopolitical stuff Dude, hey, they i'm the fucking i'm like the southest of the south but they, uh, they, australia they, does have they some might hit your naval base yeah, but that's like that. That's like a long Australia fucking. Australia has defense. That's like, Let's get real here. No, we have a like American uh, American base of missiles. I think American oh, base okay, right here as well. So we um we and we have American uh, bases in Australia. But that shit is so fucking far away, man. Like, yeah, see, y'all don't have any nukes to like contend with. So so so. I, North I, I, Korea like, is in last place of all the nuke. Uh, they're losing to Israel. Um, last place north korea last place north koreans they don't even have enough a, missiles to waste they're bitches they wouldn't this, dare i dared them to they wouldn't. <laughs> these are these are some made up numbers these are estimates um for sure because like the 280 number on china is, is isn't right anymore and and i know that like israel has never even admitted that they have nukes and I think that the U.S. and the and Russia have both spooled down a little bit more too. I think Israel had them in some of all fears, bro. It's got to be true. <laughs> well, we all know Israel <laughs> has them, but but they, it, it's one of those "don't ask, don't tell" type nuclear yeah, programs. Yeah. And it's not even a nuclear program as as, as it's a nuclear delivery. <laughs> yeah, they're like they're like they're like they're like we're disposing of them. Just really slowly. <laughs> like, yeah, we're gonna get them in the bin oh, eventually. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna take uranium. it's gonna take us fifty years to push it over to this bin, but we're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's we it's, promise. The, U, the U.S. gave them an undisclosed number of, of of nuclear weapons a long time ago. I don't know why we're such good friends with Israel. Someone is I, this never gets explained to me why it's in it's, America's it's a, interest. It's, to, it's a fucking yeah. huge foothold in the middle east and america just uses it as a launching post for any military operations they want to do in the middle east it just doesn't make sense like we give a fuck but america doesn't give a doesn't feel like they don't give a fuck about the people there they're not like yeah we support israel for like their political beliefs they don't give a fuck about that it's a piece of land and it's a strategic piece of land so they're just like yeah hey, whatever they can do whatever the fuck they want as long as they let us keep putting fucking bombs there who gives a shit i just hey, think they're uh, traditionally not support you know like float another country so much yeah it seems like we're the ones yeah. paying for the dinners and everything and it's like where's our yeah, they, flowers where's they, yeah, where's they, something for me come on well they yeah, are they, what, to suck our dick what you what get saying. what america gets is that they just have like this <laughs> fucking huge piece of land where they could just put like if, if tomorrow america was like yeah we're gonna bolster security in the middle east we're gonna send twenty thousand troops to israel israel would be like sweet they don't care, but they can't do that to like, they can't just like ring up Jordan and just we, be like, we yeah, we're bringing, 
to Jordan, Wait. to Egypt, to any of them. You can, we can do, do that to, to Egypt anyone, like it. but then you've got to fight the cunts there, whereas Israel, they're just like, welcome you. Oh, right. no, not, not, not in Egypt, not in Jordan, not, no. I mean, like, we, we have Saudi Arabia as our friends. Yeah, Saudi Maybe. Arabia, we, we, we have a ton of places. To well, yeah, but, it, but Israel's like the, the number one, like, sort of place where they put and and, and don't this makes me want to play risk you may want to play risk yeah. Ooh, risk I is so risk. fun i was watching the seinfeld episode where they were playing risk. <laughs> oh, that's i watched and, it just a and, couple and days and ago <laughs> and, and newman's like ukraine oh, you're, weak. he's like you're about to lose ukraine i'm coming around from the side and he's like you, <laughs> i have forces still <laughs> ukraine yeah. is weak ukraine right for the flocking <laughs> and the guy in the in the subway is like i am from ukraine you no talk about Ukraine like this. <laughs> I think you're silly boy and smash. Like, smash. <laughs> the yeah. fact that they had the most unrealistic part about that whole thing was that they had somehow managed to get that board onto a moving subway car uh, and maintain uh, some sort of semblance of no uh, way. The most, the the most unrealistic place. part about that was that <laughs> anyone gave a shit about the game after 15 minutes. Is that game it, takes fucking ten years to play. Online, it it's fast. Too long. Like, like that's yeah. one of those. There's a ton of games where when you play them online, it's like, oh great, now there's a computer that that knows the rules, so there's no card reading, there's no arguments. Uh, yeah. You just get your points, and you know if something's like like Magic the Gathering is a great example. Like where sometimes you got to sit there and do math. Like oh mm. well, this repeats three times times six, but that's a multiplier out. And he's like, uh, uh-uh, I got green, I got green protection. And you're like, oh well, that reduces this. Fuck, you got a calculator and you just play mm-hmm. online and it goes it lickety split spits out the the result yeah. right yeah. so like risk is the same way I, mean, we were playing I, risk I think my uh quick. board game board game fucking experience is just like me Ice and rolling. all of my super stoned mates trying to work out the rules and we're all just sitting there just like <laughs> wait can you do that and we're like fuck i don't know man and then it's right? just like my my one i don't know all the rules stoned, to monopoly. My, like retarded mate reading the fucking rule book and he's just like <laughs> Actually, you know, so I shut the fuck up, Will. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, shut up. We're playing Settlers of Catan. It's easy <laughs> yeah, as shit. Yeah. There's some house rules. Right. We, yeah, we played Settlers like of Catan a little while ago when we were real fucked up. And my brother was like, me and my brother were arguing for some reason. And it, he was, it was his set of Catan. And I, I was drunk as fuck. And so I was like, fuck you. Fuck your longest road. And so I plucked like <laughs> the longest road pieces. I got like two of them. And I just chucked them in my mouth and ate them. <laughs> Those are just, <laughs> just little like, pieces of wood, man. Yeah, little pieces of wood. I just ate two roads out of his Catan sex. I was so fucked up. <laughs> I, was just, I was like, this is going to solve the argument. <laughs> and, then, and then he's like, then he had to forfeit his longest road. Uh, yeah, he did. Points. He fought, well, Parker, yeah, because yeah. I right, slush ate it. That game is so fun. It's like it's a yeah. good combination of like having some strategy in there, but also being the most like sim- stupid simple game. Yeah, imaginable. Like I, I would imagine. Kyle, what have you guys played? Catan, Settlers of Catan. Nah, no, nah. no. Nah, I don't do that incel shit. Next time, <laughs> <laughs> next time we're all together in person. Just, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna what is like I'm more of, uh, evil Knievel yeah. muscle man type dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my house and will, less uh, of a silly ooh. card kid playing faggot. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what do you come to, come down to my house, man? We'll get some ketamine. We'll fuck each other. We'll play guitar. It'll be sick. Actually, right? you're selling it. Okay, I'm yeah. Yeah. yeah, sick. Dude. Yeah, get on the. If you play guitar, I'll talk to you. Yeah, first we go right back. Get on the. Let me go uh, in the back yeah. for a little one yeah. strike. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to start yeah. with a little tickle in foreplay. I was going to say, there's tickle fights involved, right? Yeah, yeah, just be course. a competition yeah. to see who can I'm get the others hole first. Hey there, Woody. I, uh, I want you to take a little ketamine and imagine you're a little roo, a little kangaroo, <laughs> hop in my pouch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. climb on in there. It's nice and warm. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm picturing like what, like the, the movie from like Woody's eyes, like seeing slush, like, and they're like getting darker and slush walking in like, hey, fib to you. It ain't ketamine. Oh, no. Never heard of roofies, cunt? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are and... roofies? Not, not, I know roofies are typically used to rape, right? <laughs> they're frowned upon, yeah. Let's say you're not using them for rape. Let's say using roofies for a good time. Are they a good time? Like, like oh, would it be no. fun for like a husband and wife oh, to take no. a couple <laughs> roofies and watch Netflix? <laughs> Rufy and chill, baby. Come on, <laughs> just, yeah. both just like, oh, way, like just drowning on your own this spit. Is... Like, just... I, 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 I can yeah. just see the Reddit thread. So I, I asked my wife to roofy and chill 
Then she moved out. <laughs> <laughs> or she would have if she could have. <laughs> no, he removed he rape of is your roofie motivation. Correct. Are they a good time? Is it cool to be roofied? Is it, uh, it I, think like is the, I think rape, rape is the only part about roofies that's fun. I mean, I think that <laughs> the roofie is made. <laughs> like, it's going to knock you. Like, I, I imagine it's going to knock you out. Like, you won't be there to enjoy Does a it make high. You You're just going to be... I think you're just out, right? I They're just sleeping it, pills? Rupees yeah. Sound lame. I think you're just well, unconscious. Like you you are not with really? it anymore. So you're not having fun. And, I wouldn't imagine. It, I think it's it also has the, the, you need the sleep, quality of, of preventing you from forming memories. It's one of those like, oh, I don't remember what happened kind of kind of situations. How yeah. do you, I mean, if roofies just make you go to sleep, how do you get them back to your place? You, uh, you well, like you, a, know, well you, you know, like a gardener's like a wheelbarrow. wheelbarrow. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Uh, How did we oh, line yeah. up on wheelfare? <laughs> because our minds think similarly, and we're we're, we're aiming for the same, uh, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, result. So it just it just gets there, you know. Wheelbarrows exactly. How, you you take him literally, and then you go from there. Ah, it's just like a benzodiazepam. It's just like taking a fuckload of Valium. Well, that would knock well, you out or could kill you. Uh, well, rape talk aside, Tarkov is about to have one of its biggest. Uh, wipes hey, of hey, all time. I there. would say, is it? Yes. Is it though? Because because the, they always say we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. When's the when's the last time they actually released everything that they said? Okay, they so so right. you are entrenched in that community. So I I, I wouldn't want to step on your toes here. I'm but fucking my, jaded as fuck though. But from uh, you want to talk jaded? I'm mad at this Dark Tide game. They've been so <laughs> shitty. At least Nikita will eventually give you what he's talked about. Like maybe it's late. But at least he's not. There's not a cosmetic store with a goddamn timer on it, so you can, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 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 fuck those pieces of shit. Um, bought by the. Never mind. Oh, I can't turn that into a racist thing. So stay on top. <laughs> uh, so Tarkov is a, supposedly going to have their biggest patch of all time, their biggest wipe of yep. all time. They're they're they're, they're adding the long awaited. And when I say long awaited, five years ago they started teasing Streets of Tarkov. They, they've been working on this map so long that somewhere along the way, I think like a year and a half, two years in, they threw everything out and started over. I don't know much about coding, but it was the, that happened. It yeah. was like, like technology That's caught it. up or something. And they, it's been they, a long they were, fucking time. They've been teasing it since like 2018. Yeah. So this thing is yeah. so Tarkov, which is already a, a, a game that's very taxing on the, even the best of, of rigs. This I think optimization is one of the things that's held this back for so long, and uh, and yep. so I'm looking forward to seeing that map. But more than that, they're 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 adding at least two guns. You're getting the the Steyr Aug, and you're getting that weird little SMG that shoots the PM PB ammo or whatever it is. Yeah, and, and that, it? that's, that's a nine millimeter animals? variant. It it it's the you know the pistol with the suppressor and the silly stock, like whatever that thing shoots. Yeah, it's that uh, weird no, funky ammo. On. It's it's some yeah maybe it, it's one of yeah, the, the, the it's BSS one of the ones ammo. I'm it's one of the ones I'm no it's different than that it's it's a different oh one. oh sp twenty one shit yeah it doesn't uh, matter by, it's just a funky by, little nine by, by twenty one it is they're yeah. adding a new submachine gun that shoots a rare yeah. sort of ammo variant that'll so and what I mean why that's interesting is like we don't normally shoot this ammo fully automatic we only shoot it yeah. out of this little pistol and that's kind of shitty and it actually slaps like the ammo is fucking amazing so that yeah. gun's probably gonna be fucking awesome so very excited about that and yeah. the, they're supposedly gonna throw in maybe the lighthouse trader and yeah. the trader supposedly has some kind of a butt buddy who wears antlers on his head and has his eyes yeah. whited out like sub-zero from, yeah, from so mortal combat and guess what he's rocking partner. he's got a 338 lapua with a thermal on it and you might I be thinking oh that. that sounds awful he's gonna one tap you left and right no he's coded to limb well, he, he shoots your legs <laughs> first, then your arms off. He wants and that's you to all, suffer. He's up there with flesh ammo, blowing arms off. And so, that <laughs> means, and I bet he's, I hope he's on a high like run percentage because uh, yep. a Reap IR that's, early game is like God uh, mode. And see, that's what that, he's got. That's one he's of got, the things that shits me off about the game uh, when it comes to like bosses. Like last patch, they added um, like the, the fucking triple boss thing. And I was like, fuck yeah, this is going to be sick. I can't wait to fight these counts. And I swear, I played, I got Kappa, or, it, like, it would have been thousands of raids. Like If you've, it, got, if 2, you've got Kappa, you've, you've yeah. played professionally for months. Yeah. And I, I swear I saw them, it was either two or three times. I killed them once, I came up against them, and they were, I killed one of them, and then the other two were killed by someone else. It's about and right. And then 
oh, and then I found them dead once. So I saw I saw them three times. I, uh, like, I, I just the... want to see them every fucking raid. I want to fight these motherfuckers. So I, I, we, I burnt. Who are we talking I burnt about? I got lost. Cold. The, 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 uh, there's some. There's bosses. a. Every time they had a boss, the spawn rates are like super low. Ghost or something. They added this trio that rolls together, and they each have a unique thing about them and a unique look to them. One of them can have the six-barreled uh, grenade launcher thing, and one of them can have. Um, just, just, they, they've got sick gear, and they roll together, right. and they have unique traits. One of them doesn't make yeah. footsteps. Zero footstep noise. When he yeah. comes at you, it's actually scary. And he's got like a predator headdress on with dreadlocks. They're scary. Yeah, I saw him once. Now, I, obviously, uh, the amount Which of time man? I put in Pale's Lighthouse. Uh, oh, they're actually on, hey, they're on Woods Shoreline Lighthouse. Oh, that's and right. Custom. And Customs. And they, they can go yeah. on like any of the maps, but you just never see them. Yeah. Lighthouse yeah. is the only place I saw them. Um, and that's where I thought of them traditionally as, be, as being on. But I never saw yeah. them anywhere else. I well, apparently, they're a higher spawn rate on Lighthouse, but I never saw them. And I play a fuckload of lighthouse like i like i, I played main that map so yeah i i got a a double marin key and a um and a uh, on a scav so i did nothing but yeah. run lighthouse and run those marin keys and and yeah. i saw them once i got to level i don't know 42 or something like no nowhere near as much time as you put in but yeah i played a lot uh, like like for days and days and hours and yeah the spawn rate was low uh i don't know why they do that like when they throw a new uh, boss I, in like yeah. like maybe they didn't work well maybe that maybe like they maybe they felt like it ruined player experiences if they were turned up too high. Because, hey, he's, supposed to, he's supposed to test it though. Like you, because you, like, if you're you a casual, like like yeah. I, I guess I think of myself as a kind of a casual. Pl- I don't, not really. I'm playing eight hours a day, ten hours a day sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I watch. So, if, but if you're casual and you don't even know they exist, and you just get <laughs> like you can't react <laughs> yeah. fast enough, like like you don't understand what happened. Of course, that they don't give a shit. That's how the game is. I don't. Know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's a big fucking so, wipe. I'm very you're excited not forward to the wipe. I'm okay. I I haven't played Tarkov for like a couple of months. You're now. what? There's, Hang on, come on. I didn't even get that you're one. You're Hella Kane. What? I'm Hella Kane. Hella Kane. Ah, I got it. Ah, yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah. I heard Elcan. Okay. Elcan. Okay. <laughs> I'm Elcan. Like, you're, I'm a can, you're a Canadian three and a half power optic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, I no, that. I don't want to be that piece of shit. I love the quick <laughs> throw. Yeah, those are nice. Yeah. I love yeah. Keen and I love Heaps. I'm I'm, heaps I'm integrating Kane. both of those. Yeah. <laughs> so the uh, yeah the. I'm pretty keen. Yeah, the uh, the whole. I, I just hope that they deliver because it's like the last one was just pretty bare on content, and they made a, a bunch of promises that like about the traders and shit that they didn't keep, and then it was it was sort of crappy. Um, I'm just that really hoping real that they wipe. pull it out because I want to see the game succeed. Cause I do love the game, but I'm, you know, I've been around for like five years, so it got to that point where I'm like, fuck, I'll I'll believe it when I see it. So I'm like. I really want it to be good, but I'm not like in my mind. I'm not like it's gonna be. I'm I temper my expectations a lot with the game these days. So, we'll I'm see. excited. I have high expectations. Yeah. I because yeah. I, I, like, man, it's taken forever. I, I, I yeah. think maybe this is gonna be it. If they just the map alone, I just got a new PC, so I, I I'll be able to run the map fine. Yeah. Um, I I've, I've been like playing a little bit of Tarkov just to see what my just to tune my PC and like and the the Tarkov settings, but I can run the game at ultra settings and and max out frames in 1440p. So it's like yeah, no, it's, I, it's um I think I, I don't think that map's going to be an issue at all. Yeah. I'm really excited for it. I hope they add the new trader. Um, I've seen like where they want to head with the game, at least as far as the traders go. They want all the traders to be in raid. Yeah, like right now that'll for, be sick. It, yeah, right now I, you just like press back and there's a list of there's like six traders there and you, you or is it six it doesn't matter there, your traders nice. are there and you, I, you like you're like ah oh, go to this guy and buy this go to this girl and buy that and like you buy your shit yeah man if you i'd like to, to say like, it like real proper raid, survival like uh where if you, if you need more ammo you have to make your way to this dude like if you need food you're in there you can't just like buy stuff and just refill your food like you have to find food like i make it more survivally i would, I would love to see that well, really I, I, I saw them. I saw them suggest that you're gonna have to find a lot more of your stuff um, in raid. I think they're taking a lot of stuff off the flea, yeah. and I, I think they're gonna want. But I think they're gonna drop more end game type gear in world, like like because so, yeah. so, right now it's like how often do you find a piece of armor in uh, raid? Yeah, like, that's the almost problem. never. They they need like an overhaul of the loot system before they because it needs to be just like more varied because you pretty much just find the same crap. Like that's why you see. 
like a dickhead with a hatchet just running into the same room over and over again because it's yeah. just like we know where the loot's going to spawn. They need to. I like lock room. Like, like, I, I, oh, I like it, but I, I like I like the idea trailer. of unlocking it, but it's like I want it to be like you can have both random shit everywhere so that people actually explore the map instead of it just being a race to get to one room. You know, they need to. I still like the that. race to one room, but I would I do want them to flesh out all the like low and medium areas with a more dynamic loot pool like like like, yeah. like i'm saying like armor is almost never in raid you see it sometimes in stashes and on like giving tree like places like that there's like three places on customs right there from that that warehouse and then um the, the gas station and then the tree behind where like anything can spawn um yep. but other that's like a unique thing there aren't, it's not like there's armor just laying around uh they nerfed the mark rooms already that was shitty i yeah i always liked I mark. the opening yeah, yeah it's, I, not, it's not worth it. And opening. there's no, and now that yeah. and now there's no PvP centered there either. It used to be like yeah. on um yeah. on reserve. I would always rush to that marked room, and there'd be somebody yeah. else there to meet me. Oh, that's at, that's what I loved about customs. Like, uh, you just go to the go to dorms and on like Donkey Kong every fucking time. I love that. But they're they're, they're moving the quests around because traditionally the quests push all the players to customs early game because it's like, hey, your first quest, go to customs, kill five scabs. Now they fixed that this last wipe. Very cool thing they did. They were like, just kill five scabs. Do it wherever you want. Yeah. And it took a lot of the pre initial pressure off of customs. Because you got to imagine, if that's the first thing that you've got to do, the problem is that the 15th, 25th, and 35th things that you're going to do are also in that goddamn building. So the yeah. people who are on those levels, they're in that building tonight, too. Uh, and, and it's like, you, dude, you back I just wanted to kill like, an AI. It's that's the time that I feel the worst playing the game is when you get up to like the suppressed shotgun kills and the setup where you're gonna kill people on customs with a shotgun because you are just hunting motherfuckers that are going for the first quest, like trying to get the gold pocket watch, and you're just out there like geared to the teeth, just hunting Timmies. And it's like, is this if that's someone's first experience in the game, that game fucking sucks. Like yeah. they are fucking hating that shit because they're no, just getting sure. ass raped by experienced players. So. It's, so uh, much of the game is like that, like 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 so many aspects of the game. The and the questing system yeah. are they're, they're send your first your very early quests send you to the same building that many of that you're continuously going back to. We're, we're always yeah, yeah. going to go back to this building to do our quest, essentially. Yeah, but it's like God it doesn't damn, annoy like, me because it's like it'd be like if your let, wife sent you to the to the shops and it's like you get me some uh, give me some coke and then you get there and then you get back and she's like oh can you get me some bread? It's like I was just fucking there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, but I think they're gonna. They, they've said they're gonna move those. They've suggested anyway that they're gonna move the quests around and uh, move people instead of customs. Maybe push people toward lighthouse or not lighthouse, yeah. but um, streets, streets, the yeah. new map. That'd be so good, yeah. no, I'm very excited. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. play some. I, 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 I would like to see early quests on the new map because usually, like in the past, with uh, reserve, lighthouse, uh, shoreline, when they launched them, I need to change. Uh, when they launched all of those maps. They had no quests and no one went to them. So yeah. like the for the the only people that went there were like after a few days, people discovered that there was either overpowered loot there and so they started farming mm -hmm. it, or people went there like end game and then started yeah. farming it. But it's like lighthouses like that. Like I played the fuck out of lighthouse at the start of the wipe and there was no one there. And yep. it was kind of crap. Like I wanna see I wanna see streets just lit up. Which I think it will, because it. I mean, regardless, I think it will, because it's been so touted as they like a big fucking map. But I would like to see it more. Like I want to see people questing there and discovering new quests and working their way around and stuff. I'm like. looking for like like I'm chomping at the bit. I I I check my phone all the time. Like more if it wiped. Wonder if it wiped last yeah. night. Let's see. I'm um, gonna be. Uh, nope. I think mean, next week or the week after. Okay. I think next week. I'm I'm calling it. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm I'm saying next Thursday. Yeah, next I'm hoping. I, I don't want it to be this week because I want to play Dark and Darker all weekend. But ooh, is that, that gonna be? Out? Is that out again? Uh, yeah, seven hours. After this, I'm going straight back to fucking bed. I got up and then I'm going straight back to bed. And then I'm getting up to fucking play that. What do you mean seven hours? Like seven more hours? It's out. Seven seven hours. It comes out a five day. Oh, oh, okay, okay, perfect. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm gonna go for world number one this time. I, I haven't like, played before, but I, yeah. but I, because I they have like Sam play and I. Okay. Yeah. So they have, yeah, they have leaderboards. And last time, I think it was like a five-day test, and I came on like the third day, like halfway through, and 
me and uh kings and another streamer and uh a couple of my mod mates we were like yeah let's um let's try and go real hard at it and i got to like i think i got to 29th in the world uh, even though i arrived like <laughs> three days late and so this time i'm like uh, this is fucking happening this time i want to get to okay. i want to get to number one in the world and fuck everyone yeah. up yeah I'm gonna. I'll remind my friends. I know they want to play it too. It's like Tarkov yep. mixed with Dungeons and Dragons, so it's it's an interesting. Yeah, game. it's excellent. Yeah, great. Well, game. I think we've come to the close of the show. Slush, thanks for coming on tonight. We uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, anytime, man. You're great. Where can everybody find you other than Slush Puppy Twitch? Uh, I'm, I'm, it's a Slush Puppy on everything: Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Uh, go. go and use your go and use your Twitch primes on me. I'm gonna pay the bills. Mm. <laughs> Twitch Help them pay. Oh, the bills, can, I, can I give a can I give a shout out as well? Yes. It's, uh, yes. Yesterday I had a guy come into shout my out chat. To Kanye say, West. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I had a, yes, I had a guy come in my chat and he said, uh, "Please don't go ever, ever go on PKA again because you're fucking so cringe." So I just want to give a shout out to that guy. Oh, nice. <laughs> shout out to Fuck that you. guy he's Dude, not man. listening he's not he's yeah not he has listening. no idea yeah, nah, he's, he's so he started. did not make it to four hours and eight yeah, minutes yeah. <laughs> so he thinks you're cringe yeah, i yeah. barely we did that, <laughs> we put that at the start yeah. uh, yeah. oh i want to yeah. give a shout out too I, I i read my youtube comments this is like a month ago to a guy that said woody should have more injuries so he misses more shows <laughs> I saw your comment, bro. Nice one. <laughs> That's I'm working on it. Yeah, you guys are going to shut these comments right down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm hella good. I, I want to uh, say more height. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it me. All right. PKA 626. <laughs>